Last year, one of your detractors ordered 50,000 copies of ISOM, then refunded them. We found her. We captured her. She identified herself as Katie did. Eric July wants to know, who was the man? That platformed her. Tell Eric about the roads. Those ho-ass roads. Oh, fuck them ho-ass roads! Uh, Alathos says, uh, what it is, is blame Katie. Katie did a podcast. Two dollars is great show. Thank you for this. You're welcome. Your, your tweet is what spawned all of this. Katie did a podcast. Yeah. She's yeah. the one who busted yeah. Eric Jalan. Oh. She said, hey, why, why were you talking that shit? <laughs> no, like, no. Brad, look at two dollars. Y'all love you, Katie. You're awesome. She is awesome. Wait, hold on a second. Katie yeah. did? That's that's your second super. You had enough money until you super chatted it all to your buddy Ethan. Yeah, I see the support angled exactly at Ethan Don't I see what you're. Yeah, saying. she's she's got a favorite, John. Does that hurt your feelings? Yeah. Well, I think what Katie did likes likes about me rather than you, John, is I speak out on behalf of quality uh, instead of quantity. Uh, whereas you, if you know what I mean, this is, I think this is the difference yeah. between you and me. I'm out there talking about quality, uh, and John is in support of quantity, uh, and that is, uh, that is the problem. So thank really? you. Just get that product out. Get that, <laughs> get that product out. <laughs> Got this nice clip here from, uh, Katie Did on X. You guys follow Katie Did. You can follow her. She's got a nice, uh, Twitter. And she's also uh, on YouTube, so you should follow her. She's uh, at Miss Rowdy Dowdy. Can you see that or no? And she clipped this little bit of uh, Eric July. I do respect good work, and Katie did has done some good work here. Okay, we are was, was, Katie did. It was a lot of fun. She has a really good channel. Um, I had a lot of fun there with her. She was covering uh, some really cool, controversial topics, but it was still fun. Katie did's channel says, hey, LBS, much love to come, Escape. Thank y'all for the support. Katie did, your channel's blowing up. You're doing a good job. Shout out to you. We got uh, Katie did uh, channel with a two. Katie did. <laughs> lovely lady. Recently discovered this uh, lovely lady, and hopefully her creator journey continues as it has started. A rising star, if ever there was one. I'm also known for that as well. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get her on. She's interesting. She's fun. A little bit and she's female, now. which is very good. <laughs> You'd be amazed, folks. There's, Croatia. there's such a gap in the market for uh, uh, for female creators. I'm going to go run down to the 7-Eleven, get me a pack of Palm Oil Lies and a Slurpee. Welcome to the channel, hope you subscribe, I clip the shit so you don't need to dig bad. That's what Katie done, that's what Katie did, she grabs what's fun, she grabs the clip. Careful what you do, careful what you say, in the next forever case, clips are here to stay. Don't worry if you miss what they did, even if they think they took it down. Is here because of Katie did so subscribe now and share around
Good evening, Comments Gate. It is good to see you. Uh, what a day it's been. We've got a lot to catch up and a lot has happened this week too. We're going to cover. So stick around. Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do want to thank everybody for subscribing this week and help me get over my 2000 sub goal. It's amazing. It's still hard to believe how fast my channel has been growing. And uh you know, it's it blows my mind. Um, you guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for the support. It means the world to me. And it is so good to see you guys. We got lots of things to cover. Chat, let me know if I sound okay. I uh, want to make sure my mic is all good. Uh, yes, we will be covering uh, Cody at the ARCA um, race down in Talladega. So we are definitely going to check that out. Let me say hi to people in the chat. Dark Leaf Ninja, hello, good to see you. Uh, Vero uh, Fratty, good to see you. And oh my goodness, wait a minute, guys. We got the first super chat of the night. Dante the Inferno for $10. Holy shit, thank you so much. That's awesome. What a great way to start tonight. He says the FNT zeros are coping and seething over puppets. Cyberfrog gets hopped, gets hot, Cyberfrog gets hopped onto a rich. Re let me repeat that. So sorry. Cyberfrog gets hop hops onto a Ricardo for the world to check out. Kicking this much ass feels good, don't it, Katie? Air July can't move this differently. Well, that is true. We have really been kicking some ass. People flipping out about a fucking puppet. And then, you know, seeing the hypocrisy of the FNT crew, the geeks and gamers, and yes, Yellow Flash as well. Um, all of them such hypocrisy. I've watched it long enough. You know I clipped them and uh, it's it's really sad to, to, to deal with them. I will talk a little bit more about that. Um, Dante Infernal, thank you so much. Yeah, if, it does feel good to be kicking some ass. Uh, Cody came in 17th place. That's awesome. Uh, you know, it, there's a lot of things. We're going to talk about that too, uh, especially for his first big race in the Cyberfrog car. Uh, I was actually surprised Cody uh, shared my little video. I have to apologize. It looked fine when I recorded it. And then when I put it on Twitter, it's like, God, it looks so smoky. Um, but it was awesome that he retweeted that. So thank you so much, Cody. If you're no, obviously you're probably not watching, but I do want to say thank you. And uh, you did great today. Uh, Dante the Inferno, again, thank you so much for the $10. And you know what? Let's just, uh, let's have a little little fun, shall we? Think you can do that? No problem. Well, show me. Okay. You gotta get a little uh, grit in your shin, a little flea in your knee, a little charm in your arm. Hey, don't bounce up and down so much. Look who's talking. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dante Inferno. I appreciate it. Um, Black Angus is going to be joining me here later tonight. I was supposed to have uh, Eric Stamunks come on the show. He did a really good video on Yellow Flash this week. Um, I did watch that. And uh, he was going to come on the show to talk about all the stuff that's happened this week. But he's got a sore throat. He's kind of been doing a, a lot of stuff with the talking. And uh, so he's having trouble speaking at the moment. So I told him that's fine. Come on next weekend if you like. Uh, we'll take it from here. But uh, Black Angus will be joining me here soon. Uh, I'll put maybe some other people along the way tonight. And uh, so... Real quick, I was able to start early. I know that my um, show doesn't start usually till 9.30. I was able to start a little bit early. My youngest uh, my youngest son, he is with his grandparents this weekend. Um, and so it was perfect timing to go ahead and get on here a little bit early uh, and, and all that. So it's great to be with you guys. Chat is so good to see you. Uh, we're the non-pearl clutching side. That's how I know I'm in the right place. Well, yeah, here's the thing, too. Like, look, I watched Anna's video, too, from yesterday. And I get what she's saying. You know, do I agree with it fully? No. There's some things I do agree with her on. 
Um, I kind of have to like try to remind myself that I'm not in her position. I have never met these people. I will never meet Neurotic's wife. That will never happen. I will never meet any of these people. So I'm not really, you know, have to worry, be careful what I say or what I do because I don't owe it to them. Um, and they don't owe it to me. So I, I'm full of opinions, especially as a woman. We've got a lot to say. Uh, we run our mouths a lot. So, um, but. It, it's so ridiculous how people were coming out of the woodwork and, you know, just crying and whining about it and about rip off first comparing a puppet to Miss Piggy, like the, the Neurotic's wife to Miss Piggy. Um, honestly, she should ignore it. Uh, she should be taking my advice. I should know. I get shit all the time, every day. You know what I do? I ignore it. I let it go. It's not that big of a deal. Um, so, uh, I think they should have done that, but it seems like from what I learned, she's got that personality where she's not going to let it down. So I guess to say to her, uh, you talking about the Jack show? Yeah. Yeah. Cause she was covering the Jack show a little bit about that situation. I didn't finish it all the way. Uh, so I, I was watching the Jack show and I fell asleep and my little air bud came out. So I, I never woke up to the, com um, the commotion, um, but when I got up that, that morning, I noticed Comic Skate Drama on Twitter had put out a little clip and I'm like, oh shit, let me go back there and find it. And I found it and I said, all right, I'm going to record it. We'll see how long this goes. So, um, I'll be honest with you guys, chat and I, Jay Bama, it's always good to see you. You're, you're welcome to come on the show if you want to, just let me know and I'll send you the link. Um, but I know you're in, uh, if, if, I think you're in Talladega. I don't know if you are, Jay Bama. Um, but either way, welcome to join if you want to. Uh, so, yeah, I I was kind of nervous at first putting that clip up because my channel is known for clipping the people we don't really care too much about or care for in the sense. So I said, but at the same time, this is a very important discussion. Yes, it was a shit show. Cecil was drunk and... You know, there was a lot of back and forth. And I could feel how John was feeling. I do. Um, here's the thing. I stand by what John says. I think what he said is correct. But I can also understand where Cecil is coming from. Um, I tried, like I said before, I tried to imagine myself in their position. I get the point what Cecil was saying. I do. But this isn't like high school or whatever. This is cancel culture. I mean, just like EBS said, he could have just come out and said, look, uh, that or neurotic and them could have come out and said, look, guys, like we don't care for comics gate. Uh, we've have our problems and issues with them, but this is wrong. And I think things would have been a lot better. I, but they don't want to do that. So, um, but that's fine. You know what guys, it does suck, uh, that they didn't help comics gate when needed. But at the same time, it's a good thing it happened the way it did. Because let me tell you why, chat. Let me tell you why. It shows the hypocrisy even more. I have been clipping these motherfuckers for, what, three months now? And it's so good to find, like, people like John Manglin and others to see, like, wow, these people are douchebags and hypocrites and liars and very fake, you know? And I'm sort of like, thank you. Why do you... Now you know why I do what I do. I'm I'm showing the hypocrisy, which is why I get hated. I'm the most hated one in that facility. I know they they watch the show, they watch my clips because they know they want to see what I'm coming out and what Ethan's going to do on Trash Cast. Now a lot of times the clips that I have, like especially for ass, I really not worried about EVS playing that on Trash Cast. That's kind of me just being a little bit of a bitch because <laughs> I think he's nasty. I think he's creepy. Chat, tell me. You saw the fucking plushies. The peeping Tom. What in God's. It's like. It's like someone who can't read the room. Or the internet. It's like dude you are you're so creepy. And then you're going to come out with this fucking plushie. And you're going to be like. People are like oh it's so cute. Yeah. I wouldn't even give that to my kids. Guys. Imagine. Imagine the absurdity. Uh, so uh, creepy. Oh my gosh, Juan. 
uh, June Wong for the five dollars, um, Australian five dollars. Thank you so much. I, for one, am offended by the whole Miss Piggy deal. Miss Piggy is great. Consider this my taking offense to their taking offense. <laughs> I know they act like Miss Piggy was the most ugliest woman in the world. And it's, you know, I'm like, no, she's iconic. Could have eaten that shit up, man. Like, come on now. I mean, apparently I'm a dog whisperer. So, you know, you just, you got to go with the flow, man. You got to have fun with it. Um, but here, here's your $5 uh, clip for you. Thank you so much. Uh, you Wong, I really appreciate it so much. And uh, here you go. I'm a law. If I choose to, I'll close this place down till hell freezes over. Don't you threaten me. I'm telling the truth and you know it. And all of your big dreams are going to the legislature. That's all they are. They're just dreams. Because you ain't never going to be no more than you are right now. A chicken shit sheriff in a chicken shit town. Thank you so much, Juan. I appreciate that. Uh, Ruth Sanders. Peeping Tom is an old character. Someone in the chat used to write super chat stories with that character. Why? 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 How long ago was this? If somebody can give me a direction of how long it is, I'll go and check it out and see what the whole... That's weird. Thank you, uh, Ruth Sanders, for that. Um, Base Bunny Love. Uh, Miss Piggy has been a fashion icon for decades. Yes, she is. We love Miss Piggy. It's good to see that. Oh, my gosh. Pat and Jessica's Jeep Adventures for the $1.99. We love you. Keep doing your clips. Hell, CG. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, it's... it's. So let me... Before we get in stuff while we're waiting for guests to show up, chat, uh, and those that are watching. So I get asked all the time... Uh, Wait, hold on. Pastor Flash, I messaged you two clips of Shane from Ballers last night if you want to check them out. Did you just send them now? Uh, let me check here. Okay, I see something. There you are. Okay. Uh, just a short, funny clip. Okay, we'll definitely check. I got this pulled up. We'll uh, we'll check those out. Thank you, Pastor Flash, for that. I appreciate that. Um, so I get people ask me all the time, like, how do you do it? How do you do these clips? Uh, there are other people who do clip channels as well. <clears throat> and I don't want to give away all my secrets of how I do it. But I'll be honest with you guys. That's really not hard. Um, the hardest part is sitting through and just listening to the shit. Like if you can, if you can sit there and listen to them. And I mean, I've done it for so long and so often that I, I can like skip a little bit here and there because I, I, I figured out how their format is. But uh, most of the time I try to I try to listen to it a little bit. Um, when they go into segments, I kind of skip those because I'm like, that's not what I'm I don't really care for your opinion. Um, sensational, uh, sensational effect. I'm sorry, Katie is exposed all thought all their brain rot. Oh, yeah, I have brain rot sometimes. I'm on, I'm not going to lie, guys. There's times I have to take a break. Because like I said, you have to sit there and listen to this. And then, you know, after a while, you start hearing key words, key, you know, certain things that kind of clicks my brain on. Because what I do is I have like a little earpiece. I turn it down really low, you know, low. Um, while I'm cleaning the house, while I'm doing errands, um, I listen in the car. Um, whenever I get a chance to where I'm doing something, I, I might as well listen to some. I can kind of multitask. I've been very good about doing that. Um, so, and I'm, I'm not really trying to listen, listen. I'm only tuning into um, picking up on certain words or what they say or what it is. Um, I will say too, guys, if I've had people reach out and give me tips. Thank you for that. Like I offer it. If you guys uh, have seen something on a stream or them doing something and uh, don't sit there and think that maybe I've caught it. Let me know. It's always good. I, I appreciate tips. They do help a lot because like I said, I, I have to go through my list. Okay. Who streamed this and this, and of course, Eric July <laughs> and yellow flash. Um, I have some old clips of yellow flash, but I didn't think they were worth putting out, you know, just yet. Um, I do have one of him and Tom having an argument about, the Ghostbusters movie and Flash was just talking about, oh, it's gay this and gay that. And 
think Tom was like, why does everything have to be gay? And I was like, well, this is perfect because this is this is what we, we've talked about. Oh my gosh, guys. Comics Gate, you guys are amazing. St. Patrick T. Oh, Patrick. Patrick, Patrick. You little shit stir. Thank you. I will give you a little props, Patrick T. You, you did bring up the elf in the room. And no, it's not EVS. Uh, even though I almost thought about putting it in the title. But it's really good that you asked. Because, I mean, I know shit kind of blew up. And it's we don't like to see them have fights like that. It's, it's not cool. But it's that conversation needed to happen. Let's, let's be real, guys. Um, those watching in the chat, let's be real. We knew that eventually this was going to happen. Think about it. They've had Cecil. Think of it in Cecil's mind. He's had to kind of keep this in for a long time. Yes, he said little things here and there. But he's had to held, hold these feelings and emotions in for so long. And you get the drinks pumping. And all it takes is Patrick T to say, can we just address the elephant in the room of the Miss Piggy? And Lord, we get. I think he was just letting off a lot of steam. That's the impression I got. Because like I said, I don't agree with Cecil fully. But I can also respect where he's coming from in his mindset um, with that whole thing. But. Patrick T, you little troublemaker. Uh, thank you for the 199. I appreciate you. And zombie box reviews for the European $5. These communities should be working together to fight against the establishment. It's disheartening to see all the infighting within these communities. It really is. Because let me tell you guys something. I'm, I'm a conservative. I have voted for Trump twice and I plan to do it again for the third time. And the, the real shitty part about this is I have... They they share some of the values that I that I share. Um, uh, you know, I I'm also the type of person treat others the way you want to be treated, which is why I'm okay with with uh, shit things coming from them. Because you know I'm <laughs> yes they're just clips, but let's be real, guys. They they know I'm a tractor. I've been on Tony streams. I think they've been watching Tony for a long time. It's very obvious we've gotten some tips from some people um, of that situation where they're not only watching this, they are watching Tony as well, a Rit Frog Tony, formerly known as the Geek Getaway. Um, so, but yeah, uh, I, I, as a conservative, it's like, guys, I agree with you on a lot of things. Like, I'm a Trump supporter. Like, with Jeremy, like, that was a real shit part that a Jeremy, like, attacked me, too, during that whole shit campaign. Because it's like, Jeremy, I'm a Trump supporter. Like, I'm right there with you, dude. Like, but he, he, I know what you're up to, though. And I will give him credit. He admits the grift. At least you're admitting it. I'll give him props for that. But I'm a conservative, Jeremy. I'm, I, I believe a lot of things you do. And you just come out, like... That's the thing, the narrative, guys. You know what, Zombie? Let me go ahead and play your clip before I get into it, because I feel like I'm about to go on a rant. And uh, so let's let's play this, because this is kind of fitting to what I'm about to go into. But Zombie Box Reviews, uh, appreciate you. Thank you so much. And uh, here is your clip. So who is this fun guy? Uh, what was it? Um, Kale. Barnett. Kale. Barnett Kale. Yeah, That's you got me. I don't believe it. Oh, oh Barnett ain't done nothing but lie to me and cheat on me and treat me like don't this. Don't tell me she's mad. Now he's messing with the only Son, person. You can raise hell or cuss out anything you want around here, but unless you're tired of living, I wouldn't be swinging that name Barnett Kale around here no more. Uh, then I shouldn't invite him for lunch, right? No. <laughs> great movie yeah uh, you guys should go check that out it's cowboy rhinestone i believe so so here's the thing guys like this is what furiates me and what box Free was saying i i am a conservative i i agree with a lot of not all of it but i do agree with some of it when it comes to policies and what's going on in hollywood like it's good to have those kind of people to call out the establishment and not, you know, let get 
them to realize that the public is not really liking what they're doing. Although let's be, let's be real. They're good. They're going to do what they're going to do. Um, some will find bankruptcy. You know, we never know. Disney's gone through some shit right now and kind of rightfully so. Um, but you know, I, it infuriates me that we can agree on all the policies, but then you are such a hypocrite. I am so fucking sick of fake Republicans and conservatives in the party who do nothing but just want to fucking grift. That's fine. You want to grift. Like, you know, Tria Logic feels this way. Actually, she opened my eyes to a lot of hypocrisy that is going on in our side of the aisle. Um, the fakeness. They know that there's money in this. So they get right into it and they put all this stuff out. I... I'm disappointed with a lot of them because I think it's important. What they're doing is important, but the way they're doing it, it's overwhelming. It's rage content. Like guys, by the time Trump, <laughs> by the time Trump, you know, that election, you know, that whole shit um, and Biden became president, I, I actually walked offline for a while. I stepped away because I was just so overwhelmed. I was so angry about everything. I was mad about how the election was. And I was I was mentally exhausted. So I stepped away um, and slowly got back into it. But I had to take a break. But you know what the funny thing is, though? There's word on the street, guys. I don't know if you heard. Apparently, I'm an SJW. I'm a liberal. Chat, I'm a fucking liberal. I'm just some trad wife liberal. <laughs> and it's like, I'm nowhere near that. I am very conservative. I live in the South of Virginia. Like I live in Trump country. Um, and I expect to be targeted that because it does, you know, obviously I'm going after these kind of people. Um, but I'm, ex I just, Get your shit straight, guys. Like F and T and all that. That's fine. You want to rag on Holly, but you got to change a tune. You need to read the room. I guess that what room do I have to say? Because they're still got a lot of viewers and they still make a lot of money. But I feel like it's it's slowly over time. People are just going to get tired of it. You're going to get so tired of it. Um, there's so much so much shit you can take. Um, let me check the chat out here. Um. Let's see here. That was a good one. Uh, Gary is more libertarian as a traditional liberal, but in today's world, that is definitely to the right of woke. Yeah. See, and Layton's liberal. He's, uh, I can get liberal policies too. I feel like I'm kind of in the middle, but I'm more right, you know? It, it just depends on the, the topic and the situations and, uh, and whatnot. Uh, yeah, I... I know. How dare me? How fucking dare me? <laughs> uh, yeah. So apparently I, I'm I'm a liberal. Oh, look at that! It's Geta uh, Geta Barros. I I call him Geta because I can't pronounce it. Um, welcome to the dark side. You will mwahaha. You will make a great diversity hire. No. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, it's it's just so silly. Um, you know, by the way, Pastor, uh, Past Masterton, it's so good to see you. Thanks for joining my chat tonight. Um, yeah, I got kind of lucky. I, I figured, you know, wow, I think this is the first Saturday in a long time that Trash Cast hasn't played uh, or have been live. You know, Ethan doing it. I've, I thought maybe he would kind of do a little bit of it tonight, but I'm, they're at the track all day pretty much. So I don't see that happening. Um, rightfully so. He needs to take a break. Let, let us, Ethan take care of this. Let us detractors take over tonight. Uh, we got this. You take a break. We'll pick up where you left off. Don't you worry. Um, but yeah, it's good to see you. Oh, uh, Trey Chester, what's going on? Good to see you guys. Good to see you. He has to detract. Uh, Ethan is getting tired of trash casts. So I'm saying, well, here's the thing. I figured he was going to run out of steam. Oh, look at my wonderful mod too, Bar Rogers. Hello. I figured he was going to get worn out over time. I think what he needs to do is maybe pick um, maybe one or two days during the week 
maybe three. It depends on what's going on that week. Um, wait a minute. Is Mr. Mon is is Mr. Yanafui here? That dapper looking man. Did I miss him? Yeah, I guess I missed him. I can't find him. Um, am I a mod? I can make you a mod real quick. I, I can do that. I can I can do that, guys. Um, why well, do that real quick? I got this really fun clip, guys. Um, and after this, we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the Pastor Flash's clips that he has sent me. Um, and then I am going to kind of cover a little bit of Cody and then we'll get right into it. Um, but I, oh my goodness, Barb, Barb, thank you so much for the gifted members, gifted five memberships, guys. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Me? Yes, you. How are you doing? I love the content you've been putting out. Um, what was it this past week of you dancing? Looks great. It's good to see you, Mr. Yanafui. It's an honor and a pleasure to have you here. Uh, what is, uh, wait a minute. Isaac is here. We can start now. Oh, <laughs> there you go. It's good to have you, Mr. Yanafui. You, you sharp looking man, you. Uh, all right. So let me, let me play this clip. This is funny. I, let's, I'll be honest with you guys. I did send this to Ethan and I knew he wasn't going to play it. I, he's, he's a Yankee. I'm a Southerner. Some Yankees don't really care for country, but I thought I'd send it to him just for the hell of it. It was, I think it was around the time shit was getting kind of rough, kind of wearing on him. And I was like, here, here's something that would unite. It was probably right after C2E2. Um, uh, so I, let me uh, play it and I'll make J Bomb a mod and then we'll get started on these clips. Uh, guys, enjoy. <laughs> Smile, oh, pick a kicking up dust in the comics. There are must go by the lakeside tailgate down like no place in the world to be when I got CG. I'm a rebel outsider, a law ain't that right? Standing tall for the comic, high with my side frog in my truck bed. Comics stay strong, no say. On my dash, back in comics left and right, y'all know I have that cash. Open up a board, it won't share it with my boys. Trading cards, posters, games, even bought some toys. I'm a rebel outsider, a law ain't that right? Standing tall for the comic, high with my side frog in my truck bed. Comics stay strong, no say. Ain't that cool, guys? That was Wizard and uh, Wizard of Wordplay made that for me, um, Mr. Yanafui. And I see I got a super chat. Let me get to that just a second. Where were you? Oh, thank you. I'm not used to people to people talk nice to me. This is my curse. What? Are you telling me, Mr. Yanafui, that this stream and Tony's is the only one we we? We give you some praise and some love. Oh, it's okay, Mr. Mr. Humphrey, you are, I would give you all the praises. You are very talented. I mean, you and Finatra did that big booty daddy. Let's be real, guys. Oh my gosh, before we, before we get started, I got a special person in the back. Let me get this super chat real quick before I bring them out. Uh, Professor Geek for the $5. Thank you so much. Good to see you, sir. It's an honor. Just popping in to show some support. I'll catch the replay later. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Professor Geek. That's, that's very kind of you. Let me play this little clip and I'll bring my special guest to come out here and join us. So who is this fun guy? Uh, what was it? Um, Kale. Barnett. Kale. Barnett Kale? Yeah, That's you got me. I don't believe it. Uh, oh, Barnett ain't done nothing but lie to me and cheat on me and treat me like Don't this. tell me she's mad. Now he's messing with the only cheat 
Jocelyn. You can raise hell or cuss out anything you want around here, but unless you're tired of living, I wouldn't be slinging that name Barnett Kale around here no more. Thank you so much, Professor Geek. I appreciate it. Guys, let's welcome the one and only Mint Salad live from Talladega. Hi, can you hear me? Is there an echo? No, no echo. I don't hear you. You're good. You're good. You're I'm good. at a Mexican oh. food restaurant right now outside of uh, the race, the Speedway. I just ordered, you know, got some nachos. Nice, nice. So how was it being there? Uh, I, I did catch a stream earlier. You guys missed the race. But uh, what was it like hanging out with EVS and Cody? And uh, but Billy Hatchard was there. And see, so wh how's it been? What's the experience so far since you've gotten there? Uh, fun. Lots of alcohol. Um, <laughs> it was loud. Um, <laughs> had nice chats. It was a fun time. I enjoyed it. Uh, I walked around a lot. Um, I did break away from the group a lot to do streaming stuff, uh, but it was a fun, chill time. And uh, a lot of cars, a lot of cars go vroom. <laughs> I don't know what else to describe it as. <laughs> well, it's, let me tell you, uh, I've been to several races. My dad was a race car driver. Ooh. Uh, and uh, it's it's fun. It's to me, it's fun, but for someone like you that's never been to one before, it's an experience. Um, yeah, it's fun when you're drunk. <laughs> um, but I was a kid, so I just hung out in the pit, so that was that was about it. Um, oh, I, but I was glad you're there, and yeah, was... so the chat wants to know how Cecil, how's Cecil, how, how's he doing? He's doing all right, he's uh, you know, he's Ceciling about. Still short as ever. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm just poking jab fun at him. I don't know. It was fun. It was all cordial. Good. So good. Good. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Well, at someone said here he's been very apologetic today. I I think uh, Cecil has been, and it's really good that that he's enjoying this weekend. I think it's it was good for everybody to go and sit back and. Take a break from detracting and yeah. you know, enjoy the amazing Cyber Frog car. What was that like seeing it in person? Like I didn't get to go see it in person because oh, no. um, I okay. Here's the story. So I go up to Young Clippa and Young Clippa's with the EVS and he's like, "Go find Cecil." And so I go off to find Cecil, but like he had found Cecil, and then they went off to go see the car, and I didn't go see the car in person. Uh, Young Clippa did. But I did not. So I only saw pictures. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> hey, but you got to hang out with the man himself, BBS, and all of them. That's, that's, that's even, I think that would be a lot more fun. Get to see them in person and talk. To, well, you've seen, you guys have seen EBS already before. This yeah. This is your second time. The first time yeah. we ever uh, went to his warehouse. So. Yeah, we pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> pulled up. That's yeah. right. That's right. Uh, yeah. See here. Uh, the, the, uh, fam, Cecil is a great guy. He means no harm. So he won't let something like this go without apologizing. He's not yeah. an asshole. He's one of the good ones. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, yeah. as much as I disagree with Cecil, I could totally understand where he's coming from. I, I get his point of view. Um, it's just, it's such a weird situation, you know, that we've, we we've got going on, uh, Right now, um, FNT and Geeks and Gamers, they're all feeling the heat. You know, they made that real bitch ass mood of, of uh, move of writing that stupid fucking article about yeah. the whole situation. And it's like, I, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I mentioned you can't go and oink just, oink at a woman. <laughs> you know? I know. Pigs in the <laughs> chat, by the way. Come on, let's have some fun. Let's see some farm animals. Pigs in the chat because. Yeah. Look, you got to have some fun with it, man. You got to go with the flow with it or ignore it. And yeah. it's just, it, it's rip off verse. And no, he's, he has said it. He's even told me, um, uh, you know, on the phone, like, I'm not CG. Like, I am my own person. Uh, he was doing this puppet show before even EVS knew about him. Um, yeah. He's worked in Hollywood. And I think he's, I won't speak for, uh, for him. Um, hopefully soon I'll get him on the show, Mitt. But 
he he has seen the way they've criticized Hollywood so much. Let's let's be real here. Try to be in his mindset. He's like, you guys have never been on a set. You don't know what the process is like. Yeah. And so, because he's a stunt, he was a stunt uh, he was stunt man. So yeah. this is kind of his way, kind of getting back at him. And he's doing a great job. Um, he's going to make me a new puppet, apparently. He said, I'm going to oh, get nice. your old puppet and get you a better looking one. I was like, well, I, I like my puppet no matter what. <laughs> oh, look, there's Jay Bama with hot dogs. <laughs> nice. I said uh, you're on Club Love on your hot dog today. I know. I saw that. I saw that. I, it Four like burgers and two hot dogs and we're eating at Mexican restaurants. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Yeah. So, uh, so what y'all's plans after this? You guys plan to continue drinking and hanging out, or is everybody kind of going their separate ways and um, chilling for the night? We're all converging at this Mexican restaurant. They're stuck in traffic right now. Uh, pretty heavy traffic. Uh, we were lucky to get out. Um, we were we were also in the traffic, but like we were back enough when they opened like a side gate that we were able to like leave pretty much. So we're waiting on them still, but um, we're all going to be eating at this Mexican restaurant. I've already ordered food. Um, and yeah, and then after that, we're going to go our separate ways and we're going to head back in the morning. That's the plan. So. Well, good. Yeah, good deal. Yeah. Well, it's been a long day for y'all. Y'all have been down yeah. there for gosh, wait, four, 12. When, how long have you been? Were, when did y'all, what time did y'all get there at the track? Was it like one o'clock, one thirty? I got there at like uh eleven fifty. I was late. I was like late by twenty minutes. Uh and then by the time we got there, I was like walking around trying to find like where everybody is. By the time when we found out where everyone is, uh <laughs> it was like l- literally like the last two laps. And I was, like and I didn't get to see like all of it. I mean I saw some cars go vroom, but like didn't stare intently at it like I wanted to. Right. So. Oh. Hopefully there's next time. He's still got some more race cyber frogs going to Dover. Um, so whatnot. But uh fam wants to know, did y'all find Mandy? Uh no, I didn't see her. I didn't find her. Okay, because uh Mandy said she was gonna be there. I guess something must have come up. Um, I'm not aware where she probably wasn't able to make it out. Um uh I wanted to meet her here. You know? Yeah, I'll say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord. Uh, Guinness Bro, uh, I want to come on your show and rage about ripoff first degraded Miss Piggy like that. That was totally I know, right? off war. Ripoff first <laughs> owes Miss Piggy an apology. I know. <laughs> I know, man. Like, you don't do that to Miss Piggy. Like, She's beloved. Everyone loves her. Exactly. Sorry. So, so guys, if, if you don't know, I'm a hairdresser as well. Hmm. Here's the thing I got a beef with. Your hairdresser, and you're going to this big event, and you know you're gonna get pictures put on social media. You you know the whole thing. Put your hair down and do something. Don't yeah. put it up in a ponytail and look like you're like a house mom like me. Like, come on now. Like you're going out you're going to a big event. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put, in, put in some effort. That's what furious me is like, no, you did it to yourself as a cosmetologist, hairdresser, licensed. You should have known better. And I will judge not because here's the thing. I, I, I have a right to judge because I'm a hairdresser. And the first thing I look at when I see people is their hair. Okay. Yeah. It's just, it's a habit. So if your hair looks like shit, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Eric Delias beard drives me up the wall. That looks like shit. Beardo's beard, I will say, Beardo, fear the beard, whatever. Yeah. Uh, it looks nice, but it's not, he's a douchebag. So it's like, well, it fits perfect for you. But if Eric could make his beard look like that, what the fuck, man? Come on now. It's ridiculous. Um, but I don't know. Oh, well. I, I don't know if he just like keeps it. He just like is not, he grows it and then kind of trims the side. Is that like what he's doing? Like, that's what I think he's doing. He's yes. just mostly keeping it unkept. So this is how it's done. I've actually done it before. Um, it could have changed now because, you know, depending on what state you're in and kind of, you take a round brush, you put beard oil in here and you take a round brush and you take a blow dryer 
and you smooth it like that, that's where you get the nice, smooth, tucked under look. Okay. And you can't get that unless you use the blow dry on a round brush. Hmm. I did not know that. Oh, so, well, that's how it is. Now, every so often you will have somebody that's blessed with very good beard, but it's all about the upkeep. And I think Beard has been doing it so long that his he's trained his beard to come down like that. And plus, he probably goes to a good barber, unlike Eric yeah. Y. I'm <laughs> like, Eric, you have you're supposedly has so much money. Why couldn't you go to a nice barber and like get him to clean your shit up? Like, come All on. All of his money is going to his warehouse. He's got different priorities. <laughs> God. I can't. St uh, since we're on the topic, you know what really pisses me off, Mint? Is when he hmm. goes on these big podcasts and shows, he just wears like a plain shirt or a sleeveless shirt. It's like, can you find, can you not wear like a nice dress shirt? Uh, maybe sometimes with a tie. Like, you're, you need to look like you run a business, asshole, a corporate kind of business. I don't know if he owns one. I mean, well, except for the, <laughs> the suit with the bolo tie. That's, or maybe he just bought that suit, like, the day before. And, like, I don't... I don't think he, like, owns a dress shirt outside of the bolo tie um, fit that he wore to accept that award. Honestly. I, girl. That shit look crazy. It it the sleeves was too long, gentlemen. Tell me in the chat if I'm right. The sleeves were too long. Your sleeves should be coming about right here. That's why you have the cufflinks. Yeah, you take it down here. It's no. It needs to be hemmed up to here. Your suit needs to be tight through, not tight, but it needs to be reformed right here. It, it yeah. needs to show your your manly stature. Nothing like flimsy and just whatever. It, it looks like he went down to Goodwill and found yeah. the jack and said, "This will work." <laughs> I just yeah it drives me nuts. I can't stand it. Oh, as long as it covers my hairy shoulders, so no one will make fun of me. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, ID crisis designed for the two dollars. Eric July is all or nothing. Hair shoulders out. Hair shoulders out for or pimp. Oh well. No, that was just, about right. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm very judge. I'm I'm very much a bitch when it comes to, to bodily hair and just hair in general. Um, yeah. So, uh, so let me get your thoughts on this. Uh, I know you're there with Cecil, and I y'all work some things out. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you this: Do you kind of agree with John Malin about that argument? Do you feel that I'm not familiar with the argument at all? I, I've been traveling for the past couple of days, been focused on the biggest problem, catching up to that. That's like I'm, yes. I'm out of the loop. Okay, well then I, I'll leave it at there because you haven't seen it yet. So all right. Um, but uh, Red, thank you so much, member, for two months. Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, so, yeah. So, let me pull up. Uh, Pastor Flash has got some stuff here. Wait a minute. I got Slag Lust. Uh, did you see D-Day Kroeber say how much he loves the puppet shows Ripoff First makes? It was on his show last night. Really? Hmm. I will make a note of that. I did not know that. Okay. So, oh, cool. it's on D-Day Kroeber's own channel i'll go check that out well see if that's true if, you know if that's what happened like well thank god somebody's having some fun with it like i think he knows his puppet's coming <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> you, just, you gotta laugh at it and, and enjoy yeah. it so um, exactly oh uh curso comics uh katie and mint such delight well thank you i saw his name thank a lot you. i see his name a lot in my live stream thank you for watching my live stream appreciate yeah. it yeah. yeah, man, your your stuff has been really good. I'm so glad that you did live stream there at the table, and I, I saw where they were talking, and oh my gosh, and it's like uh, Riley was like, man, "Man, go over there, we're having talk," and I'm like, "Oh, damn it, I wanna, I wanna be the fly on the wall and hear that conversation." But uh, yeah, Jimmy Reyes, what is going on, Jimmy Reyes? Good to see Hello. you, bud. Good to see, see you. you. Okay, too. let's see. Let me pull these things up from. Uh, Pastor Flash. So apparently, this was on last, last night. So let me pull this up. 
Jimmy, I hope you're doing good and your campaign's going well. We'll have to catch up or give me an update how that's going for you. All right. Oh, look, before we get started, uh, June Wong for the Australian $5. Thank you so much, man. That's your second one of the night. I really appreciate it. Katie, clip your clip your beard, beard care tips. Include picture of Beardo with green tick and bell. Not with green. Oh, God. Why can I not? Brain rot. I watched all this shit all week, guys, and I'm brain rot. Katie, clip your beard care tips. Include a picture of Beardo with green tick and bell sound effects. The picture of July with red X and buzzer as uh okay, yeah. I can do that. I can I could try to do that. You know, if I ever get some extra time, I I plan to do it. I plan to be like, do a video. Hey, Eric July, this is how you take care of your shit. Okay. Let me just show you. You know, I know you watch all of our channels, and so let me let me get let me help you, okay? Let me help you not make you look like a you know, so you don't look like a homeless piece of shit. Thank you so much for the five, and you know what? We're gonna. I also got a special clip too for twenty dollars on up that I will play. Uh, but for this, we'll we'll, we'll do a little. Bit. No problem. Well, show me. Okay, you gotta get a little uh, grit in your shin, a little. Flee in your knee, a little charm in your arm. Hey, don't bounce up and down so much. Look who's talking. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right. Yes, guys. Uh, Dragon Rage, please go back it. Um, he's going to be closing his campaign soon. Uh, beautiful artwork. I backed it as well. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, guys, click on that link. Please go and back Jimmy Ray's. Uh, let's let's get him through the home stretch there. Uh, all right, so this is Baller Sideshow number one twenty seven. Okay, so you time stamped it for me. Thank you, Pastor Flash. Okay, let's let's see what this is about. Do you want to mm -hmm. explain why you look like a pig right now? <laughs> yeah, because uh, some mm -hmm. famous YouTuber's wife needs a diet. <laughs> <laughs> What? Mm -mm. Oh, look, Yanzi, I, I won't let her go off reservation. Uh, um, no, show me your video. Show me the goddamn video. You hush. You hush. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I did see that. I, I stopped by Baller Show last night. I <laughs> saw that. Oh, my gosh. Let me see what the other one is. That was good. I do like Shane. He's, he's great. He really Yeah, really it was is. fun to talk to. Yeah. yeah. I got to see where you were in his stream. That was awesome. That was really cool. Ah, oh, yeah, it was fun. It was a fun time. Um, you know, you were being all cute, just going through your comics like, hey, I got this one. Oh, man, my one. favorite part, man. My favorite part. That motherfucker, Chris Stanley's like, oh, dad, you back to any CG comics? Show me all your CG comics. I'm like, oh, yes. I get to show all my comics. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be nope, bitch. <laughs> you know? Right. Exactly. Like yeah. Oh, it's starting to rain in there. Good. Thanks. You did really, really um, It's starting to pour, and I think my nachos are ready. So, All uh, right, you go ahead and eat, darling. You need to eat. Don't worry. I appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, it was always, fun. So. It was always yeah, fun to be chat with you. Yeah. Yeah, y'all yeah. be careful on your way home, too, by the way. Drive safe. Y'all have fun. Tell everybody that I said hello, and my chat says hello. And uh, I will let you know. Say, I mean, I'll let you know. Cody. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, man. Right. I appreciate you. Yeah, it was nice talking to you. Uh, adios. 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 Uh, uh, Jimmy Reyes, did someone say nachos? Yes. Men and them are at a Mexican, Mexican restaurant right now. Um, having dinner before they split ways, uh, part their ways and everything. Um, but I'm sure they're not as good as your wife's though, Jimmy. I mean, she, when she showed that platter off that one night, that, that looked pretty good. Um, all right, let's see this one here. And I did see Slugfest. I did see your comment, uh, about Covercast. Let me play this and we'll hop on over there. Uh, remind us, remember about an hour and six minutes. I'll check it. Let's see what this is here. Wait a minute, guys. Did you see that? I noticed I'm looking on the screen here. 
Uh, is that not? It's not showing on here. Oh, maybe it is. Okay, sorry, I had a computer glitch. Let me let me go. Oh. All right, let's watch. Hold on. Nope. Okay. Maybe I need to do it again. The internet's working great. But of course, you know, now some things are going to play. So let me get that up, guys. Uh, 293 people here tonight. Holy fucking shit. Guys, thank you so much. Hit the like button if you can, please. Uh, greatly appreciate that. Uh See, is it this one? Oh, you know why? Because it's a. I wasn't sharing the right screen. Oops. One moment. Okay. All right, guys. Here we go. We got it. See? Yay! Struggle stream. All right. Let's go ahead and play. It. Let's see what this one is. Uh. For days on Twitter, nobody gives a shit. Don't see anybody out there, guys. This ain't what we do. Nobody out there doing that. No. But if I was a bigger YouTuber, then somebody would give a shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, Snowman, thank you for the... Oh, my gosh. That's great. Oh, okay. Yes, I'll send him the link. Because uh, we could we could definitely... I uh, want to definitely talk to him about it. All right, J-Mama. I'm, I'm going to send you the link now. Oh, I see your message. I'm so sorry. Jimmy Rice, thanks for um, getting my attention there. All right, I sent it to you, darling. Uh, damn, that was good. That was good. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, okay, well, give me a minute. I am going to pull up the D-Day Cobra stream where he mentions the puppets. Because instead of clipping the clip itself, I'll just clip me in the clip. There you go. We're just clipping away here. Okay, so I need to go to search. Let me... D.A. Cobra. There you are. Uh, Stream 21 hours ago. Oh, fucking ads. All right. Let's see here. Oh, the man himself. What's up, Jay Bama? What's going on? Not much. How you doing, Katie? I'm doing good. It's good to see you. Hey, what did you think of the race today, man? Wasn't it some exciting shit or what? Well, I mean, you know, it's I, I haven't I wasn't drinking, so it's not that fun. <laughs> oh, true. I mean, when you when you got something like that, you got to do it. But uh, yeah, no, it it's was like, great. It's I, like fishing. I, you can't you can't do it sober. <laughs> That's true, too. Uh, I got no, I watched it. It was fun. Tell you that. It was fun. I can tell yeah, that he it, was nervous, though. Oh, I'm sure. He knows that we're yeah. all watching him. Ethan Vince Guy was down there. Cecil's down there. Like, he, he's he's being watched, man. He knows. He he knows, definitely. Uh, and that was his and, first, like, like, um, like, Talladega is, like, over two and a half miles long. And it's, 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 it's pretty much, you can just, you know, leave the, you can leave the, you, you can, like, drive with the pedal down the whole way around and so you know when they're all clumped together it's just nerve-wracking he's going 180 miles an hour two inches from someone else on both sides so yeah. and this was his first time on a super speedway so i can see how he's uh he was a bit nervous a bit intimidated uh, i will too and um you know he's 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 going up against other people that are just as um uh, determined to uh, get to the top as well. And uh, it's kind of like the minor leagues of NASCAR is the best way right. to explain it. Um, this, you know, and like I said, 17 plates, that's not bad. At least he wasn't last. He was able to keep that position. He went from 16 to, I know the farthest back he went was 21, uh, position 21. And then he got up to uh, uh, 17th place. And so, Hey, top twenty. That's great. You know, he, he I did think get he up did the thirteenth at one point. I think. And um, did he? Yeah. That must have been when I stepped away for a minute, because uh, it happens quick too. That's the thing. It's like you walk what you see. Okay, 
Cody's in 17th place. Cool. You know, and you walk away and then boom, he's up to 13th. It's that's how quick it can, it can happen. Um, and I, I could tell his, his back, his tail was doing a little bit of the move. Oh, was and he you loose see that one the... guy? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, he was and then the video stuff. I put up, you can see the guy coming near him, and he's like, "Whoa, shit!" You know, and then, he, yeah, they <laughs> they almost. They almost Are you talking touched. about the one that I posted where, um, like, uh, it would like the it was on Fox. The uh, they they stayed on it for like a minute, and I'm like, "Oh wow, yeah, I, I, I that was awesome." I and, was, yeah. and then the side of the cyber truck tar- car in the other car mm-hmm. well, that is such like good content right there. I think. I can't wait to see what Texas Mofo does with that. I can't wait to see what other people do with all that content right there. I mean, that was perfect shot. I was like, there we go. Let's get Cyber Frog on the on the big screen there. Um, I think I saved that that stream because uh, I watch the YouTube TV. I, mm-hmm. I think I was able to save it. So I'm, I'm hoping that I can eventually go back and try to like, re- I, here's the thing. I tried clipping it. I even try recording it on my phone. When I would go to my gallery to check it, it's a black screen. Yeah, I think like I think they have like because because I remember I remember I was trying to watch some stuff with my friend on like I think we were doing um it was some kind of screen sharing deal with my business partner and we were just downtime so it was like hey hey let's uh, let's watch some old wrestling or something like that and we tried to share screen and it like it was black for you know. It was black, you know, when we were sharing the screen. So they they got something that keeps us from doing that. I know, and you know that's really shitty too. But it's that's the mainstream media kind of way. Um, but I think it would have been great if they allowed it because there could have been some people streaming. Like for instance, I've I could have had a chance today to stream during the race if I was able to show it. Um, at least not the whole thing, but pop in every once in a while, show what the race is looking like. Um, but mm-hmm. you can't can't do any of that. So best way is just to record it on your phone while you're watching a TV screen, yeah, like the old I, fashioned way. <laughs> that's what I did. <laughs> yeah, I think all of us did too. So, um, and uh, I, I like to put that clip up I had onto YouTube, but uh, it's copyright territory because of the announcers. I would have to put like music over something. I, w- I have to find some ways to do it. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it was so cool seeing it. It takes me nostalgia for me. My dad was a race car driver. So I used to sit in the pet area, me and my sister both watch him race when we were kids. And I don't know, it just brought so much nostalgia back and I can hear the engines roar and then you can feel the ground vibrate a little bit and, yeah, you know, your heart racing. It's the, it's the most amazing feeling in the world to be there to to experience it um because it's really you can't experience and watch it you've got to be there to, to, oh, yeah. to really get the feel for it um i got somebody in my chat that gave me a heads up jay mama uh apparently d-day cobra complimented ripoff verse yesterday so okay. this is what we're looking at this is well, before before we is... before you play this yeah go ahead go ahead i like jeremy I just don't like a lot of his takes on some stuff. Yeah, and yeah. I have I have been in arguments with him. I don't watch him anymore just because of eh. But I do like Jeremy, you know, and I'm sure we would probably get along outside um outside of like draw or you know the internet. But I I just want to leave that out there. I mean, we're both Bama fans. So I mean I think we 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 would have a we would be able to have a beer and watch a football game. That's yeah. I just want to get that out there. Well no, and that's fine. I'm glad you did. I I want you to state how you feel. Um, oh, but I will I will be honest. You know me. I'm like I don't I don't I don't pull punches. <laughs> oh no, of course not. And uh and that's the thing I was mentioning earlier too at the beginning of my stream, Jay Mom. I'm like I'm a conservative man like there's some things I, I I I can't agree with him when it comes to certain topics, but then it's it makes me mad at the same time because there's some hip, hip, to me in my opinion there's some hypocrisy there's some bullshit going on and I don't I don't like that man I just look it's okay to have an ego you you running a company it's successful you know geeks and gamers is is a big name. Um, Maybe not mainstream wise, but it's a big name. 
Uh, my husband used to watch their sports stuff. Uh, not anymore since I did this. <laughs> do they and, still uh, do it? Every so often, not as much. No, uh, okay. not as much. But sometimes he'll tune in for like the NFL when it comes to football and maybe a little bit of baseball. But he watches other channels too when it comes to sports. But uh, it, it, it just it's just sad, man. It's just I, I, it's disappointing because it's like we need people like this to talk about what is going on in Hollywood, the bullshit in our politics. Mm. Uh, you know, I'm a I'm a mother of two children, so I'm I'm very uh, alert when it comes to children's content, what's being put out there, you know, the all that kind of stuff. So I it's just um, we need that. We need people to call that out. I think now it's becoming such a rage content to where you're when you watch your videos, you're more pissed off than ever. You know what I'm saying? Because you've been listening to shit for a long time. You've been, you know, you watch your political channels too. And like, I, sometimes I used to watch Stitch and Adam um, every so often. I didn't agree with a lot what they said, but they had really great um, conversations. Um, and I wonder what they're, I wonder if Adam friended had gotten his comic out yet. I know him and Stitch were working on a comic and I don't know if they got that out yet, but that's besides the point. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen him in forever. Yeah, he he does their show. I mean, they they are doing great over there. I mean, they yeah. are growing and growing, and they do put on good good streams. It's, sometimes it's about eleven hours to ten to nine eight hours, but they do little clips here and there. Um, but you know, I I, I just they got to find a way to do it. They got to change something because if they keep going the way they're they're doing things and especially this hypocrisy and getting all fucking butt hurt about a fucking puppet like be my position motherfucker and then have something to say <laughs> like like i'd rather have been compared to a puppet than anything else that's been going on like let's well, be I mean, real Ms. here Piggy is an icon well miss like you said miss piggy is an icon Yes. Like she, what, what did you, did you, was it you, was it you or Anna said that they, she is a, she is the Muppet standard of beauty. Anna said that. Anna said that. And, and I, I was in the chat when she said that. I was like, is people forget she's like a judo master badass? Yes. I'm like, I'm like yeah. And yeah. 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 But continue. You can continue. How is this? No, you're, you're good. No. I mean, it's, it's, it's just, it's just ridiculous. They, they need to, I feel like if they're not going to change what they're doing or kind of step back and admit some faults and take ownership of it, it's only going to get worse. People, people, if, there's so many people already that's walked away from them. Look, look at low watermark. I don't know if you know about him, Jay Bob. He's always on BTM's streams. Oh, and low yeah. watermark gave me a generous dinner donation a couple weeks back that put me in the tears. Um, he used hmm. to, be one of their biggest super chatters over at FNT and Geeks and Gamers. Right. You know, we all saw in Trash Cast he super chatted that five hundred dollars. He was their biggest supporter, and he walked away. How many wow. more of low watermarks will walk away before they start recognizing that what they're whatever they're doing is not working? You need to switch it up. I don't know. I'm not in their environment or mindset, but. That's just my opinion, but let's let's check this out. Let's see what what uh what they say about. Let's go. This. Looking forward to this. <laughs> All right, I got it at a one hour and five uh minutes, right before the mark uh that um slug slugmaster told me. Uh, let's see. Never had. And then, and then you, get hate, you get hate. You get hate for affiliation. Yes. Yes. Yeah. No Absolutely. one cared. No one cared a single crap about me till he announced those yes. part on Rip Ascend. Yes. And yes. now, like people, are wait, so crap. Wait, what? we got to go back a little bit. What is outsider who came? What? Wait a minute. Ripa truly is the Trump of comics. Oh, about, like, how oh I got some clips. Baby, what? I got some clips to work on tomorrow. <laughs> Fucking. Like, well, wait, hold on. Milk toast, hold on. Hold on. Hold on super oh, rock people positive. and they're all like oh, i'm what they what? legit are calling him the trump of comics yes but i thought he was the stan lee of comics 
or the black well, stanley black stanley it's the black walt disney and now he's the trump of comics is it me or are they just trying to find something that sticks i guess so because they think it's gonna piss us off when it's like us detractors like me and tony and some others like we laugh at this shit like we're not mad we don't get butt hurt about being called the trump of comics like we this is fucking hilarious we're this is actually kind of funny that's, oh okay sorry for interrupting i just i thought that was no, just you're a good. joke i didn't know that they were legit doing that i didn't know well he has said it he's actually put out like um oh yeah video. that's right he said he made the video yes so he's calling mm-hmm. himself these things yeah that's sad that's that's, that's like i mean that's that's sad i mean it is you you have to be like okay you, you're you're a southern woman you're from virginia you would get this reference being you know but like rick flair calling himself the greatest of all time in wrestling or the man you know that's acceptable because he actually yes. proved it and did it exactly but if you know some guy who just started recently started saying it and hasn't really done anything. I, it's a bit like it's not going to go over well. I don't. I don't understand. Like people late. Like I. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little. I'm a little. I'm not upset. I'm just confused. Welcome to my world, Jay Mama. It's. This is why I step away and listen to some music and some other shit to 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 give myself my brain a fucking break because it's. Wow. You could have the best detractors, like AVS, and I'll explain it to you, but it's still fucking, he's still confusing. He's still insane. It's crazy. Uh, well, guys, I got some, mama's got some clips to take care of tomorrow. Ooh, I'm going to be clipping. I didn't think I was going to have shit to do tomorrow. Ah, uh, I got some stuff. Thank you, guys. See, this is why I love the tips. You got, like, if you see something, hear something. Like Katie didn't know, and I'll get the clip. Uh, all right, so I backed it up a little bit because I want to start. I want to get to the beginning of this conversation. So okay. let's let's see. Super no wealthy, interruptions. I, I don't want to be bothered and blah blah blah, but I care about all this like social justice bullshit. Back it up more. Everywhere I'm like, what the fuck is this place? Um, but the farther south you get, they get like it gets in a really wealthy territory, and they're all like fucking like soft milk toast like. Okay. Well, blah, 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 but I care about all this like social justice bullshit. Uh, um, rip in the chat. Yeah. So it's kind of wild, but I don't rip live in, in the Detroit. chat. Yeah. Rip in the chat. Was... You know, as you were talking about, you were talking about uh, Trump. Uh, I mean, you're talking about Gretchen Whitmer and, and uh, basically, yeah. and then Jay was talking earlier about like how you have these career politicians and all that. And it really did, it makes me think about like the fact that. Ripa truly is the Trump of comics because he's this outsider who came in and just took over and every fucking body hates him because of it. like in the comics world. Like, that's Trump. They, the mainstream don't even bring him up. The mainstream still brings up comics gate and Ethan. I, I can't believe what I'm watching. I what have uh, I walked into? I, Angus, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it back. You gotta hear this. So somebody in my chat, oh, Vlogmaster, if you're still here, say hey. He pointed me to um, and I'm I'm seeing some super chats. So I will get to that, guys. Um, I'll do that first before we I show a black Angus, but uh. So they were like, yeah, DJ Cobra uh, mentioned something about ripoff first and actually did some complimenting on it. And I was like, what? Uh-oh. So that's what we're watching now. So this is like the first time we Get just now played it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was telling the chat and Jay Bob, I, mama's got some work to do tomorrow. I got some clips I need to get going here. Um, let me get to these super chats before we show Black Angus real quick so I do not forget. Oh, Jay Bob, can I jump on? Oh, well, you're here now. Thanks for the... <laughs> That's how long ago that super chat was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No worries. (laughs) Mint came Uh, on and Mint came on. So that was more important. She had, you know, her boobs out and everything. So 
Hell yeah. They look good. They look good. I'm, I'm a little jealous. They look good. <laughs> uh, let's see. I read that one. Wong, uh, the boxing historian for two dollars. What did they call him? The Black Stan Lee. Yes, the Black Stan Lee. The Black, Black Walt Disney. Disney. And now the Trump of comics. I know it's ridiculous. Um, it's good to do see you, by the way, boxing historian. Do you think the Black Stan Lee would like run out on his kids? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe and there's a high percentage of chance. <laughs> At first, I'm like, "What?" Stanley was like, "Ah, black." <laughs> Got me, <laughs> St Stanley, but he's black. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, DJ Gravy Mix! Thank you so much for the five dollars. Eric July is far too low effort to be comparable to Trump. I know I'm a Trump supporter, and I take a fucking offense to that. I guess if you want to piss me off, that's the way to do it because he is nothing like Trump. Nothing. So, so uh, is, thank you is so there July, is there July the black Trump? <laughs> <laughs> oh you J Bama, you don't put that out in the universe. That's gonna be the next thing you're gonna do, say. Do you, do you think the black Trump would win the black vote? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm joking. It's a joke, people. It's a, you know, I'm just laughing at the ridiculousness. Of all this. You're good too. You're good. You're safe here. This is a safe space for jokes. Everybody can have whatever jokes they want. Um, uh, Psycho Crusher sixty nine. Thank you so much for the ten dollars. How long will it take until F and T or G and G? We'll start calling Air July the Jesus of comic. Oh, my God. <laughs> the Messiah of comics. <sighs> Can somebody use AI to have Eric July, like, descending from a cloud? <laughs> and then have it as, like, the savior of comics? <laughs> Oh my God! Oh, you know it'll happen. It'll happen. Oh my gosh! Thank you. Lord, all I for apologize the... for that blasphemy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jesus. It's all right. He understands. Jesus. Wait, Jesus wait, understands. Wait, wait. Black Jesus. <laughs> God will understand. God and Jesus and all of them. The Son and the Holy Spirit. And oh Jesus my God! Forgives, so... but does Eric July? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, you just making me think of a brother art thou. George Nelson, where he's like, Jesus saves, George Nelson withdraws. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus saves Eric that. Stores. Oh my God. We could go all night. Uh, I'm sorry. Thank you all I'm for sorry. the super. <laughs> You're good. It's good. It's good. Oh, Gavin um, Newsom. <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh no all right here here's the clip for everybody giving me super chats thank you so much we'll play this and then i will show black anger thanks hon, for your generosity truly means the world to me detracting with us or supporting comics gate make this stream truly great Oh my God, uh, boxing historian! Thank you again for the five dollars. Trump of comics, and he's nowhere near as entertaining. No, Trump's more entertaining. <laughs> There's Trump's moments where I'm like, eh. but I mean, I'm a Trump supporter. Ba, what's going on? What's up? It's good to see you, buddy. Uh, all right, Black Angus, you ready to get your mind blown? Uh, we, Are you we'll ready? See. Sure. <laughs> Let's Trump, see here. Trump. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Fighter who came in and just took over, and every fucking body hates him because, of it. like in the comics world, like <laughs> even talk about Eric <laughs> Trump, Trump, Trump never had. And then, and then you them. get hate, you get hate him <laughs> for affiliation. Yes, yeah. yes. No Absolutely. one cared. No one cared a single crap about me till he announced those yes. part on Rip Ascend. Yes. And yes. now, like people are sending me weird messages, like you well, know he's gonna him. steal all your money, right? <laughs> you know that, right? I've got details. And I'm hey, like, and I got a, I, I got a, I got a problem. I got a problem. Yeah. 
So Ripa is so successful. And Gary, who just hit Mr. Mr. One Million, they got fucking people making puppets of them. Yeah. I ain't got no fucking puppet. Where the fuck's Jeremy? You, you know, as a puppet? Who? Jay, you have Jay a, puppet? a puppet? What he the does. fuck, man? <laughs> Jay has a puppet. Jay has a puppet and I don't have a puppet? Yeah, you. The, yeah. what you have to do is you the have puppets, to go after that person. I'm going to be then, honest. The you just got to go after funny. him on Twitter. The puppets yeah. are funny as fuck. <laughs> I know. Yeah. They're fucking funny, dude. I was like, like, when all this is said and done, I'm hoping he could mail me mine. <laughs> <laughs> I really want a puppet, dude. I was like, can no. you just send it to me? Maybe if I'm talking about Ripa, because they always clip every time I talk about Ripa. So can yeah. I, will this get me a puppet? Like, I really want a fucking yeah. puppet, dude. Like, you got to talk shit about the puppet guy. Yeah. Then, like, yeah, come on, puppet, man. Dude. Get yeah. the fuck out of here, bro. So, yeah, where the fuck am I? <laughs> yeah, it's, I get it. I'm being mad. Yeah, I see. Uh, yeah, I've seen Jay's puppet. Yeah, everybody's got a. Yeah, all I love Gary's. Gary, Gary's is like Star Wars is dead. Star yeah. Wars is dead. <laughs> the whole fucking song. I was like, oh, mine man. would probably be like Brie Larson, Brie Larson, Brie Larson, Brie Larson. Whoa, yeah, well, you whoa. know what mine does? <laughs> nothing <laughs> says nothing. Yeah, it's just a stare. <laughs> it's pretty good, bro. <laughs> Oh uh, shit! It's so fucking it's, funny, bro. It is. Oh. But anyway, yeah. Uh, Ripa truly has just like he's just walked in the door and he's just dominated. And holy fuck, dude! Like it's crazy. So okay, before we go on to gushing about him, so I guess I didn't go back far enough. Jeremy is calling Eric the Trump of comics. So yeah, he's trying to say because people talk about him he's upending the industry or something. he's a maverick player like i get i get the illusion he's trying to make and it's like uh maybe on the surface that's an easy pitch because you be like oh look at all these but then the thing the difference is and i guess trump has this too in a way uh so in a man jeremy's kind of got an app thing here going um i try to tell people when you have the entire political spectrum represented in comics talk and entertainment talk on youtube when you go from like eric debunks super gay you know he's he's an image of sjw you know you could meme him on a, a fucking thumbnail of like oh woke he's triggered you know all the way to like uh you know i'm pretty conservative you're here j bomb I'm, I'm not sure exactly your politics jay but i assume you know long time comics gate name probably conservative whole spectrum is all collectively we're, we would never link up otherwise if not we're all like yeah we all think this guy sucks um so yeah it's 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 one thing to like see his initial like we're making unwoke comics so fox news then the long term the entire sphere that is laughing at him i think reflects yeah it's a collective effort of what no this guy sucks <laughs> <laughs> well, but but on the you know the initial phase because like Trump has that where all the former uh, presidents, Democrat and Republican, are all linked up because they're all purple. You know, there's no red and blue; it's purple. Trump's the odd man, Maverick. So right, that's the easy way to spin Eric's presence. But he's not that; he's not a Maverick. <clears throat> Oh, the, the the thing that I'm I'm like I'm like they sit there and they say like the mainstream is talking about him. I haven't seen that at all. No. I may have, I may remember uh, when the first book came out, it got a lot of attention. But since it was shipped, have you seen anything? No. Pete, the, you know, the Wokies still engage EVS. You know, they just canceled uh, John Malin, who, as far as I know, has never really made a name to like chat about in in mainstream it seemed like he had kind of mm -hmm. a short stint in popularity and uh yeah evs they still talk about him. they still cry about him because mm -hmm. he's relevant he's a, he's yeah. a shaker look he just helped cody with nascar we're becoming multi it's not even multi means like multi-entity awareness through that kind of uh push on his own not through connections by the way yes so yeah eric you know he got like uh, what a mark cuban and Kevin Hart funded like black company. They like dissed him at the start and said like, we're not going to support Eric July or whatever rip Um, But other than that, I don't know if any mainstream chit chat about Eric and rip -a -verse. 
No, not since he. Uh, not since the uh, book dropped. He was on Matt Walsh. Yeah, in yeah. Fox News. No, he's never. They never asked him to come back. That's the thing too. Like I don't even Glenn Beck like the Blaze. He's only on there to to. to I I don't even know he gets on the Blaze the Blaze anymore. I mean, I don't see much. I mean, he recently had that interview with that <clears throat> that guy, but they're not even pushing his shit out. They're not even talking too much about it, except for that one little interview recently. But no, I, I'm sorry. Trump has done more for this country than Eric can in his lifetime. Let's, I'm sorry. And and I see a super chat here that I thank you guys so much for super chat. Y'all were so awesome. Um, that uh, that Ruby King, good to see you, Ruby. I appreciate you. Uh, he says for five dollars, the difference between Eric and Trump is that Trump is charismatic, is is charismatic Eric. Yeah, Trump can can really engage with the aunt. He's got he's got charisma. Uh, he's a shit talker. He knows how to get the crowd riled up. He right. is good at selling. That's what he's. He's a businessman himself. Um, yeah. So I think I take that as an insult. Like you're you're really going to compare yourself to Trump? That's that's shitty. That's an insult. You're now your ego is a little too much, Eric. Like and 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 with Jeremy, like Jeremy, who's a Trump supporter, should know better than to compare that. Are you kidding me, Jeremy? You're gonna make that? Yeah. Uh, you, are you shitting me? You follow politics, Jeremy. You you talk about it on your podcast. You're gonna do that? Like, how much ass kissing do you need to do with Eric? You, like, is there a quota of every month of how much you need to kiss Eric's ass to get to um whatever he's got going on, whatever clout he's forming? Like, that's I some of these people need to get the fuck out of my party. I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> well, so with with I think Jeremy, what Jeremy is doing, I think what they have done is I think Ethan may have mentioned this, is that they are they they made a network their own network of i'm not gonna zeros. call them drifters right, well okay whatever <laughs> you know I'm, I'm not gonna call them a zeros because they've done more in this space than i have even tried to attempt right good point and, that's a good point and they, they 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 they've made a network to like okay let's help each other to be successful and it's a good principle it's it to be honest with you it's the same thing commiscate used to do a lot more um, before all the like, oh, you're not helping me enough. And, you know, before all the jealousies and all that stuff, which will happen to them, by the way, coming soon. Um, <laughs> but it's just like Jim, what Jeremy's doing is that he is to he is he's like it's towing, you know, the, there's a saying like towing the company line. And that's what he's doing, because you can hear things in a lot of stuff that Jeremy has said that's kind of like, oh, come on, this is <clears throat> this is ridiculous. Or let's just laugh that off. And I think Jay or drunk, th drunk is that way, too. But they're not going to like turn their back on what they've built for the sake of, you know, uh, the principles, I guess, you know, like, right. I mean, I don't know what, you know. No, I agree. I agree. And, I can see them not doing that. <clears throat> and I think I can almost promise you that they did talk about like the whole cancellation of CTUE2. And I think a few people who I, I think a few of them were like, oh, well, let's do it. And then. And then someone with a louder voice says, "No, we're not going to help them out." Yes, yeah, I gonna, think so. Yeah, I, I really, I really, truly believe that happened, and it took Anna getting canceled before they couldn't ignore it. They yeah. couldn't, you know. But, and I think Anna said on her stream that, like, you know, people. Oh no, she said on the Jack Show when I was there, she was like, "Oh well, people, you notice I haven't been on any streams because people ghosted me once they found out I was going to talk about Ethan, John, and, and Shane." Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Yeah, I so, saw that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could I could tell you who I think is the person who is really pushing the whole negative um or like the whole like oh we're not even gonna talk about them. And uh, you know, he's he looks like a melting snowman. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> I mean he's got a plushie out that's called the keeping oh Tom. Well, good for them, and I, and I said this on Twitter. It's like <laughs> good for them that they're not trying to put out put out a comic and tell and force True. everyone to talk about how great it is. <laughs> it's a silly knickknack toy, which is awesome. You know, I don't. Good point. Uh, 
I mean, it just uh, needs to be more fat in Naz's case. But, you know, that's... Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. It is. It needs to be more fluffy, you know, to lay your head on. I'm sure when Eric puts his out, it's going to be like 90% beard hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's oh just a God. fucking uh, Brillo pad. <laughs> it's a mop. It's a mop with, with eyes. With eyes, yeah. It's like a... Uh, who's that Harry Caveman from like Hanna Barbera? Oh, Captain Caveman. There we go. That's Eric. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, like heck, Lou, Katie. Did you see Anna defend you yesterday? I guess I didn't get that far into the. I'm like halfway there into that stream she did. Um, if someone could give me the timestamp for that, uh, please let me know. Um. But I didn't know that. I guess I didn't get to that far into her conversation. Um, she has uh, she has spoke very nice of me. Uh, three weeks ago, I uh, gifted memberships. I just popped in there for a little bit. And uh, she was like, you know, I'm, I hope everything's okay. I'm sorry you're going through all that just because you got some clips. And so I was like, okay. So I didn't piss her off yet. <laughs> but, so that's good you know like okay okay and, you, and it's cool and it's really cool. yeah yeah like that's once the thing you, like once you like meet her Anna, I get it's even more yeah well i know black black angus has different thoughts but like oh, for me yeah, like i'm <laughs> <laughs> but like for me it's like okay that's good because then she's because i am attacking her friends i i i am coming after eric i'm i'm one of the tractors um, and I did clip her. I have clips of her where she, uh, was, she had just come back from her wedding or her honeymoon, excuse me. And she was sharing those thoughts about, I'd rather be in the waters with a shark than a piranhas. And, uh, I was, I'll be honest with you guys. When I put that clip out, I was like, I hope she don't think I'm, cause I thought it was good. I thought there were important, um, parts in her stream that needed to come out. Um, mm -hmm. For people to see, um, nobody's going to sit through a four hour stream to to hear one little thing. That's why I think clips are great. Um, but yeah, I I'm kind of relieved on that because I am attacking her friend. So I I think I think she's she's getting that I'm I'm just here to clip shit and give your friend a lot of shit. But you know, <laughs> I do back a lot of comp campaigns and, you know, I've been, I've watched the Jack show for, from, for a long time. So, um, <clears throat> but I, I really like it. So yeah, if anybody give me the timestamp for that, let me know. Um, well, see, Anna, Anna is different that she can separate her internet life and her, and from her real life, which is very rare with a lot of people on YouTube for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. Because you gotta you gotta get up and walk away. I've had mm -hmm. to. There's times where even when I'm clipping, like it just gets to be so much that I'm like, I I'm I don't wanna hear anything. I take the air button and I, I step away. And it's it's the best ever. It's really good to do that. It's a good practice to do it. Because I feel like the more you get sucked into this and not think about in what reality is, it could be really damaging mentally, I think, over time. But then um, you end up like Sturgis. <laughs> How you doing, pal? I miss you, brother. Wow, oh, Sturgis, Sturgis, that crazy I motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what is the deal with Sturgis that Tony's saying he buys viewers? Um, I I think I I have to let Tony speak for himself, but he has said that they have found out that Sturgis. I guess there's a program where you can buy bots to up your views and subscribers to get into the algorithm. Um, mm. Because I'm going to be honest with you guys, he really didn't get that many views on his videos. Um, I remember watching Sturgis from the beginning when I was an Eric July fan and he was barely getting anything. Now, of course, Eric July has made him a moderator in his chat. I I, I'm the one that told EVS about that. Um, I gave him the little insight of it. And I did share the clip of where Eric is shouting out Renown Zero. That is not on my channel because I, I don't want to give that motherfucker a platform. Um, <clears throat> my channel's, you know, I don't want to taint it like that. Um, but I sent it to, to EVS. I said, well, now he's a moderator. 
So that's so he got a good laugh about that. Um, and so his videos, I mean, his views are going up now, but it wouldn't surprise me if he dabbled in that a little bit. Like I said, that's that's something that Tony's going to have to explain himself because I don't want to um, misinterpret him. Um, but yeah, Sturgis, Sturgis is a mod. His dreams have come true. He's a moderator. <gasps> hmm. I bet he's been shitting himself ever since. <laughs> so uh, let me catch up with these super chats real quick, guys, before we continue. Um, Pastor Flash, thank you so much again for the $5. Jeremy, you should be honored he doesn't have a puppet yet. Jeremy should be honored he doesn't have a puppet yet. You got to be a special kind of uh, retard to get one. Uh, if you're not a detractor, that is. Yeah, it's... it's uh, yeah, look. It, I think it's coming. Uh, it's coming. And it's going to be interesting to uh, see what Jeremy's reaction will be. Because now that Ripoff versus uh, probably now is aware <clears throat> that Jeremy and them are kind of laughing about it, I can I, I can feel like Ripoff versus is going to take it to the next level. He's going to test them. You know, like, oh, you're for the trolling and stuff? Okay. Let me let me go a little far with it. Let me see how far are you willing to joke about it. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I could see his mind going there. Like okay, all right, thank you. Um, but thank you so much, Plaster Flash, for the five and two dollars. Eric Huddles, uh, another great mod in my chat. Eric July is the Black Bernie Madoff. <laughs> the only guy that made the Ponzi scheme with Enron. Uh yeah yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's in. He's still in jail now. He's rotting away. I remember when all that shit happened. That was, that was pretty wild. Uh, Arctic, thanks so much for the two dollars. Um, Sean Colin, uh, Shane, Sean Colin, uh, thank you for being a member for one month. I appreciate it. Um, uh, June Wong for the another five dollars. Thank you guys so much for these. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I I love my chat. You guys are just the best. Uh, hey, Captain Caveman looks nothing like July. Captain Caveman looks like a mob. A mob. July looks over. July looks like an overgrown bush. I ain't talking about the planet. Uh, <laughs> let me say it again. So, hey, Captain Caveman looks nothing like July. Captain Caveman looks like a mop. July looks like an overgrown bush. And I ain't talking about a plant. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, can I ask the chat something really quick? Yeah, go ahead. Ask my chat. Uh, Eric Hut. Is it Hutfuls? Yes. Huffles. Eric Huffles. 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 Okay. Huffles. You're uh, sharing the link for Core Draft. This is something I've been interested in, but um, I'm assuming you've read the first one. Could you pitch it to me? Because I'm about to back the volume one and two so i just like a bit of a vote of confidence uh something more personal and just like hey back to this thing because it looks great it looks awesome but mm -hmm. you know dropping 60 bucks for a couple comics like you know that's a bit of change it could go to someone else if it's more worthwhile so if you right. can pitch it to me in your own words uh to to seal the deal i'm about to back it there you go yeah i actually backed it um because I, I'm kind of a fan of, of Dan Lawless, Dan. obviously. And I, I wanted to support him. I, we talked about this when he first came on the show. And so I signed up for the email list. Um, and then when I was watching Comics Get Kings. And he was discussing uh, about this book. I, I liked it. I like that there's a couple in it. Like it's like a couple. You know, I'm like, oh, it's the woman coming out of me. Like, oh, that's cool. I can read that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the Dan does an amazing job on drawing women. I'm telling you, he is the master at drawing gorgeous women. I'm so blown away when I watch his YouTube videos where he shows you how you can draw it. And he makes it look... I even tried doing it with him one time, like, watching his videos. I sent him the picture of it. It looks like absolute dog shit. Um, but I, I told him, I said, but dude, you make it look so easy. Like, you really, really do. Um so I did back it, but I, I backed the the volume two and then I backed I got the um the manga volume one, the manga version. Um oh, because I didn't yeah, so because I didn't get to read the first one. So I was like, well, I don't want to get a, the volume two and not know where it's going. Yeah. So I'm glad that he had that perk. So that's that's what I did. Um so I got it, I got amazing. it. 
Yeah, I got it, but it's in my it, like it went into my to read pile, so I haven't gotten to it yet. But I've heard a lot of good things about it. I look forward to mm-hmm. reading it. Oh, yep. I I definitely understand the whole read pile thing. Oh man, I was about to say, I always forget the uh, the tip grift on uh, Indiegogo because I'm like, all right, sixty bucks, and it's like, wait, 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 seventy three. Where's that from? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pisses me off because hey, some know, campaigns have it and some don't. Yeah, I mean, and you forget about it. I appreciate the sneakiness of it. Uh, the mm-hmm. like it's a great way to just like slip it under. They won't realize it till it's too late. And they're like, wait, oh wait, that only cost sixty bucks. Why did I charge myself seventy three? It's like, oh, um, the, one yeah, time. It's smart, it's smart, but it's uh, unethical. Yeah, uh, Jimmy Rage, yours does your your video you your videos and streams look do great too. Uh yeah, it's it got me one time. Yeah, ten dollar tip. I was like, you son of a bitch, I didn't ask for ten dollar tip. So when I go through it, I just put a dollar. Because I know it's not really going to them. It's just to the site itself. Um, from what I've learned from it. Um, but yeah, if if you if you first time comic indie comic book buyer and you go on Indiegogo and stuff like that, be aware of it. It is there. If they like Black Angus says, they sneak it on you. Like it's it's um pretty damn good at it. Uh, all right, I got a couple more here. Gosh, thank you guys so much. Um, Wait, Katie, support. have you seen the Young Riffa song? Yes, I'm going to play that too. I have <laughs> I've got that on my my list here. Awesome. Wait, is that the is that the guitar? Yeah. It oh yeah, like yeah, that's great. Eric like legit. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was he, him at first. Far. I was like, I was like, what? No, I call Eric boy after seeing that Star Wars series stream. Uh, I was reacting to, to this week and uh, hearing him. I never like heard. I've only seen like his like crappy rap from like when he's like eighteen, and then I've seen his like screaming about taxes on Biggest Problem. I've never actually dug into his music, so when he was you know screaming then he switched to like the like girly like singing voice that's in like the metal core i was like oh shit he's singing like a twink i didn't know he had this in him like he sings pretty it's good it's funny given knowing who he is and all the jokes with him but yeah boy band eric that's what i call him now <laughs> boy band eric <laughs> only thing i've listened to of eric's is like uh what was that that, that cover of bye 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 and that was just because ethan played it so <laughs> what i haven't seen that are you yeah. like in sync bye 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 yes yes it's pre- it's a pretty good cover um yeah but i mean this is it's just not my music i'm, I'm not into that stuff um, i i kind of agree NSYNC. but i loved in sync things pretty hey what's up tim <laughs> and eric is going in Stay away from my favorite pop bands in the 90s and early 2000s. Panic, yeah, Xbox Gamer came up with that the other day on the stream. Panic at the <laughs> Warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Don't I'll play it, up. guys. I, I Friday's the here. Chat. He's super chatting the door. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll play it for y'all. I'll play it for y'all. Let me get through these and then we'll, um, we'll end this part here. Because I'll clip the rest, guys. So don't worry. I got you on that. Look for the clips that comes with this. Um, but he's, uh, so I'm calling a member for one month. Eric isn't worthy of being called the b- Biblius to Ethan Caesar. Hell CG. Uh, yeah. No. Hell CG. Let's see here. Uh, thank you so much for being a member for one month. I appreciate it. Uh, we already read that one. Chris Bacon. The man with the numbers himself for the $10. Thank you so much. I was the first non-victim to get a puppet. Yeah. Yeah. You, <laughs> you, mm. you were. I love Chris's puppet. It's it's so good. Um, and he also gave another $2. I also got the Sturge puppet made. You're welcome. So, yeah, in case chat and those that are watching, if you're not aware, uh, Chris Bacon threw in some money to rip up our, to make some of our puppets. Um mainly Sturgis and uh, Frog Tony. So, uh, <laughs> which Tony was kind of a little upset. He's like, man, I want to keep on the gimmick about how I don't get a puppet. I'm the first detractor and I don't, I don't even got a damn puppet. So uh, Chris threw the money to rip off verse. And that's, that's how we got some of our puppets, which by the way, Black Angus, now I'm talking to you. I love your puppet. 
yeah <laughs> you're someone like someone like haha angus look and i'm just like okay but then like someone else said and i looked at it again like insane jugs and i'm like ah i do love <laughs> perfect yeah i got a new juggy statue i actually got the captain marvel finally it's probably one of the best sideshow statues uh as far as jugs are concerned there you go yeah yours was spot on yours was <laughs> really really spot on it was so good oh my gosh i just got onto my twitter and <laughs> immoral fat uh a moral fat 40 ounce <laughs> tag me on twitter with the in sync song oh my gosh what oh. Oh, you're the one that um and that Sturge the ripoff video the the ripoff video of the puppets was Sturgis was like oh you have no muscles that's you yeah. right okay okay no that's right. ba that's like, ba yeah, yeah it's ba Turner oh that's I'm, not you I'm black yeah. I'm black Wayne oh. in the ah uh, okay <laughs> I thought that was you I was like ba black Angus I was like oh is that is that oh, who no. that was referring to okay <laughs> I'm like uh okay uh, Eric says pull it up okay well let's let's I've got a bookmark. Don't you worry. I got this. I'll even. By the way, Sturgis said I didn't have muscle either. <laughs> yeah, he tries to say you're fatter than him or something. You're not yeah, fat. I'm saying, like, <laughs> my, yeah. He said, he said like, oh, my legs are bigger than yours. I was like, Sturgis, I got veins going up my calves up to my thighs. I mean, <laughs> come on. <laughs> and they're not varicose veins. They're actually sticking out. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, here it is. I found it. I really thought when I first saw this guy, I was like, is that Eric July? I was like, is this an old? Is this, what is this? And then when I looked, I was like, oh, it's not. But he really, he plays the part well. I'll give him that. Okay, let's see here, guys. All right. Let's hear it. Let's see when we come back. All right. Wait, can you set this up first, Katie? Huh? No, can you set, set what this up? up? Like who this is and who did this? I I've just got it today. So and Angus, do you, Black Angus, do you know a little bit with this guy? Too? I think this is the guy who oh, did uh, "Thanks for the Heads Up" song. Okay, he did, I think he did the Iris song too. Okay. 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 Uh, maybe Neon Thunderbird probably knows him too. Okay. All right. Yeah, because I I didn't get. I was like, oh what is this and like i said i thought it was eric and then i'm like wait a minute that's not eric that's someone else so uh yeah let's see what what we got here young riffa anyone it is thinking whatever it is makes no never mind to me it is what it is <laughs> however it is my opinion that it is my comic books quality it's all it is i can hear all my detractors claim some guys just a garbage name Shouldn't mean a thing to me. I promised I'd move differently. I did. <laughs> Tell me, why does it matter? He always went to you. I feel like the forest millionaire. Is this as good as it's gonna get? Am I just the sorest winner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How can I forgive the criticism that I get if T wouldn't lie to me? Or well, maybe they do. <laughs> Every once in a while it is. I get a light bulb in my head, a genius epiphany. Dare I say it is? The Oscars promise Hollywood is waiting. Hold on. <laughs> Do those sisters worship Satan? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that was awesome. I turned red. That was great. <laughs> oh, there's still more to it. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. god. <laughs> That's great. Nice. Good job. Oh, opinion nerd. <laughs> oh, it's opinion. Yeah, same guy. Yeah, he okay. did the. Thanks for the heads oh. up. He's a supporter of, of my channel. Oh, that's awesome. That is Hell. good. Good. Uh, check your DMs. The, okay, I'll check it. That is the, good. The good Trump of folk music. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that is great. That is good. Uh, the black trump of folk music. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Let me check. I see here. I'm going to trademark the black uh, Jesus of comics. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Do it. Oh my gosh. Okay. I, I see my DMs there. Uh, let me. Gosh, guys. Super chats. Wow. Thank you. Let me do some catching up here. Uh, Nate. Three, uh, 313, thank you for becoming a new member. I appreciate it. And Snafu Certified Stun Muffin for $2. Cody number one. That's right. That's Ew. right. Um, Yep, and that's it. Okay, I'm caught. All right, make sure I didn't want to miss those. Oh, hey, Abra, how are you? Good What's to up, see Abra? you. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Let me tell you something, guys. Her interview with Jimmy Reyes was so good i mean it was probably the best interview of him mm -hmm. that i've watched since he you know started coming around on youtube and and talking to people um she's great and i took some lessons because i i want to learn from the best we do have comic artists that come on my show and all of our other shows especially black angus and uh she's a great example of, of how to conduct an interview um she's very talented so um it's great to see abra um, as always. So, um, all right, what was the other video we were going to watch that chat wanted me to? Oh, the NSYNC. I have never seen this. Guys, I'm a huge fan of NSYNC. I was like one of those girls that took out the teen magazines of the pictures of them and I would tape them on my wall. Double side That's taped them to the wall. Yeah. And you'd, and you end yeah. up, like when you took them down, you end up pulling like the drywall off. <laughs> like just. Oh, yeah. It would piss my dad like, off because he's yeah, like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. My my dad was so when we had to when we moved to another house and I took all my pictures. Oh, yeah. Dad was not happy. He was like, damn it. I got to put first paint on that now. What? <laughs> so, yeah, he was he was not. So we I think at the new house I did it. I just kept them in my little box and admired them. But anyway, uh that's you know i was into the boy bands i'm a 90s kid i can't <laughs> i can't help it um oh no it's gone wait a minute do i need to go to youtube okay the in sync one oh no you uh twitter took it down but you can get it on youtube okay <laughs> that's weird all right let me get through these ads and then i'll oh my god it's 41 seconds is it going to be 41 seconds I can't get back? Is he going to butcher a classic song? Oh, Eric. Uh, I sent a new link. Is it the same one or um, is it a longer version? My band covered Bye 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 by NSYNC. When was this? Six years ago. Yeah, and it, it has 700... <laughs> It's 71 views. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is just a promo? Yeah, this well, is just a promo, uh, I think. You don't want to watch the whole okay. thing, do you? Uh, oh, oh, I, I'm just curious. Let me see what he says with this promo. What's good, what? everybody? Some of you may not know that my band Backwards recently dropped a cover of NSYNC's by Okay, I better stop because I could hear copyright coming down my throat on that one. Uh, let me pull up the other one that that uh, was sent to me. 
you can hear a difference in his voice. Yes. You know, it's funny that Riley and Mint, they've actually gone back to um, hearing for Kenan's sake. Yeah. he's Mm -hmm. It's so different. Yeah. It kind of makes you wonder. Okay. Sucking Satan's pecker. Oh, okay. Pastor Flash, I just got your clip of Anna mentioning me. Um... I believe okay. I was there when Pastor Flash got his name. I How wasn't on the stream. It's from Flashcast. How did he get it? Because they were calling Flash Pastor Flash because he was like, oh, I'm not about butt stuff. <laughs> That's where that comes from. So, I mean, like wow. you said earlier, so many so many people have come over because they're just fed up with the nonsense, you know? Yeah, it gets tired after a while, man. You just, I was a two-year you... member of Flash. On his channel. Were you? Mm-hmm. Well, I actually had to become a member. Um, okay, so I didn't see the other clip there, uh, Moral Fat. Uh, I don't see the other one unless I missed it. Oh, wait, I'm looking at this one here. Uh, here it is, the backwards cover. Hmm. Are you ready oh, for my this? God. All right, guys. Trust me, we it, it we ain't going to be watching this whole thing because I'm probably going to want to punch the wall right here. Because I'm telling you, I hate when people come in and try to do cover songs for. You mean you hate it when people ruin your childhood? Yes. God, yes. Now you know how now I want- felt when I saw, like, when I saw the um, uh, the Force Awakens. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea how pissed I was. Oh, I can imagine. Well, you know what really ruined my childhood with NSYNC? I had a crush on Lance, Lance Bass. Ah. <laughs> I wonder <Sucker>. why. Sucker. <laughs> I had a crush on him. He was like the cutest one out of the group. And You know what it is? The girls what? love the forbidden fruit. You're never mm. getting Lance. Never. <laughs> <laughs> He's ours. Yeah, you should have settled. Boys. <laughs> <laughs> you should have settled for the fat one. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, when he came out, he was gay. I was like, I, I, no joke, guys. I was so devastated. I was so pissed off for, I think, for a couple days. Like, I was so, well, I didn't have any. I, I found as I'm older, I'm like, you motherfucker i'm a i had pictures on your i had pictures of you on my fucking wall i would stare at you at night and you're gay damn it it, it was like the oh it was so heartbroken you were like well i mean it's come full <laughs> bye, circle. bye bye lads it's come full circle <laughs> for men because like you know all you girls are getting trapped by a gay guy mm-hmm. uh and buy all the merch and then now only fans it's like every chick's actually got a husband or boyfriend she's been with for like five years but she's selling her twitch and everything else is like a, a, a fantasy like i could get her you know if i if i super chat her enough if i you know subscribe enough pay for enough view i can get her and it's like she's married what the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, it hurts. Uh, B-Team Reviews, what's up? It's good to see you. Hi, Katie. How are you tonight? What's up, brother? I'm good. Uh, Jay, How nice meeting we... you on stream for once. Hello, uh, and what's up, Black Angus? How are you doing tonight, bud? Oh, man, it's not bad. Uh, Great time hanging out with y'all. <laughs> uh, I had a good stream. We talked 40K tonight. That was my stream. Uh, oh, I know nice. nothing about it, so I brought on a guest to learn about it. It was uh, fun. Uh, just, you know, try to keep things different a little bit we had some people watching that was fun uh but your show's kicking ass tonight i watched it uh, as soon as my stream ended katie it looks good good thank you uh dark uh we're disappointed when ricky martin came out okay yeah that was another disappointment like we couldn't tell come on <laughs> i don't think Michael. so yeah. oh. i don't think so i didn't oh. get that vibe uh, from ricky martin oh my god well, George is different. Though. George is bi, so he's literally for everyone. <laughs> Listen, if you're bi, you're gay. 
Come on. No, it's not true at all. <laughs> <laughs> For gay, dudes, guys, uh, gay guys don't want to sleep with women. So like it's just de facto <laughs> not. A, no, it's it's a whole new ballpark. <laughs> Uh, all right, so BTM, some uh, I have recommended to watch Eric July do a uh, his band do a cover of Bye Bye Bye. I'm only going to listen to a couple. Of seconds I I, I, I have played this before. I, I played this before. Yeah, and I have not seen it. It will get fucking copyright struck in two seconds, even though really? it's a remake. Yep, they're going to copyright you the fuck out of this Wait, video. no katie before you play it before you play it you should make like a super chat goal to counteract the copywriting absolutely so like five fifty bucks for a hundred whatever be like i need this much super chats now if i'm going to play this because it's there terrible too. it's terrible too there you go guys uh what black angus said if y'all want me to play and get the copyright let me know uh God, look uh, at big look at him look look at look at He's put on some weight. He's Have you seen boy. this, Jay Bama? Yeah, I saw it it's... when um, Ethan played it years ago. Yeah, Ethan don't care about copyright strikes. Do you think Alex <laughs> the redhead? Do you think he's the Lance of the group? Who's the Lance of backwards? I don't know. I don't know about his band. <laughs> I don't know. He's got a pretty mouth. <laughs> Al Bundy says, "Make a goal to not play it." <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. There you go, Chad. I'm giving you. I'm giving you four minutes. If I don't get a super chat, then I will play it. Okay, so there you go. Uh, Hundred dollars oh, super chat. There you go. Hundred dollars. There yeah, you go. Auction up. It's a hundred dollars. Uh, Jay, were you at the race today? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm in Florida. Oh, I thought you were in Bama. No, no, no. So did Ethan. Even though I've told Ethan countless numbers of times, like, hey, when you come to Orlando, let me know. I'm like, you, you're a Southern Florida guy. Oh, I live in Orlando. I should. Oh, you live uh, in Orlando. Yeah, yeah. My mom, my my mom, my wife just flew out to Florida today with my son to see her mom in uh, Fort Lauderdale. That's. That's where I met oh, my wife in Fort. La I met my wife in Fort Lauderdale. I'm not a fan of Fort Lauderdale. I'm not a fan of Miami area, but it is nice. No, I, I haven't been back to Florida since I left. Hmm. And that was uh, 26 years ago. I have not been back ever. I don't like Florida that much. Uh, <laughs> only reason I like Florida is it reminds me of my wife. Right. Mm -hmm. Other than that. Uh, I'd rather be in Alabama. <laughs> now, do you, so, so Orlando, you've been there a long time, your whole life? Uh, no, I was born in Georgia and okay. I grew up in Atlanta. And then, um, like what, 2002 moved down here or 2003 moved down here. So you and Chris Bacon are blood brothers. He's a Georgia boy too. Oh yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me catch my super chat here. Aaron S. Clark, thank you so much for the $2. I wish Eric would go bye, bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but if he goes, you know, I, I'm going to miss detracting. I enjoy detracting. We want him to continue because he gives us good shit every week that i can clip and laugh at and you know but i get what you're saying he, he does need to go bye bye i think he needs to change like not do comic books just do vitamin water or something no he needs to go Feral. back and do what he was doing before with yeah. the, like the with the political commentary and stuff he in like he has charisma doing it he's great when he's talking about politics and stuff like that and he's you know he, he's 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 detracting them, right? You know yeah, I mean? exactly. We but, can't go back though. Uh, uh, yeah. The curtain's been pulled back. Now we know he's a fraud, libertarian. It's all a grift. He's the first guy to call the cops on people to utilize the state and thus the stolen tax dollars to point a gun at you or attempt to at least to uh, influence your behavior. He's a fraud. He can't go back. <laughs> yeah yeah uh dr till ministry of dude by the way guys go um hopefully my mods can put their links in the channel 
Um, I had them, but I've, I got to dig through it. Um, please go subscribe to Dr. Till, the Ministry of Dude. They they are hilarious. I enjoy watching them. They have such great takes. Their uh, take on Miss Piggy situation was fucking hilarious. I had a good laugh. Um, I was actually listening to them um, while I, I, of course, I had my earbud in, but I was listening to them as I was grocery shopping. So I, I had some good chuckles down a couple of aisles. So, um, but yeah, thank you so much. Uh, and of course, Sean, Sean Colin for the $5, play it. All right. Well, I'll play, I'll play a little bit of it. I, I know. Let's see. Let's see. I want to just, where do we start? Let's. Where do I want to start? Because I know in the beginning it's just the chorus. The start at the credits. <laughs> <laughs> what all three minutes of them? Uh, all right, let's see. Let's just sing. <laughs> Well, you won't get struck for that because nobody knows what the fuck he just said. So you, you're probably safe there. What do you think, uh, Black Angus? I'm, well, like she paused it right before Lance starts singing. So here's where you're going to lose your money. Yeah. <laughs> On here, um, Lance. <laughs> look, guys, I'm all for like screaming metal music. It's what I listened to when I when I went to the gym a lot. Um, no, stay away from it. Sink. Why? I don't. I don't. All right, a few seconds. Oh yeah, that's a fruit cake right there. <laughs> called it. I called it. We have our lance. Got him. <laughs> oh He's got a pretty mouth. Yeah, a pretty mouth. Oh, why? Why? Hair. Why? <laughs> I love my chat. I really do. All right, three more <laughs> seconds. <laughs> okay. You I just got get... demonetized. You're screwed. <laughs> I'm done. It's over. Um, yeah, we're not going to play any more of it, but I will go back. Okay. So it's great like that, like metal, but then Eric comes in fucking screaming. Oh, come on. I don't yeah, get some it. Some things it's like, no, it's meant to be the genre. And then like, it, there's no crossover. I don't get it. There's a really cool song. Uh, I love, um, I can't remember the, <laughs> the, the guy's name, but the, the composer of like the Dollars trilogy, Clint Eastwood. Uh, someone did like a blend of that style music with kisses. I was made for loving you. I was like, this is crazy. It works. <laughs> it work. It's just, I just don't like the, I don't know. Maybe I need to like, when I get done with my stream, I'll listen it all the way through and, and give my take on it. But why are you going to do that, Eric? Damn it. Uh, Ruby King. Thank you so much for the $2. That was horrible. Please no more. Well, we, we, we could have stopped. Don't worry. We, I think we've all had our fair share. Oh my gosh. Guys, men rally gifted 20 memberships. Holy shit. Wow. Thank you guys so much. I'm, I'm telling you what, I don't care what anybody says. Men and Riley are great supporters of Comicscape. They they mm -hmm. go by everybody's channel. They share nothing but love. They 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 support all of us, and you know, and they back so many campaigns. They are Comicscape. They 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 really support so many people in this. Not just us as YouTubers and detractors, of course, but people who are making great comics. People who are doing great work. These guys support everybody. Like right. So I. I, that's why they have my full support. They're, I think they're great people. They're amazing. I've really enjoyed my time with Mint. If you haven't seen already, her and I did a, a live reaction to Rambo the comic, and that was that was quite interesting. Uh, but I have a clip of that on my channel. You know, thank you so much. We're gonna play this. Thanks, hon, for your generosity. You truly mean the world to me. Distracting with us or supporting comics, hey, make this stream truly great. 
Thank you so much, Mint and Riley ASC Presents. I really do appreciate it. And welcome, members. Um, I will be doing comic book reviews. Uh, my husband and I have planned a little getaway for the two of us for a couple days. Um, All right. Job, we're not, with this job, we're not able to celebrate our wedding anniversary in August. So we're going to take right. an early trip. Um, last year, we went to a music festival in, up in New York, and that was it was fun, but it, we we needed some relaxing. So during that time, it's going to be at the end of June, no, beginning of June. Um, I'm going to take that weekend to read up on some comics. I'm going to take my whole comic book box with me. I'm going to go through and read all of them, write out my reviews, and get them out to you guys because I could have a chance to sit and actually relax and read without any interruptions or waiting late at night, you know, because doing the clipping and stuff has really take up a lot of those free times I do get, which I, I do not mind. You guys have make it worth it for me. Um, but it's kind of hard to, to like sit down and just really get into the comic. I, I, I want to make sure I do my reviews right. And, um, and for y'all to enjoy. So those will only be available for members. So, um, so check that out. I'm probably going to start taking some of the, earlier live streams too um and start making them for members only uh probably the first two streams i did i'm going to make that for members only and and so, so on and so forth but uh um never spawning never <laughs> oh lord it's good to see you riley uh all right so let me riley um, go punch cecil right now <laughs> yeah what are you doing I appreciate the gifted memberships, but you got aren't you supposed to punch Riley? I mean punch uh, Cecil. Cecil. <laughs> no, on even <laughs> on, Ethan's li on, li on Ethan's live stream the whole time I'm like, punch Cecil in the face. Punish him. <laughs> uh yeah, Clippa is the ultimate troll. He is. He is. Uh, but I'll tell you what, Mint and Riley are the sweetest couple, the sweetest people you will ever meet. They they truly love each other. They're, I know there's so much shit out there about them. Ignore it. They are wonderful people. Um, they're really good at what they do. And yes, I mean, I, I could never, obviously, ever have an OnlyFans. I never could do that. But I do give praise to women that do do that. It's that takes a lot of balls to do something like that. It's it's kind of high risk, and but I hope you the make women good don't money. Take balls to do that. Oh well, some of the women know, have balls. Uh, hey, there's <clears throat> hey. Apparently, transitioning to women is a very popular thing right now. Okay, a lot of men want to be women, um, and I can understand because you know we're great when we don't run our mouths too much. <laughs> so, um, so there was an Eric July. Well, actually. I do um I do want to do that. Hold on one second. Cause there is one Eric July video that I have not seen yet because I've been so busy. Um I know Tony and a lot of people already e faffed it. Um oh, what do we e faffing? Eric July came out with a video this week. I have not seen it. Um Tony and TJ and then went over it last night. Uh mm. Let's see here. I got another message. Hell of the Lore song? There's a Hell of the Lore song? Oh, God. It... Are you serious? Jay wrote it. Really? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> What is going on? People are just making some some shit out there. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. Let me. I wish I, I, I gotta hear this. I know, right? I Let have me no share talent. this. Yes, you do. First off, BTM, your reviews have been popping off the chain, man. You get so <laughs> many people watching you. Like you, your channel's blowing up, man. You're doing so good. Like you really. I like the people you bring on, you know, from all walks of life. And I bring on anybody. Um, Ask Black Angus. Exactly. I brought him on my channel. Holy oh, shit. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to bring uh, Jay on one night because uh, we could have a nice talk about what you talked about the other day in the stream from 360 something to whatever. 360 we could talk about. 
to yeah. two thirty this morning. We could talk about that because I've done the same thing. Oh, congrats, man! It's hard, man. <laughs> I was fifty when I started that fucking chore. Holy cow! Yeah. So yeah, it it, well, it could be done, people. And Kate is right. Eat less. <laughs> That's what I did. Depending on out. what your goals are, yeah, it's it's not that hard. It's just <laughs> discipline and will, and like might, like just staying, just staying on track. You know, that's dude. And the best part, if you're married and your wife supports it, uh, it's a big deal. Like you tell her what you want to eat in a day, and calorie wise, and she knows, and she does mm-hmm. it for you. Uh, guess what? It makes it that much easier. <clears throat> if if she doesn't support you and she just keeps cooking the same shit you ate to get fat. You're fucked. Sorry. Yep. And uh, and I use that that uh, we'll talk about one day on a stream. Go ahead, Katie. Oh no, uh, you're good. Let me. Look uh, to DJ it. Crisis. I did see you. Um, just hold on one second. I did get your DM. Hold on one second. Let me see this here. Uh, oh Lord. Fuck hell, the Lord. By the way, I don't care for that oh, piece yeah. of shit. All right. Well, wait. I know, right? Is that it? It's got a good... It's like winger. like fourth grade music right there <laughs> that was pretty good i had a good do you tune. watch that was you nice. watch suit videos katie um i froze again yeah we lost her oh i thought it was me sometimes my internet freezes so no I'm it's like, her i'm just gonna sit through this <laughs> yes. all right sorry i i don't know what's going on my bad my bad She's do got you watch suit song. videos uh, oh. when I have time, not very, not recently, I haven't had much time lately to sit down and watch through them. Um, did he come out with something recent? Oh, he did the, um, I know he did the Eric July, um, musical, the ice yeah. musical. I played yeah, that the I other night. The fucking, the fucking chat loved it. Even though it's really? nine minutes long, they loved it. Yeah. I'll send it to you if you want to play it. He also sent me something yes. else I'll, I'll send to you. Yeah, send send it all to me. That came from a sensational shout out um, at 3D Asset Verse. <laughs> uh, I'm going to follow you. That was really good. Uh, oh, I think I've seen uh, the memes to this. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Let me. Let's get rid of that. Let's do this. So yeah, Eric, shout out is not promoting. <laughs> oh, I look you're the one. Okay. Okay, I've seen well, I am following you now, definitely. Guys, go check that out. Let me put um 
his Twitter link here in the chat for you guys. Go uh, go follow this guy. I, I got a feeling he's going to have some good content. That was pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. All right. And then, um, let's see. Uh, DJ Crisis, yes. Give me just one one second, though. And uh, I'll get you hopped in here. Um, okay, I got yours. Uh, Rip a go go. I don't think I've seen. Maybe I have seen that. Let's let's look. Let's look here. Let me share the screen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Um, introducing the Rip a Go Go Shoulder Hair Edition. Two months ago. Yeah, I've seen this one. We're going to play it, though, because it, it, it was pretty good. It was really, really good. I remember when I first watched this on Tony's stream, actually. And, uh, it was well, nice. welcome back to what is. Froze again. Get that moonshine, moonshine internet. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Her routers run on steam engines. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna blame Eric. I won't blame him. Uh, uh, Psycho Crusher sixty nine for the five dollars. Thank you so much. Fun fact: Eric wasn't actually singing. That's how he normally sounds when he's talking. <laughs> <sighs> Oh God! Oh, and um, Plunge Cast from the Zillion two dollars. Katie, did you read my comic Robot Nation Volume One? No, I haven't. Um, I don't know if you were here earlier, but I'm going to dedicate that time off. Uh, that me and my husband are going on that trip. Um, we're gonna do some things to you know go sightseeing and stuff. We're gonna actually go see a baseball game because he's a we're a Atlanta Braves fan. Um, hey, so we're gonna go right. see the baseball. There you go. Uh, so we're gonna go see a baseball game. Um, but on my downtime, I'm I'm getting caught up on everybody's comics. So uh, just uh, if, I don't even think you sent it to me. I, you might have an email. Could it, just email that to me again so I make sure I do have it. And then yeah, I'll read it. Um, I haven't even had a chance to read Tony's script to his comic. Um, I owe that to him too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be taking care of all that while while I'm gone. So. Um, Let's go ahead and play this and pray to God my internet doesn't fuck up. Do I have some news that it is that I have for you to give, do I? Some of you know that we'd be bouncing the idea of the Riververse online game. <laughs> the chicken. Oh, it is still too early to tell you much about that. It is that which it is, which is us all excited over here at the Riververse. The Tony? The frog. Of That's right. You world of warehouses? World of warehouses. Now, I can't say much more than that. that <laughs> Look at the pictures but in the it back. be in the works that it be. That said, I got some sad news to be dropping on you that I do. Indie comic funding is dead. It is dead, I say. Now, before you go crying on me or go out lying on me, let me say this. That's not a bad thing. You heard me? Indie comic crowdfunding being dead is not a bad thing for you. We got you, bro. We got you covered. We here at the Ripperverse foresaw that it is that this was coming and acted accordingly. Um, let me introduce you to the Ripper Go Go. That's right, the Ripper Go Go. The Ripper Go Go is going to save indie comics. How you may be asking? How can Eric D. July be the savior of the indie comic industry? You may indeed What's be asking you yourself. The table? And a great question to ask that be. <laughs> Up until now, you have had to go to crowdfunding and almost literally beg for people to back your campaign. Not only that. You have had to run around hoping to get on other people's channels to be able to be allowed the gift of promoting your campaign in the hopes that those viewers of those channels back you. It doesn't have to be this way. There is an easier way. <clears throat> Welcome to the Ripper Go Go. We will fund your comic. We will promote your comic. We will win. Every campaign I have launched has been a million dollar campaign or more. How many backers you hope to get normally as an indie comic creator? 100, 1,000. We will guarantee you 10,000 or more straight up. More than likely, you will get way more than that. That's almost an instant backing all due to the Ripperverse. Look Need at the artist. We got you. Need a colorist. We got you too. Need a writer. We can even cover that too. The Ripperverse got you covered. We will print, store, and deliver your comic for you. There's no downside to this. Ripperverse got you covered. How can this be? <laughs> be it that asking you are. 
it is because when I tell people I future proof my business and when I tell people that I am a genius here to help all indie comic creators, that is exactly what I mean. You think I have five warehouses just to store my comics? No, of course not. That is for your comics. Want to bring your own writer along, your own artist and color to no problem. Ripperverse got you covered. We will pay your writer, artist, and colorist and deduct those fees from the sales you make when your comic is selling. Not a dime needs to leave your pocket for any of this. I know it sounds impossible, doesn't it? But it's not. It is possible and doable, and we will save indie comics. We will save indie suit. comic creators. If you not only want to be part of this to get your comic out fast and on time, but also be part of supporting your fellow indie comic creators, then there is no other choice. I know some of you cats, rabbits, even frogs want to know what the catch is. The catch is there is no catch. How does the Ripperverse make money? Then you'd be asking yourself. We make money by selling your damn comic book. Your comic will be part of the Ripperverse. Your front cover will have the Ripperverse presents and then your comic book title. We will take oh. a percentage of the sales to make sure that our business model is <laughs> sustainable and able to help and save other indie comic creators. He's sitting on a toilet. Like you. No longer do you have to rely <laughs> yeah. on it and pray that crowd funding it's to Tony's help right get your there. comic out there. Come join the Ripper Go Go and be great. Be great with me. By allowing the Ripperverse to help you, you will in turn help the Ripperverse. It's a symbiotic relationship that has no downside. So say it with me. Indie crowdfunding is dead. Say it again. Say it louder this time. Indie crowdfunding is dead. Rejoice with me. Rejoice with the Ripperverse. And let the Ripperverse make you a millionaire too. You have hope nothing to lose. Hope it flushes. The game. Oh, oh, they should no. end it with a flush. Good job, Sue. Good job. Good that job, was Sue. <laughs> that was that was really, really good. It was awesome. Um, it's yeah. so like the way that it talks is just like Eric. It's so perfect. I know, man. ain't it? Ain't it crazy how just accurate it can be? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think that that and out the Alex Stein from Ripoffers that Ugh. sounds just like I can't get over. <laughs> How that's such the uh, same, and I got a super chat from the sensational shout out, shout out to you, buddy. Thank you so much for the Canadian five dollars. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, and and this is your clip. Thank you. So who is this fun guy? Uh, what was it? um, Kale Barnett? Kale Barnett? Kale? Yeah, that's you got me. That? I don't believe it. Uh. Oh. Don't tell me she's mad. Now he's with the only you can raise hell or cuss here. out anything you want around here, but unless you're tired of living, I wouldn't be swinging that name Barney Kale around here no more. <laughs> Thank you so much, and shout out to you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Rhinestone. Hey. Ryan, Ryan Stone, it's a great movie. It's been years since I watched it, but yeah, they, they actually had a rhinestone cowboy. And okay. um, actually, uh, they did a soundtrack together, him and Dolly Parton. Apparently, the soundtrack was really, really good, um, but they did a song together, um, and it's in, in, in the movie. So, tell you, Dolly, Dolly Parton's a tell me, it's awful, it's so awful. <laughs> Do you really think so? Oh my gosh, that was like the movie that came on like WGN at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> TBS <gasps> after wrestling. <laughs> oh come on! After it's West Coast classic. football. <laughs> after West Coast football back in the day. <laughs> it's like up next Georgia Championship Wrestling, followed by Rod Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, uh, Psycho Crusher 69. Thank you for the $10. You might need this to upgrade your internet service from dial up. I know, but I will say, like, it's done so good so, so far. Knock on wood. It's what done do you very use, well. Katie? What do you use? Um, I have um, Xfinity. And I really? can't get any other internet where I'm at. I have to, yeah. you have to go through. Xfinity. Pretty much those areas, they get like one company has got pretty much a monopoly and you have no choice. And it's not DSL? High speed? Yeah, they get all, yeah, it's all of it, yeah. It's just, where I'm at, like, the bandwidth by the time 
it gets to where we're at in our then area. I can it's, order Starlink. Order Starlink. I don't. Well, I've on. been told that. I've I've been told that. Yeah, I, I definitely need to to get I want Starlink. Starlink and and every once in a while they'll say, "Hey, Dave, you're phasing." Like, but not often. Uh, uh, because hey, I live you. like I have no internet where I'm at except for satellite shit, and uh, Starlink works good. Well, is it is it expensive? Is it kind of hundred bucks a month? Hundred bucks a month. Oh, that's cheaper than what we're paying here. Yeah. With Xfinity, that's so much cheaper. Yeah. Oh you, God, yeah. yeah. You, you just got to buy the dish. Uh, yeah. And and here's oh. the thing, though. If you let's say you're going to go on a trip, camping or something, you can pack up your mm -hmm. dish. When you get there, you just set up your dish, and you got internet right there. It's portable uh, because the dish actually is a square dish. And it folds into itself uh, when it's off. <clears throat> but when it's on, it's got a heater. So when it snows, it melts the snow off your fucking dish. It's crazy, man. So it never gets blocked by snow cover like a like a direct TV or something like that. For a hundred bucks oh, a I month. That'd be great. Because we have our dish right here at the edge of the house. And I would have to get like like a, a, a a ladder. Oh, a ladder. Thank you. Hair <laughs> <laughs> July screwed me this week. Okay, if it, this is what's happened. This is what brain rot looks like. Um, and I would have to get the broom and knock the snow off, and that was such a pain in the ass to do. That's good. It, it melts off. My husband in your know bathrobe and slippers. <laughs> yes, I've actually done that. Yes, I have no shame out here. Okay. My no wife. Shame. My wife is not climbing a ladder. She's like, "Fuck that." Uh, you, you climb the ladder, Dave. I'll hold it for you. She's not climbing the ladder. <laughs> oh, oh, look at here. ID Crisis. What's going on? What's going Good on? Hey, you, hey, Dave. Hey, hey, Jay. Hey, Black Angus. Hey, Katie. Up, Thanks for letting me on. I hope I, no um, I mean, I wiped my feet before I came in, but <laughs> hopefully oh. I'll be as well behaved as ever. Can you hear me okay? Um, yeah, you're good. Psycho Crusher, I didn't get, I don't think I played your clip yet. Thank you so much for All the right. $10. And uh, here's another one from, from that you movie. Can do that? No problem. Well, show me. Okay. You gotta get a little uh, grit in your shin, a little flea in your knee, a little charm in your arm. Hey, don't bounce up and down so much. Look who's talking. <laughs> I've never seen that whole movie. Has anybody okay. seen that whole thing? <laughs> I yeah. think it's a good movie. I, I think Katie watches movie. it on a loop because <laughs> yeah. she's, got, she's got the 4K. Yeah, well, she's just, got it on. Does, 4K, does every... Blu-ray, and DVD. She's bought every version. <laughs> the collector's right, That's edition. Rhinestone, right? <laughs> yeah. Do you also have those copies of Stop or My Mom Will Shoot? Mm -mm, no. no. Okay. So but Rhinestone is better different. than that movie. Yeah. Is it really? <laughs> I don't know. Does, does anybody else laughing. have a? Uh, everybody else says the movie sucks, but I love it. Anybody else? Mm -mm. I don't know. I'm seeing no? it. Uh, it's got a twenty percent. What movie? Tomatoes. Any movie, like personally, <laughs> like everybody else hates it, but it's your guilty pleasure. Speed Racer. Spe oh, I okay. Speed Racer. That's um. What's his face? Uh, Emil Hirsch, right? Yeah, I love that yeah. movie. Okay, ice, anybody? Ice, ice Pirates. Ice Pirates. Uh, that's the guy that used to play uh, Spencer for Hire. Yeah. Robert Urich. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No? I Mine is um, uh, Wing Commander. Wing Commander. I can't help it, man. There's something about it. You know? And that some of the acting is over the top. I don't like Freddie Prince Jr., but everything else about that movie I like. Waterworld is another one. Well, Waterworld got slammed because it went way over budget. How couldn't it? And it Kevin movie. Costner was being a prima donna, but it was still a good movie. I thought it was good. Like in the end of, uh, uh, what was it? Um, the Cable Guy. Waterworld was amazing. <laughs> they're having that fight in this, bringing it back to satellite dishes when they're having that fight in the satellite dish. Water oh, yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Black Angus hasn't answered yet. Although I do oh. see a I, I do see a is that a Captain Marvel behind you that actually has hips and breasts? Yeah. Just I got can't it. believe it. Where did you find that? Or did you have to make it yourself? <laughs> Not sideshow. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, sideshow. Yeah. I got junky. Guilty Malton, pleasures. Um uh, Godzilla like 98. I love that movie. The one with Matthew Broderick. Yeah, um, yeah, I think it's actually like the perfect Godzilla movie because it's uh, wow, 
it's it's got you know enough like action monster stuff that's way and, beyond i like it yeah no it's got good uh monster action stuff and right. humans that are actually interesting enough beyond like plot drivers of like they exposit you know they're actually like people. the uh, azaria was the good hank azaria character i was gonna yeah. say yeah um i <laughs> He's mean so underrated yeah especially and like underutilized too going in, from in, God, in most everything yeah going from godzilla 2014 <laughs> to seeing 10 years later where that franchise has gone with a uh, new empire is like you're like you don't give a shit anymore what when it started it was like we're trying you know it really had an angle it was trying to be like plausible sci-fi and stuff have real interesting explanations and development and now they're just like whatever man it's monsters it's got a glove for some reason hollow earth mm -hmm. like there's no attempt i know <clears throat> when i um when uh shane davis busted his uh tore, tore his bicep and then eventually got it fixed and he was wearing that same kind of thing like inspired by inspired <laughs> by King, Shane Davis bicep inspired by King Kong. Yeah. yeah. But the, the other was, guilty uh, the other guilty pleasure before I forget is uh it's not even guilty pleasure but like everyone else hates it is uh Midsummer with uh, Florence Pugh. Yeah, I like it. I like that. I I well, I like it. I don't know if the, if the reason why other people might not like it is because they don't have a stranglehold on um, I don't want to say Celtic because that's going a little bit too broad brush, but like like Scandinavian Nordic. lore, like pagan stuff like that. If you understand your your pagan history, your pagan traditions, they're pretty on point with that. But uh, I I thought it was cool. I mean it it got it. Um, there were no jump scares, but there they they went around some corners where you're like, holy shit, he, his lungs are out. Yeah and and he's alive like what the fuck was that like from the very beginning when that that couple jumps off the cliff yeah like love it spoilers yeah and it and and you're with the characters who are watching going yeah this is all ceremonial this is all some ceremonials oh my god they just jumped off the I thought yeah. it was uh, yeah. I love that perspective of like, oh, you think this is macabre? Like yeah. we kind of think letting old people rot away for 20 years in a nursing home is kind of macabre. Uh yeah. Yeah, they're in they're in charge and also they're making way for the next generation. Yeah. Passing into I like that idea. I know it's very grim and uh just like very yeah, weird. It did it over did, the top, it but I, I like that idea. That's how I think. Like if I get cancer or something, I'm going out the Norm McDonald way. You know, I might try to. Treat, oh yeah, don't say. Not going to be a victim. Not gonna. Yeah. Not gonna linger and try to buy my way on credit to stay yeah. around for nothing. You know. Not a huge fan, but I heard uh, Sean Hannity put it pretty perfectly. Once he goes, if I know that I'm going to die, I want to die like a dog. They just go away and die alone. They don't bother anybody else about it. They just turn into fertilizer, and and that's that. I thought that was cats, not dogs. Man, I, I, I think a lot of animals do that actually. Yeah, I, I think that they do. They're just like, all right, this is it. I'm gonna go and bail. Everybody, take care of everything. You know, what's weird though is uh, gorillas. I watched this one documentary. It's like two brother gorillas. Their dad died, mm -hmm. and then they're lingering for like a week or two, picking the bugs off of them and stuff. Like in this weird mourning phase, hmm. where it's like this is counter to instinct based living. You know, so it's like clearly there's a sentience that's beyond, you know, what we give them credit, what a lot of people give them credit for. I just, I don't know, something there. Oh, you I'm mean like, like picking bugs off of him as like a defense mechanism, not like you him. would. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're a gorilla version of the of being a mortician. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah, there's a few sentient animals that. Hey, it's free is. food. It's easy. It's easy food. <laughs> I know, <laughs> Gobin. <laughs> <laughs> Dana Gould has a great stand-up bit about that, where he's like, when the first, uh, when, when the, the the first ape decided to become um, a man, and comes down to confront his parents, mom, dad, I'm a Homo sapien. <laughs> Shut up! Go upstairs and pick fleas off your sister. That's hilarious. Yeah, that, that guy. He's one of my favorites. He's amazing. I'm a Homo uh... sapien. <laughs> I do. <clears throat> I want to. I, I hate to change course on the topic here, but I saw this. No, in the I was chat. just trying Thank to keep you, it afloat Katie. while Thank you were away. This is your show. <laughs> Thank you. It got morbid in here. 
<laughs> no, it's a. Uh, I, I had to go use the restroom. Let's talk about fleas. Made me hungry. Okay. Um, this was from the chat from um, you all know that, that John quit the Jack show. Um, um, can people fill me in on that? Apparently, he did a Rumble stream, and I did go to see it. And apparently, it's not up. I had someone reach out to me and say that he privates a lot of his streams on Rumble. Um, after mm. he does it. Uh, mm -hmm. so I didn't know if any of y'all have heard about that. Jay Bama, Jay have you heard about that at all? Nope. I heard about it today. No? The, only, see the, the only news that I, I had was I, I that heard. Uh, JDA was jokingly put up, up on Twitter that he was going to do a Jack show with uh, four other people whose name, first letter would spell out Jack. John Sider was one of them and, and somebody else. And I was like, oh, what's that all about? But you just confirmed it. I heard okay. Ethan and Cecil talking about it at the racetrack today. Yeah. On that stream. Uh Ethan's like, or you know, and Cecil says, I'll get him back. I'll do what I can to get him back on the show. And Ethan said to him, You better work on Anna too, because she's pissed. Well, Kelsey was never I mean, Kelsey's been gone for a while. No, I'm talking about Anna. About last about the other John. night. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, oh, are you talking about when there was the um, Cecil was show. almost? No. Yeah, Cecil was almost uh, on, well, like willingly not understanding where John was coming from. That's that's why John that, quit. Yeah, yeah. It's saying that's what you like to me. Oh, so, I mean, the whole time I was listening to him, like, yeah, there's no way that you don't understand the concept of pointing out somebody's hypocrisy and then your I, I think he was I felt like he was trying to argue so that he didn't have to admit that he was wrong about something it, that's all, what it comes down to they've fueled, they were both fueled, like fueled, fueled by alcohol mm, yeah clearly yeah. Alcohol, and I've been there before. alcohol though lets you speak the truth and that's what fucking John realized like dude this guy really is not on our side that's what I would think like what the hell dude uh and I know Cecil loves these guys that's a problem but he wants yeah. to also be on FNT one day. It's it's weird. Stop defending Who's on FNT. Dude, he's he's Yikes. defending he's defending like Lady uh, Nerdrotic in that stupid meme. I don't know if he was defending Lady Nerdrotic. I think he, he was defending honest... the position of going after family. Yeah, and so was I. We all we all have said on stream is like, yeah, let's you know. That's not that's no good. I, I my my, my reply was two words: bad form. <laughs> and because in my opinion, it is anybody can do what they want. I just I thought it was I thought it was bad form. I, I, agree. I agreed with Cecil in that point, but then to go and you know palm the wheel and say that john was sounding like a pussy i think he i think that came out of his mouth and then he felt like he needed to defend it rather than apologize or something i don't know i don't know any of these people well enough to to try to read their mind it just it's what it sounded like and this is me intermittently listening to it because i'm at work and i have to constantly stop the stream coming in while i answer questions and 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 talk to people i'm surprised i've got this much information on it at all Jay, you were there. You did not look comfortable. Well, I mean, I wasn't. I wasn't allowed to speak. You know, I was right. like, you know, Anna, 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 message is like, oh, well, when she's when she did her stream, it's just like I'm not allowed to talk, and I'm like, Anna, I know how you feel, but uh, it's one of those things that um that just to elaborate on um sorry, what's your what's your name for ID uh, ID ID's yeah, point okay. is that. John was 100% correct in his position, and I agree with probably 80% of what Cecil was saying. They both had points that were correct. Yeah, It's just neither one of them were meeting each other on the parts they agreed with. I, I would almost agree, Jay, but, but, but Nerdrotic's wife has a channel. She's out there. Right. Okay. If, if you come after my wife, who's not out there, that's a different fucking yeah. thing. That's Correct. where yeah. I agree mm -hmm. with John and like Ethan. Like, dude, she's mm -hmm. put herself out there as a as a uh, you know a person on the web, mm -hmm. and you're, you're fair game. And all he did was post a picture next to another person. Right. Uh, yeah, and I honestly I thought, didn't no have comments, the... just a picture. Uh, and if you you can take it the way you want, but. 
that's my problem. Now, if late, if his wife has never done anything online, Hail was on Aubrey. Instagram making bad comments about people on her Instagram account, okay, then I understand it. But like that, like they went after Katie, right, Katie? They did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But they didn't yeah. go after right. your husband. They went after you. Right. Your husband's yeah. not right. a public well, figure on the internet. But if they did go after him personally, it'd be like, fuck off. It was still well, a dick move. Thing- and not only that, but it's it's like I, I still hear people on other uh, on other streams trying to pull the thread of the sweater of that, 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 that lie. Basically, Katie, you know the one I'm talking about? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's like, no, no, no. What you got is pocket lint. And you're you keep pulling on this thread thinking that it's gonna lead to something that and it and it doesn't stop trying because it makes you look stupid. I honestly did not make the connection between the Miss Piggy thing and um and uh uh Gary's wife in the in in, in the in that it was a puppet thing. <laughs> Right. You know what I mean? Like there was a, I didn't see that layer to it. And if I had taken a beat and be like, oh, I get it. This is the guy that does the puppets. So now I know why he's doing the puppet thing. It's a, it was a and minor I would have probably joke. just left it alone and not even, even right. put my two cents in. Right. Um, Pastor Flash says here, I still have the dirt stream open can, and can view it. I won't clip it because John doesn't want that. Well, I will, I will respect that. Um, yeah. That's the thing. Like any of the big CGers, that ever come across this stream if they're if you have issues of certain clips or what i'm you're always welcome to reach out i'm <clears throat> i'm willing to respect you guys um i don't i don't have a problem with that um and i want to say uh uh real quick about the situation no my husband wasn't put on twitter but uh, the trolls had doxed me and my whole family and um on the farms so <clears throat> I'm kind of glad I, and I, the only time that I will give Sturgis any credit was he did a video when all that shit first started popping off and he was going through the Kiwi farms thread and he eventually stopped and said, I'm not going to scroll down anymore because there's pictures of her family. So I can give respect to that. I'm like, okay, I fucking hate you Sturgis, but thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You know, because he, he could have done that. He and he would never get any fault for it. Like he would get praised for it. So um I'll give him that. Uh my thing is it's like I'm I I'm I'm aware that when I started clipping and, and started getting noticed, I was aware a little bit that you know this is if I'm gonna come on here and criticize Eric July, I need to take the criticism as well. That's just how the internet works. Yeah. Um, you, you're not going to find your way around it. Um, my only, and hopefully maybe one day, guys, and those in the chat, I do plan to talk about it. Uh, just not right now. Uh, but because if I talk about it, it's going to expose a lot of people. And I can put my family in more jeopardy doing it. So I'm just going to hold off for a while. When the time is right, I will talk about it. Um, but right now, I'm I'm kind of keeping my cards myself. I have several clips from As and Eric uh, making comments about it. I have that clip. Yeah. I also I've, have I've the clip of Yellow Flash. Yeah. I had the clip of Yellow Flash uh, make a shit remark about it. And Anna was on that stream, but I think she dipped out. So I don't even think she heard it. Um she didn't say anything, um, but I, I have those, and I could have put it out there, but I'm, I'm going to hold on to them for when the time is right. Um, so, <clears throat> with the whole Miss Piggy thing, like, I get it. You don't want to come after people's families. That's that's fine. I, <laughs> I'm a bit, I mean, I get it. You're right. Speaking from experience. But, yes. Yeah. But my husband's private. Here's my yeah. here's my opinion, guys. <laughs> Just and you can. You can correct me. My husband's private, right? But Neurotic's wife is not. Right. Now, if my husband made a Twitter account and came out and said, I am Katie Ditt's husband, then if the attacks come at him, well, then he put himself out there, right? That's why. You guys will be talking about it over breakfast. Well, to see what happened last night. The difference for me is like, you're fair game. 
Katie being on the internet, being a detractor, being, you know, putting your face up here for detracting. It's the lying. And it's like, oh, y'all want to cry about this fucking adjacency meme of like Republic saying, I don't need to make a puppet for her. It's already been done. That's the joke. Right. And then they make lies about you. And then when confronted, they keep on. And then same with the Matt Bar show with, with Riley and Matt. You've been confronted about the lie and you keep lying. You're spinning things. And you also have a background of questionability with your own tastes when you want to make moral judgments. That's where it crosses the line for me. Right. Yeah. That, and, and that's uh, Chris Bacon brought this up the other night on the stream. He said, look, they only got outraged so that they could make super chats on Friday night tights from all their fucking fans. They'll get on there and right. support Gary. And they'll send them a bunch of super chats yeah. over this shit. Right, They're not yeah. mad. You think you you think that uh, that's the worst thing that's ever been done to Nerd Roderick's wife on the internet? Fuck no. Mm-hmm. That's not well, even like every close. time a, every time a tear hits the floor, it sounds like a coin. Ding, right? Ding, ding. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> there's a picture of my wife next next, next to Miss Piggy. Uh, that they're going to line up in the super chats and we'll do a Tuesday super chat catch up and make super chats reading super chats. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know. Like, honestly, my, my reaction to it was, was basically, you know, come on, seriously. I, I, I hate being able to see both sides of the argument because that I, I feel like I end up sitting on the fence and that just, it, man, it, it's, it sucks, man. Your taint is constantly getting blistered from sitting on the fence. Got to come down on one side or the other, man. Right. One gun. But, but at, so my one guns could see, um, let me get this thought out. Like, here's my thing. Like, I, I get what Cecil was trying to say. He did make some good points. But I also understood <clears throat> John's frustration. You know, right. <clears throat> like, for instance, I, I don't know if I'm maybe someone in the chat can tell me. I backed that campaign of the, the variant covers for funding for the um, C2E2. Uh, I I don't know if I missed it off Trashcast, but I don't know if there was any update. Do we still get the covers or do we get something else? Or no, is there I'm sure a they'll reason? probably we still get the books. Yeah, we're still okay. getting the books. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they, well, that's that, what I thought, but be... I didn't hear any update. You know, I I didn't I wasn't sure, so I didn't. No, know. no, they they They'd you be will chopping their own head off book. if they did didn't fulfill. Well, the go the, go back to your point, what you were making, Katie, about like if your husband got online. See, the thing is, is like um. See, I didn't know that she was actually, she had a channel and she was giving her opinions on stuff. And if like, Katie, if your husband was online, but he wasn't involved, he still should be off limits. No, sure. sure. I mean, my wife is on social media. She's not on Twitter, but she's on social media. Yeah. And she's on the same social media that I am. If somebody was to go like, go to Facebook and try to find her and then, and then grab stuff and and make shit up they'd be like that would that would be oh, right. she has she has no clue about any of this she doesn't know uh, the J- difference yeah, between Jake. whether my camera is covered or uncovered she just like is the camera on right. i'm not coming yeah. in there if the camera's on and as yeah, soon as ahead, i found Jay. out that she as soon as i found out that she was playing she was doing the victim clout crap i'm mm-hmm. like she's fair game she's you know she's not an innocent but she's she's using this to monetize it okay <clears throat> you know what uh, more memes, yeah. more puppets. As far as you're, I'm concerned, you're in the ring. Put the pads on. Right. She, right. Yeah, her she, her she account is Mrs. Nerdrotic. So yeah, yeah. it makes it off. Can I ask a question here? Um, yeah, go ahead, and then I got this one super chat. But go ahead, go ahead. Look, and ask do, it, do, do, do the super chat. I, 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 oh. you gotta get, the super, get it out. Get out the way. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's a good one. That's a, a big. That's a twenty dollar super chat from Psycho Crusher sixty nine. Thank you. Cecil has also created tension with Anna for making a terrible joke about her ability to have children. She I didn't talked know that. about this on her recent stream, and he should fix that mess. Otherwise, another Jack member is gone. I vaguely remember hearing, watching that. Um, I, I'm sure Cecil was Cecil was joking, but here's my thing about. Um, that's yeah, kind yeah, of if they understand each other's sense of humor, that they do. Different, yeah. They do. And for someone like me, like when I first heard it's like, I don't think you should make a well joke even about still. Yeah. that, you know, because that's that's kind of a personal thing for us women. God created us to bear children. And if we're not Every able to bear children, the then we feel like we're not worth 
Right. And then if yeah. we're not able to bear, bear children, then we feel worthless. Like we, we, we feel like, well, what am I contributing to life? Like my main yeah. role on this earth is to Make bring sandwiches. in a new. <laughs> well, no, but honestly, Katie, to, to, to your to your point, when you get into the Old Testament and they start talking about Sarah and Rebecca and all these people that they're if you can't have children, that's that's always a, a main miracle because that's yeah. such a big problem. What else are right. you? What are what, why why else are you here? Type thing, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm lucky with I'm lucky with me because I've actually had very two difficult pregnancies. Um, to where I know I've mentioned this several times, but um, my second pregnancy, I had my son at 26 weeks. Um, mm. My placenta abrupted. It detached from, from me. And so I was bleeding nonstop. So I had to get an emergency C-section and he was in the NICU for two months. Oh, yeah. And so after all that, I, I've got my tubes tied because I'm like, you know what? They served their purpose. They did what they need to do, but I can't. I, I might not be as lucky the third time around. Like I, I know when I've got a boy and a girl, I'm living the American dream. We're good. <laughs> Two is enough. Yeah, just um, stay alive because yeah. I can't do this uh, again. Right. Yeah. So I, to the kids, stay alive. So I wrap them in bubble wrap. Up. We can't make more. Well, I, I was going right. to say something real quick. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm really pissed off um, because rip verse, like really dissed Miss Piggy this week. And, uh, <laughs> and and I'm, I'm I'm mad, man. I mean, he he owes Miss Piggy an apology, you know. You know, I would too. Miss <laughs> Piggy's not ugly. Yeah, I always kind of thought Miss Piggy was hot. Yeah, just saying. Know. I mean, You're she's a straight, little man. much to deal with. Like in in <laughs> my throwing that situation, Kermit. a lot it's of times I feel like I, I feel like I'm the Kermit the Frog <laughs> in my relationship. There's a lot of hi, you know that kind of. You know, yeah, Miss Piggy, uh, Piggy's Miss Piggy's high maintenance, but she's <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, she's yeah. not ugly. Yeah, but hey, what's up, everybody? By the way, what's up, BTM? What, what's up, all the other guys up there? You know, what's up, just, y'all? Just what's up, what's up, guys? I'm here because Good. you guys said some interesting things. Um, one thing about uh about doxing and things like that. Right. Let me tell you, as someone who's been on YouTube doing this thing for <clears throat> since 2015, I've been doxed. My family has wow. been doxed. My father has been doxed. My sister has been doxed. I have Damn. friends. I have friends who were. Who were uh, getting who people who I, I got people I know people who are trans right and I'm real friendly to them you know I know them they're good people and they got doxxed too and uh, what people need to understand when you dox someone when you get into somebody's personal life that means whoever you're doxing you can't win nothing against them you you that's when you know you're defeated when you have to go that low. You know, you have no, no, no viable conversation, no viable thoughts. The only thing is to hurt. Yeah, there's no legitimate argument because none. Yeah, none. Yeah. You know, uh, like I was in. Uh, I'll tell you what, I was. Uh, I had. Uh, I, I almost lost my life two years ago, and the same troll that's been after my family and stuff. He decided to go ahead and throw a party. You know, because I was dying in the hospital. You know, and uh, my whole thing. I, I really. Been, uh, yeah, who, who are you? <laughs> I want to know more. What did you do? Yeah, really. <laughs> he woke up. Yeah, yeah. Basically, woke up. Uh, what happened is I had a, I had my, I had, I had lost my leg. Um, my oh, leg, got, okay. my leg got septic because, um, I, I'm diabetic and I got a, my foot got wounded and I didn't want to get my leg cut off. They, was, they wanted me to cut my leg off because they said you're going to get septic. I didn't want my leg cut off, so I right. uh, left my leg on. And I got so sick that uh, I couldn't walk no more. Um, I was on the floor um, dying. Um, I stood up and I couldn't stand up. I would fall, pass out, you know. And uh, you know your life is leaving you because you start turning cold. I start turning cold hmm. and I uh, start moving slower. And, and long story short, I was able to get help. And they took me to the hospital and my, they took off my leg, you know. And it was the hardest decision I ever had to make in my life you know because I had to relearn a lot of things but mm -hmm. during that time that troll he just kept at it you know he, he makes jokes about me being a lefty all this stuff but the thing about it is and my my, my, my thing to you um uh, Katie and the rest of you guys if you ever get a troll like like I like I have or had don't let it get to you oh yeah no 
you know, you got to rise above it. You know, you really do. And that's the best thing I can say, you know, because like ever since, uh, ever since I lost my leg, he, he just been getting worse. You know, he like, he keeps doc, he keep docs in my Yeah. Body. But you, you may be missing a leg, but you're still more of a man than he is or yeah, she. Yeah. Cause, cause just me and him, yeah. is a, I'm an actual human being. You know, uh, yeah, right. Yeah, you know, this, <laughs> yeah, this, with this, all, this, yeah, with all what's missing, you're still more human. I'm still more human than he'll yeah. ever be. You know, this this is. guy who's who's like, cause he's 60 years old living in his mom's garage. You know, uh, I could tell you a lot of things. Really? About yeah, yeah. I want to, I want to know more. Go, this uh, is uh, not what reality uh, TV uh, is made of. Never mind 48 you know, hours. Go to go to Kira uh -huh. TV. Kira TV did a, did a video about him. You know, Kira TV it? is. Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, no, I want to find. I want to know more. <laughs> Type in Kira TV, and you you will, you will find the video. I'm in it, and he's in it. And uh, the guy, the guy's a psycho. He's crazy. And uh, let me go ahead, go ahead. Link in the private oh, no, chat, bro. Oh, link it. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. Let me um, because I I do want to reward Psycho Crusher sixty nine for the twenty dollars real quick. Uh, here's one I did the other day. Well. We could we, we could do run some but those are for five and ten. Um for right now, this is the twenty dollar one, at least for tonight. So be grateful. Thank you. Great. Uh two hundred watt studio for two. Best Jack show ever. Uh I will, Trevor Bruce I will, for five. I will Turkish wrestle John any day of the week. Hey Cecil, try being a friend of John the way you're a friend of Gary's wife. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Somebody said something like that the other night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I forgot who it was, but damn. I know who made you that clip. I know who made you that clip. You do. Well, I know. Garth Scipio like says the Jack show is dead. It is all caps. I think John has have enough. Uh, how, has had enough of Cecil's BS. Well, guys, let him work it out. Come on Cecil, Cecil they'll, they'll was trashed. I mean, he went down in Talladega today. I'm sure he'll, he'll, he'll be back. I mean, uh, haven't we all been there? <laughs> You know, yeah. you had a little, you, you had a little too much. You, you asked the wrong person, the wrong question, uh, and it was political or religious in nature, and that's when everything went wrong. <laughs> no, I don't have any friends, so it never happened to me. <laughs> no, I'm your friend. I'm, I'm, I'm having a a, a, a Knob Creek. Well, oh. here's the thing. Like, I um, I did that that uh, clip. Yeah. Here you go. Oh, Knob Creek, that. twelve years. Is that what you're drinking right now? I've got the nine. You got the twelve. Okay, uh, I just I had to find that out because he's drinking. You're gutter out of trash. It. You're gutter trash. Yeah, I, I know. And I put a nice. I, I put a, a spherical ice cube in it too, which makes me even worse. Right. Okay. Well, I'm not it let me. But let I, me, I don't want to. I don't want to derail. Go ahead. You're good. Mute. <laughs> <You're> good. <laughs> See how you're do good. I do that? Stop, Cam. <laughs> no. What? Nope. No. No. You're good. Uh, so I, I, I did that clip because right after that happened, EVS was like, where's that clip where you could just play where the, the, there's that black kid that goes, whoa. And I was like, I know someone who can do that. So I, I reached out to, to them and, and they made that clip for me. I, I made the clip and then they, they did the rest. And um, I went to him, like, I told Jenny, I was like, can I just give you uh, credit? He's like, nah, just take it. It was your idea. I was like, okay. Um, but I did it just for laughs, like just to laugh and joke about it because, you know, and I, I understand people are speculating now about the Jack show not continuing. Guys, I don't I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're going to get right back on regular schedule program and continue on. Um, I think just right now, I feel like John's just decompressing. Yes. Yeah. A lot I mean, of stuff has happened. Have, if he's going to outright quit, then he would yes. actually be the bitch that he, he claims to not be. Yeah. So it, it sort of has yeah. to happen. Well, and it's not you in have his to understand. Nature. And when I say, and I said this at the beginning of the stream, um, you have to understand too. Cecil's been holding, probably been holding a lot of this inside, like to himself. You know, uh, just trying to keep his opinions to himself. Just don't. He's probably like, don't say it. Just let it go. Um, I know he's given little thoughts here and there. But I really think he's been holding this in for several weeks. And then I think just you get the booze flowing through you, you know, you just you just let it go. And it took Patrick T <laughs> to do that. I heard and that from uh, he was like, I'm leaving. No, wait, don't wait, you wait, leave. Wait. You started this. Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> so Patrick T going? 
Patrick D destroyed Camel Knights, and he destroyed the Jack Show. <clears throat> Patrick T is the destroyer of streams. What is going on inside that camper? <laughs> what is going I'd on like with to know. Patrick He's, It's T. almost like he just drives up next to where this is. This is where Camel Knights is streaming from. Do I have a signal? Yes. Okay. And then it's this game of social media missile command. <laughs> it's a isn't mastermind. That, isn't that camper on his where he lives? Like yep, forty acre it, lot. Yeah. Oh, so it's just it's just his land, no house yet. I think he's building like some kind of like um, commune. Like, <laughs> holding pens. Um, holding. I think he's I think he's building some kind of like uh, Airbnb kind of campground thing or something like that. Oh, okay. It's in the four it's four corners area. Uh, you know. Oh, out, cool. Yeah. The mountains, Rocky Mountains. Okay. Well, yeah. That sounds um, cool. I mean, there was like a. Oh, go ahead. No, you're good. Uh, Pastor Flash for the Starling five dollars. Thank you again for supporting tonight. You've been awesome. Uh, he says John said on his dirt stream he hasn't talked to Anna and Cecil yet. Let's wait until tempers cool and they will talk. Chat. Yeah, I I agree. Right. Um, like I said, this this just I think this was something yeah, that yeah. needed to happen. Yeah. It just it's unfortunate that it happened on stream for everybody to see and people like me to clip. <laughs> and for those that. Yeah. <laughs> Can't sit and watch a whole stream. Um, when I got out the stream like I, is when I got out the stream was everybody was cool afterwards. You know, are they still? Yeah, beating? no, everything was fine. I mean, yeah, by the end of the stream, everybody kind of chilled out and and, and it, yeah, yeah. Anna, how she, it ended. Anna wasn't taking shit. She left. Like when y'all when, when y'all get y'all shit together, oh, I'm coming back. And that's she why came back. Did you see her doing this? <laughs> Well, and this is the thing too. This so is did that, or what's her name, Azra? She was doing Abra. the same thing, yes. like Abra. No, Abra. Abra. oddly enough, in a stream Abra. like that, where the girls are the only two people that have it together. There's the best thing though. Jay was like this, <laughs> hey, sober. Like, well, Jay. yeah, he's looking down, like I'm oh, just like this, like I yeah. Fuck. But and, Joe Cat's like yeah. this. Oh, I gotta say something. I gotta say something. Joe Cat is. Uh, <laughs> Is he is he a character or what, man? Oh, when Chokeout can't get a word in, it's it just, really bad. The the time when Patrick T and Chokeout were just talking over to each other and they just kept getting loud, I was just sitting there <laughs> laughing my face off. And when Patrick oh, T would Lord. speak up and you'd see, you just look, just go back and watch Abra's reaction. Her face, like she's like, Ugh. you just see her whole face just like deflate, like oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was having fun just watching. No, we, I, I mean, but seriously, yeah, would, we, would we not be paying this close attention to something like this if we didn't actually somehow care for these people? You yeah. know what yeah, I mean? And do, like the the, the whole, because... you know, well, the I, I don't know what they are. I mean, I, I just I just happened to see uh, Clip Sama, and I just say, hey, you know, something Ethan in, let me play it. You know, then I just saw the the freaking mess. I'm like, what the hell is this? It's like and a, Black Angus. No. That's the same yeah. reaction that Abra had. That everybody has when Tom O'Connor talks on stream. Just your whole life force leaves you. Like, oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> that dude is fucking brutal, Black Angus. I can't stand and listen to that man talk. Yeah. Dude, Tom? Yeah. Tom's uh, weird for me because like I think he's got a good voice for radio. Uh, great voice for radio. I think he's enthusiastic about you know film whatever, but uh yeah, it's shenanigans. Shenanigans uh DMing people sending night letters. I hear talk of other people getting them. Uh, it's pretty soy yeah, based. That was wild. I'm, I'm that was kind of ballsy. Up. Like you, you do know if you did you not learn from <clears throat> with Eric July? Like, and he's even sitting on trash cast himself. If you're gonna send me like to these people, like if you're gonna send me something like that, well, and you're threatening, well, yeah, I'm going to expose it. I'm gonna talk mm -hmm. about it. Why did Eric um, July? I know. Yeah. Why did he lie about it? I never got. Why did he lie about the the night letter when? Ethan had it and he posted it up, and it, it was like he was so shocked to see. He's it. a fucking moron. It's, so weird. it's almost like you shot yourself in the foot, but you don't want anyone to see it. Yeah, so you just like Lexico kinda... Burris. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm so glad he wasn't playing for Pittsburgh when he did that. We have our own problems, man. I mean, right. Yeah. I mean, I'm leave that to New reading, York. And he's trying to explain something. Why do you have to explain something that you wrote? It's right there for me to read. And it's right there for me to understand. You ain't got to. Ad lib what you wrote. That's, that's he what had the, thought, so, you know? he had oh, to gaslight oh. his audience and tell them that it no, it wasn't a threat. And that's the reason they're to this day they're like, oh, it's obviously not a threat. And it's because Eric said it. Ooh, Can somebody answer uh Weeze's question? 
I just what think, I, what from what I understand, he's just is somebody a writer, cool. Artist? No, he's I think a, he just um, appreciates comics. Well, he's a fan. Uh, he's mm-hmm. a fan, but his he does like um, he is a personal assistant to a famous DJ in UK. Okay. Yeah. So he's in the club world. He's a fluffer. Yeah. <laughs> That's how yeah. the women. Who said that? No, no, no. Yeah, if you're, you're going to say fluffer, you got to have to say it like Choga. Filfa. He's a filfa. <laughs> fluffer. And and what, he, right. what he does is he gets the girls for the DJ, I bet. Yeah. And then he gets, like, you know, it's like, okay. Third second. Yo. Yeah, he gets the yeah, second. Like the runoff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I would do if I was single and, you know, in that That's position. But he gets like, you people. Could you imagine a fucking DJ having an assistant? What the fuck world do we live in, guys? Dude, like, they uh, make, they make true. crazy money. Oh, they make crazy well, money. If assistant, you're at a yeah. wedding and they're like, you got to go get the insert typical, <laughs> like, you know, Will Smith record. Go find me that one. Somebody requested it. Sloppy. Go find me the Love Shack. <laughs> the sloppies, of course. Sloppy seconds, uh sloppy Omer second. glitch. Yeah, I'm with just... you on that BTN though. It's like, you know, what's your talent? I press play. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know. I thought the same thing until I actually saw um some 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 DJ equipment. I saw something that looked like a Yeah, it's crazy. It was a, a record, but it was checkerboard. It was a vinyl, but it had like checkerboards and stuff on it specifically for scratching. I had no yeah. idea what it was for, but I don't know. I just, you know, you see somebody doing this <clears throat> and they, you know, they look like they're, they look like they're trying to coordinate someone's taxes. <laughs> Michael you know, like, No, no, no. It's math. It's really, it's, it's a lot Sturges, of math. Sturges, Sturges is a just be used a to be a fluffa. <laughs> Stooges. You're a fluffer. Well, that explains why he gets all those girls. It's like, oh, that makes sense. That's, That's why he no, monetizes all his, monetizes all his haters, Katie. Yeah. Like, you know, I mean, that's well, Sturgis. Fluffy about Sturgis that raccoon living in his beard. No, no, I was talking about yeah, Choke Out, not Sturgis. <laughs> yeah. like, that's how Sturgis gets all those girls. I'm like, I've only ever seen him with two. You know, those oh. two. What? His mom and his sister? Oh. <laughs> the devil. I've only ever seen him with those two. That triggered him so much when I called him the devil mint twins. It was hilarious. <laughs> hey, Chattel, uh, Chattel says, I can't put my finger on it yet. Chokot gives me weird vibes. Uh, yeah, he's the guy at the party. You're like, is he like legit or no, is he going to like do weird shit? I know shit? that guy. Assistant I know that guy. I do know. I, I like, we've all I don't want my daughter somebody. dating that guy, but I'd hang out with him at a party, right? We've all, it's we've that all, guy. we've all met, we've all met choke out. We've all hung right. out with choke out. Choke out. Choke out is the guy that you go out to have a good time with, and then he it's a uh, um if you go along with everything, you're gonna end up in jail and it's gonna be hilarious. Right. It's uh, yeah, yeah. I mean Yeah, when he was when he was going to Chicago and like the mailing was saying, hey, I think we'll have uh we'll get we'll get guys like Choke Out and Jay Bama to kind of wash the table, you know, and all this big guys. And I mm-hmm. said, Hey, listen, I'm going to Chicago not to protect you guys or or not to protect you guys. I'm going to protect people from choke out. From choke out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're the cooler. Easy, yeah. easy. Yeah, choke he'd be the first up, guy to choke, jump over the table. <laughs> choke out is up to no good, but it's the kind of no good that is that that you'll have a good time remembering that you went through it. Yeah, <laughs> remember that time you were up to no good, and I went along with you. Yeah, yeah, it was bad then, but now I can laugh about it. I feel like that's choke out. That the same guy that reminds me of choke out remodeled my my bathroom, right? <laughs> and and uh, when my wife and he's a friend of mine from uh, from a long time ago, they went out to shop for the stuff that was going to go into the bathroom, and then they went out to like uh, uh, to out to eat some fast food place. Right? This is the guy that takes the tray and takes a full drink of pop and puts the tray on it, and then turns the cup over so that it doesn't flood all over the place, and then walks out. Because he knows that the person who has to clean the table is going to pick up that cup and it's just going to flood the table with pop. That's choke out. Choke out would do that. <laughs> I think choke out would do that. You know what I mean? The prank where you loosen the salt yeah. on the lid on the salt shaker. I feel like that's choke out a little bit. 
<laughs> what a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> Asshole. Yeah. Well, but he's not doing I, it, but he's not doing it to you. So it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> until you're you know the guy I mean? that forgets as, about it. As long like as you're a, his buddy. <laughs> that's not like a no, neurotic I, excuse. <laughs> now, I, I may be way off because I've only ever just listened to Choke Out. But if you think that's a fair assessment, then great. If you think I'm off the rails, then you let me know. <laughs> Oh, well, since we're, I, I want to come back, Jane. I want to ask you, what was, I, what was that like when you were sitting there when all that happened? Mm. What was that like? Um, Walk us through your mind of like, oh shit, this is, this is really happening. Because uh, you probably felt like it was this, this conversation was going to happen eventually, just not on stream. Well, I thought that. I thought it would eventually get to the point where they like come to an understanding, but it just kind of escalated. And I think the alcohol, the amount of alcohol that was drunk by Cecil, I don't think the, his inhibition, like that little thing that says, Hey, maybe I should stop. It was gone. <laughs> and, right. and when, like I, when I, whenever I try to temper or try to mediate something and, you know, try to get, try to get like, see the both points and stuff. That's when someone, um, I'm not going to name names, um, would like start talking and bring up something <laughs> or like, like, like throw gas on the fire. Um, so it was like, kind of like, I kind of got to the point where it's like, okay, let's just let them hash this out. Right. There's no point in yeah. being in it at all. And I think it, it, it like, like, I think somebody may have mentioned it. I think it needed to happen because, like, whenever, like, whenever, like, Anna or Cecil would say, or whoever would say, is like, yeah, I'm getting people talking to me, like, oh, why are you doing this? Why that actually did happen. Cause, um, I believe it. Because, like, um, y- y'all remember the post Ethan posted, like, hey, you know, Tom Connors, he's actually, he's he's DMing people in, in Comicsgate saying, oh, Ethan's this and this. That stuff is actually happening from well-known influencers or, or, or so you know, weird, YouTubers. Man. And, and, like, it's hap- it's ha- you know, I, I can almost promise you it's happening to them. And they're just like, hey, I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. And eventually, it's like, Cecil was friend. I know Cecil is friends with with, and he like he said he's 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 been. They bought him dinner. They bought him drinks and stuff like that. And so he has a person more personal relationship with them. And so right. like yeah. he, he's wanting to defend that, which I get a hundred percent, a hundred percent. I get that with the FNT guys. Well, the, um, what's her Neurotic. name? Neurotic. Gary's Gary. Mm-hmm. Gary yeah, Neurotic. yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. And so well. I see where he's coming from. Um, Can't be a cheap uh, date, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, I can buy dinner for somebody, too. And if they're going to be, like, yeah. a person, like, are you actually being personable with me or whatever? Or are you trying to sell me something? I don't think Black it was Angus to and uh, Katie, them. accept my night letters uh, next week. Uh, okay. They're coming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Black Angus. What should be included in a night letter? Because I want to start writing night letters myself. Well, let me let no. me let me hear Jay's thoughts on the on that question. Let me let me hear what, well, what his what, thoughts were. Uh, well, I, I, what's a good right, night letter? What's a good night letter? Is that the question? Yeah. <laughs> No, um, it's just this is a none. Great concept. How about that? None. This is, a, this is a great concept. If you at your favorite people and write them a night letter on Twitter and just make it so outrageous. I'm I'm gonna night letter uh Katie. Any one of you people, I'm gonna night letter you, but it's just gonna be like an ad on Twitter. Night letter colon and then let it rip. That'd be great. Dude. No, but then you're like, ah oh, crap. Uh, oh, this is, this is shit. It would be like that game, Assassin, where you just like you have to like go through your college oh dorm and shoot people, or your church group in Minecraft. <laughs> I don't mean like with a rubber dart or something. Yeah, yeah, right. Like, did you say church group? Yeah, yeah you played yeah. a youth group. <laughs> well, like, it's something you do in your church group, and then yeah. we get, then you get to the point where like, are we really playing a game where we're murdering people? Yeah, no, no, <laughs> but we don't call it assassin. We call it Judas. Or, yeah, yeah, well, yeah no, we, we call yeah. we called it we called it assassin. Yeah, but to, oh, to finish man. what I was saying, Katie, it's it's like Cecil had a good point, and I understood where he was coming from. But John's point about like, hey, you're my friend. 
you you should be backing me up on this is like on on that yeah i 100 percent. that's the reason we all jumped on cecil's throat like Cecil and that's and, and Ethan even saying why are you white knighting for lady nerdrotic like quit right. he actually said yeah. don't white knight for her like dude just say it and right we EFAP that last night. It took like two hours to EFAP your 43 minute fucking video, Katie. Well, uh, I mean, <laughs> if you if you understand where Cecil's I gotta coming stop from with the original post, because I get so pissed off. If you understand where Cecil's coming from with the original post, he's not white knighting for Gary's wife. He's just asking, can CG be above that shit? And Without... he made a problem by just tagging CG. He yeah, should, right. yeah. Yeah. He should yeah. have done. And I tried to he's say this assuming that the ripoff first is CG, and that's he is not. Yeah, well, that's, no, right. ripoff that's, first. No, he's he's not already, CG. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's a, already he's, a, that. he's yeah. an equal opportunity hater. He yeah, don't right. give a fuck. Sort of like like on my street, I'm 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 friends with with all my neighbors, except for <laughs> those people. <laughs> Because they're fucking crazy. Because they're black. <laughs> yeah, but they still live on my street. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. No, no, I'm I'm telling you, like, we, yeah. we had some people anyway. living across the street from me, J Drama, that their DNA did not twist in the same direction as yours and mine. <laughs> You're making this worse. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was a. Uh, I'm kidding. It was, it, it was a deliverance <laughs> moment. Don't no worry. Don't no worry. I got to say Dang that with girls living around me too. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I married. I married one. You know what I mean. I know all about that. No. <laughs> yeah, rip off first, I rip off first is definitely from. not CG. I, he would make a video about Ethan making fun of him if he did something stupid too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, he would. Well, he, he sees their black fair game. Yeah. Cecil should have tagged Iron Age and rip off a uh, Ripperverse just like in I did. DC and Marvel. And and everybody, Marvel. everybody, all should of them have been tagged. Mm -hmm. yes. Right. Yeah. 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 An asshole. Hey, I just excuse, think it's weird. I didn't like the excuse in Katie's clip where, where Ethan's like, they made fun of my fucking daughter and my wife, and you said nothing. And yeah. and and Cecil's response was, "Well, I didn't see those tweets." Uh, yeah, but dude, you've got uh, to sorry, believe, ID, you have to believe, sorry, let me finish. Leave your friends. They're your ID, friends. What, ID, what, ID, sorry, sorry. The tweets are still up. You can respond right now in your drunken state that this is fucked up. Don't talk about. Uh, Ethan's wife and kid who what, 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 what? are not on the internet. They're not on the internet at oh, all. Nice. And uh, but but he Did didn't. Cecil's do drunken state at the time, or my drunken state right now? No, Cecil. <laughs> okay, Cecil's drunken Check. state. His excuse was he did not see those tweets, dude. Yeah, come on, man. That was gay. That was fucking gay as shit. And that's when I lost like a lot of respect last night, Jay. I like Cecil. I've met the man. You've met the man, right? I'm, I mean, he's a good dude. But, dude, I'm not even saying pick a side, but be fair for both sides. And yeah. don't don't give me this excuse where you didn't see the tweets. No, dude. I, Ethan, I, it, Ethan and, and Cecil even claims he would be nothing without Ethan supporting him. That's literally mm -hmm. the Dennis Rodman argument of Kim Jong-un was nice to me. Right. And, but dude, I mean, the tweets are still up. Make your comment yeah. right now. Get on your fucking phone, talking to John and, and Ethan, and make a pop comment like, uh, we can't do this, people. Don't make, don't talk about but, people's but, families. Al Bundy's, you know, Al Bundy's correct. Yeah, but you know, people, you know, like I said, people who have low IQs, who whole intention to be on the internet is just to be trolls and aggravate mm -hmm. other people, you know, uh, that's what they do. They 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 go after the low hanging fruit, you know, and, and they use that and they it, use that yeah. to go you know go after you and try to make fun says, of you. Says the guy with one leg, all your fruit are low hanging, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know, you know, wow. Yeah. All right, so we can make wow. these jokes now. Okay, if good. we can't have he's been on my channel, dude. I didn't uh, no, know. No, no, no. I didn't no. know he was the he was the guy from uh, the fugitive, except yeah, not, one arm yeah. instead of one leg. I'm not giving you shit. I'm 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 like. That was okay, brutal, and hey, uh, hey, hey. I would, I would fist, fist bump, and uh, I'm, I'm not, you know what I mean? Like that's. You're hey, come on, man! You gotta say that. I, I, I wanted to hear. Come on, guys! I wanted to hear Black crazy. Angus because I think he was about to say something. I want to hear Officer Wood. Oh, yeah. he, uh, I lost if you probably remember, it's been a minute. But you know, you're you were wanting to chime like, in. I, totally I, like, I, I want to at least give him a chance to speak. But I wanted to say, I was going to say something about Black. 
Black Angus earlier, like, don't make him your troll. He will fuck you up. Yeah, he is no. hardcore lately, like, just calling out a bunch of shit. I follow you on Twitter. I'm like, holy shit. Oh, you're talking about the uh, the art meme? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. That, what a, what a like, pussy that artist is. Oh, I'm just like, dude, don't happens, get him on your backside. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the artist is good. Like, I love smart art. I have no problem. It's good stuff. And you even see my poster. I'm like, yeah, I'm totally using your own art to meme your gay pussy side of Ripperverse, Friday Night Tice, Geeks and Gamers. But the art's good. Like, I'm like, don't quit art. Why are you being such a bitch? You know? Oh, dude, that guy was such a fag, man. I Fuck. thought it was a girl. I just, you, I don't know. I, well, I thought about saying Mr. Uh, Miss or Mix, whatever the fuck you are. Quit being a pussy. Just draw a pussy. Uh, the art, <laughs> yeah, the art's great. Uh, but God, don't be so. How are you? A, how do you tweet all this stuff? SJW rant about being scared your fan is gonna be targeted with Muppet memes, and then you're a Ripaverse fan, <laughs> and then you see later before they blocked everyone from seeing their shit, they're like, "Oh, I'm quitting. My computer's broke. You were just trying to get a payday on right. on Ripa art. You, right. It's very clear you don't fit in the, that fandom either." Uh, now yeah. you're gone. We'll see if you pop back. I hope you pop back up, but God, learn your fucking lesson. Okay, man, wait, 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 wait. You talking about the guy who did that image of that of uh, some chick and uh, she was getting railed or something? Yeah. A, okay, I know what you're talking about. And I was like, yeah, who, who's this? great art. Yeah, it looks really good. You know, I, I don't I mean, know why you'd waste your talents on a a, a comic franchise, whatever you want to call it. That's like, don't lude my characters, and it's like all of your stuff is yeah. lewd. I mean, you should be doing yeah. Lady Death or something. I mean, do shit for me. I'll share it. Do right. Meth Gator get fucking Shelby railed? Awesome. I will share it proudly. <laughs> yeah. Ain't uh, ain't Ripper supposed to be some Christian? Uh, uh, faithful man of God. They don't. Well, I mean, if you're if, if if you're a Blaze contributor, you have to have some sort of religious conviction somewhere. Yeah, yeah but so that type of art, it should yeah. like be a turnoff for him, right? They're, they're against that stuff, right? Well, and they probably just didn't like do check these people like do background checks on every like like sure he doesn't of... with his writers with his <laughs> artists <laughs> with his keepers of the lore. But can I ask Barb Rogers a question? You're um, yes. Your so one that's my mod. nickname tonight. <laughs> what is, who? Okay. No, uh, I was looking at the uh, the Indiegogo for Bass Reeves West of Hell, and I wanted to make sure um, I didn't get to uh, back that when it first came out. Is there a catch up tier where I can get the um, first book and the second book, or is this the that first book, and it's just still out there as a as a campaign? And what book is this again? Bass Reeves. Um, it's um, Bass Reeves West of Hell. No, I don't think I've. Does she? No, well, she I... threw it in the. She threw it in the in, in the chat. I was like, oh yeah. Oh. Like this guy actually put like like flyers out. Like I got a flyer for this in the mail. I got like a postcard for Bass Reeves. It's a uh, David Williams, I think. Right? What's his name? Who who does the artwork on this? What was the name of the book again? I... Bass Reeves. Find it. Bass yeah, Reeves is yeah. the. It was the. Um, I don't know the the first black um, sure. marshal uh, working for the marshal service. He's the guy Boy, that he, he's, he's he 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 invented the he, he invented the the double the the akimbo draw like two people or, or two hands with one gun like crazy crazy good. <laughs> Am I am I not making sense or what? <laughs> you, you are. You are. I'm right. laughing at Black Angus's chat. I, I sorry. Didn't need to be sorry. <laughs> Boy, pussy, the hell of a drug it is. Uh, <laughs> all right, let me Says uh, get the bi guy. Chat. He even knows that white pussy's awesome. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. Anyway, anyway, I like, love I, the fact that you know it. <laughs> I have I have the tab up here. If 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 she knows the answer uh then then great but uh anyways i just i just wanted to ask no i didn't i'm sorry I, I, every I every, every time i ask for a link to uh to come into stream i like i know what's gonna happen it's because i've got this time to myself and i'm trying to do five things at once i'm trying to relax drink hang with friends say something about something and i i, I don't want to um I don't want to be that railroad siding. Your, you know your fucking I mean? boxes just... are still there, though, ID. 
<laughs> this is the next project. I just got finished with. I just got finished doing a, a hook a today. Half my stream. Get the fucking boxes out of your basement. <laughs> <laughs> Christ, dude. Well, you know what's in there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I got. Yeah. <laughs> the last time I only just did the unpacking. I didn't pull the fuck Jay, do you ride bikes or do you, are you a car guy? Ride bikes? I'm a Chinese. Motorcycles. Tomorrow. No motorcycles. <laughs> are you a motorcycle uh, guy? No, no, no. I'm I'm not a motorcycle person. My wife forbid me years ago. She goes, Nope, you'll kill yourself, you dumb fuck. And she's right. I would have, like years ago. And we had four kids. So she's like, You're not riding a bike. God damn yeah. it. And my bicycle my is my bicycle's in my workout area on a machine that lifts it up off the ground. So I don't even get to ride my bicycle outside. She's like, nope, you can uh like ride your bike in the house. Okay. What's I in mean- the living room? Like <laughs> No, it's in the ba- it's it's right behind or uh, right in front of me, like uh in my basement. So it's on it's on a lift and it will like you, you put a li- this little thing on it tells you how many miles you rode, how, how fast you're going. It's never touched grass literally it's always been inside it's an the house cell bike yeah yeah and it's 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 a fucking mountain bike <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb wait, wait, so are we talking about a bike or a motorcycle no it's his bicycle a bicycle oh okay i thought because you're like asking me like do i have a car or a bike okay well you, you're a florida guy I figured you're in orlando outside in the sun all the time you're oh, riding yeah. a motorcycle all season, is, all season is riding season there's a couple of days where it rains that you can't ride uh florida, all right let me get florida to my super like, chat i walk here, everywhere just for because like the i don't trust florida drivers to you know ride a bike all on the, the blue street. hairs yeah <laughs> yeah i'm like yeah <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Pastor Flash, thank you for the five dollars again. Oh, I already read that one. Here's the one. Um, Sebastian Anon for five dollars. She's got so Wait. many, she's already read it. Holy shit. Congratulations, Katie. Oh, nice. yeah, you're in so EBS good. territory now. So yeah. many super oh, chats. I've Wait, already read I mean, that one. Like the old woman in the shoe. She had so many super <laughs> chats, she didn't know what to do. I've already read that one. Pastor <laughs> Flash. I mean, I... I know. Well, I'm in a tournament right now, so I'm trying to up my shit. The tournament because, of super chats. Yeah. <laughs> she, oh, she's a- she's really gone over to the fellowship side, guys. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> a little humility, please. Yeah, uh, uh, hey, Aubrey, that, uh, Aubrey you want to buy a bike? Aubrey, you want to buy a bike? I have a uh, a trek. It's a trek bike, and it's off road and uh, road war- road both. So. Hit me up on Twitter, dude. I'll sell you my bike. I haven't been on that thing in a year and a half. There you go. Uh, Sebastian, off $5. When it comes to rip off verse, he's CG because people think he's CG. <clears throat> Just like how Spiller is CG, Dirt Worm is CG, etc. whether we like it or not. Um, Somebody CG. Can you pull that back up? Can you pull that back up? <laughs> okay, yes. I <laughs> Yeah. When it comes to rip off first, he CG because people oh yeah, 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 yeah. right. Somebody just Guilty took that Photoshop lasso tool and lassoed those three things together. <laughs> Don't you want eleven? Don't you want eleven bikes? <laughs> Aubrey. Uh, that uh, that's like that's like saying that uh Air July is indie, right? Like he's competing in the indie space and he, mm-hmm. but he doesn't want to admit he is. Like he thinks he's one step below DC and Marvel when he's yeah. really not. Yeah. He's like a thousand b- levels below. And he's barely a... Jay Bama? Like the best of both. Jay Drama? To say that he's an indie, but he wants to be uh, Marvel and DC. Jay Drama? How m- like, so let's say Ethan does 680000 on Cyber 3, right? Cyber Frog mm-hmm. 3. He'll make more profit than when Eric does 1.4 on Yaira. Correct. Yeah, yeah, you will. And, and when people talk about you're jealous on Twitter all the time, it makes me sick. Like, dude, Ethan can do a four hundred thousand dollar campaign, and he'll take home two hundred and eighty thousand, maybe, maybe three hundred. Uh, when Eric's taking home fifty fucking cents and praying that his next book does better. And a lot of people don't understand that eBay store makes. Yeah, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for every fucking trash cast when it has a special. We're all in there, go, Oh my god, 
hundred dollars for these eight books. Let's purchase it because he's only got twenty available tonight, and and that's not including the super chats. And I buy it all, dude, because yeah. I I like EVS. Yep. He's the tip. He's well, the there's the thing uh, because I mean that's basically what Eric, Eric July leveraged his clout to be a comic book company. EVS <clears throat> leverages no. his clout for his eBay store. That's that's true. I mean that, that's that's what uh, Eric July thought he was going to do. Eric July wanted to basically just yeah. steal all of Ethan's you know followers. It's it's, a, it's his whole thing. So his whole thing was to get in good yeah. with Ethan. You know, uh, uh, be buddy buddy with Ethan, make his yeah. followers think, you know, um, I'm going to do comic books just like Ethan. Y'all can come and get my comics. And then the whole thing was just to, just, just, just to get his share of Ethan's followers, you know, and, and he did. He got it for Ison 1. He, he achieved mm -hmm. that. But by the time Ison 2 came out and it was already starting to fall apart, you know, he just went full, he just went full, uh, he just went full uh, Tom Fuller and just said, you know what? I don't need Ethan no more. I'd have made three million. I'm a millionaire now. So I'm just going to go ahead and just keep on making my books and just like separate myself from them and tell people don't buy these shit. You know, but the thing that the thing that Eric doesn't understand, or at least if he does understand it, he's not willing to admit that he knows this is that that initial was it 3.7. What was his, his, it was, it was his first number? 3.7. A little bit. Is, a little in the, indicates how much people wanted to believe in Eric July and the next number indicates the same thing. And the next number indicates the same thing. They wanted to believe. And then the book came out. No, no, no not for alpha car, not for alpha car. Alpha car was basically when it all started to go downhill for him, you know? Um, well, that, yeah, well, no, like what, what I mean is, you know, like the, that first book came out every in the people who wanted a comic book and, and they mm -hmm. read it instead of just like, OK, I've got this thing because I believe in the guy. Mm -hmm. And then that what did Alpha Core do? What would the, the next book after Isom one was Alpha Core, Alpha Core. And it did how much? It did like one one point two, something like that. Yeah, right. So it's like all like Aubrey said, and then they read the damn thing, and then that's when it dropped. People stopped he buying. Had a, he had a lot of people who believed in Eric buying that book, and then they got the book, and then they didn't believe so much anymore. Well, people found out he was a fraud. I mean, he, he, he's a phony. You right. Know? And then but then there's that then then there's that that the bunch of people who are like still buying it because they want to see this. Because you know those what? people are gonna say like aren't comic book people, you know, those people only buying that stuff because they see a black man out here with, you know, making money and, and he's yeah. successful. And believe it or not, black folks will follow that. They will follow that. Say, hey, let's right. make him successful. It's the same, it, it's the same thing that got Rush Limbaugh fired from being a commentator on ESPN when he said that Donovan McNabb is an average quarterback and there's a lot of people out there that just want to see a black quarterback do good. Mm -hmm. Who okay? said that? Rush Limbaugh. Rush Limbaugh. He's a moron, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I mean, but the point is, but the it, it does he may be a moron, but it doesn't mean that what he said wasn't true. There's a lot of people out there that want to see a black quarter black uh, black quarter black quarter black do well. <laughs> black. Never seen one of those before. <laughs> yeah. Um uh but it doesn't mean that it wasn't true. I mean, Randall Cunningham was way better. Mm -hmm. And you know, he was accepted and and lauded for like, he was talented. Donovan, well, Donovan, about, uh, Donovan McNabb was average, but black, and that's what he leveraged talent, his career on. Right? You talk about people got talent. Eric right. Eric Gillette has no talent. You know, he neither did, did neither did Donovan McNabb. At least as much as as much as people <laughs> wanted him to have. You hate the you hate the Eagles, don't you? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not about that. I, like I, I honestly look. I grew up in Buffalo. I have I have a hard time with football. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and then I come down to the you know I, I moved down to to Pittsburgh, and we've got some problems, bro. In fact, as far as the Eagles go, you just you guys just got Kenny Pickett from us. And 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 he's he's made a paper. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. We know what a bad O line is, and Philly's got a bad O line. Your quarterbacks are going to get crushed. And Kenny Pickett is he's he's made of balsa. At least they're not the Bengals. They're killing. Yeah. Anyways, my but, but my my point being yeah, is point. <laughs> uh, people want to see Eric do well because he's Eric, not because he's got talent. He's got he's he's he, when you say the creative part is easy. Dude, 
But, Shut up. You know, you know, but but Ethan has a point. Ethan has a point when he says like this guy's gonna make it bad for the rest of us indies because he's putting out straight garbage and he's he's planning on like saturating the, the saturating you all space, you know, the comic, <laughs> yeah. you know, with, with crappy ass comics, you know, which yeah. is turn people off, you know. And and he's kind of true about that, you know, because like I said, Eric don't know what he's doing. You know, I, I, you can tell oh, by the man. way he's talking. He's up here talking about how to be a professional business comic book man. I'm like, what? And and everything he's saying, it's like, dude, oh, like I, I, I've been trying. I've been drawing fucking comics since I was 17. You know, and I know what it takes to make a comic. You know, Katie. I, I, well, I'm glad. I, I need to talk to you because I only know how to like maybe draw a panel and hopefully I compose it well and compose it well within a page and then be able to do all the things. That... I know that I'm a babe in the woods when it comes to this kind of stuff. And, you know, you've got experience, but Katie, I'm sorry. Your chat just got derailed because I mentioned Rush Limbaugh. They're going <laughs> off. No, they're mad, at, they're, they're mad at Jay right now. No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. This is Rush Don't get me wrong. I love Rush Limbaugh's political takes. Yeah. But that was a pretty bad football take. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you understand that, that uh, was it uh, John, was John Malin uh, doing um, – uh, uh, crowdfunding before EVS was, and there's a bunch of guys that were like Billy Tucci was crowdfunding beforehand. I think there's Billy a few Tucci guys they were all crowdfunding beforehand. I think, I think John, when Zach they did, um, you know, job they did, uh, they did job the job breakers, yeah. right? Right, right. And but then, wasn't Billy and then, Tucci and some of those other guys they were also I believe, crowdfunding? I believe he Tucci was maybe, yeah. Tucci's been doing it for a long right. time, right? Yeah. Long so time. when you see EVS come into the crowdfunding space and he's just the vanguard of the thing all of a sudden, I liken it to Paul Harvey and a lot of guys that were on AM radio doing their own thing and then Rush Limbaugh came along and just took over. EVS and Rush Limbaugh are not that far apart when it comes to their style of uh, promotion. They do not give a shit about what anybody thinks about what they say. Well, you think, well, yeah. Yeah, from a football, from a football standpoint, whatever, I never paid attention much to what Rush had to say about football until he got fired for expressing his opinion. And it was racially or politically motivated or whatever. No, he, no, no, no. It wasn't a bad take him saying it. I'm sorry. Donovan McDab was a pretty good quarterback. That's yeah, no, he made thing. it, but, but yeah, it's right. not, it's not about the racial thing. Right. Right. I just think he was a very talented quarterback. I'm talking okay. from a football perspective, not a okay. political uh, right. But but is but if, but be be that as it may, the uh, the um, the the comparison between Eric July, people want him to succeed because of what he represents as a member of the Blaze in that sphere. As a conservative, they want him to be able to kick ass, and then he face planted, and there's half of the people that are like, "No, he didn't." And the other people who are looking at his book objectively going, yeah, he kind of didn't. Here's the proof. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the thing about it is, is that uh, his, uh, I, I believe that if he keeps going in the way he's, what he's doing, you know, I, I, don't, I, I don't think he's going to be around too much longer. No, I mean, no, Chris I Bacon tells a better story than Eric July does with the numbers. Yeah. Those numbers, <laughs> those, yeah. those numbers tell a story. <laughs> How long has Yara been sitting at 1.3? Right. Since, it's, been, it's just the second three. week of the campaign. Since right. the second week of the campaign, it has it's barely, barely at like thirty. If you're gonna put out a video like that, it should have a bigger push mm -hmm. than one point three. You know, then he embarrassed himself. I put out that live action yard video. You know, <laughs> he embarrassed himself. You know, yeah. but uh, I tell you what, uh, that's why I did that cyber frog animation for for Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> Your animations video. are really good, man. I can't wait to see what you what you do, given enough. Enough, enough. Given a, give a budget, given a budget and enough time, I could probably mm. do something really nice. I would like to do, uh, I would like to do the whole uh, wreck planet. This, I would like to do that one. Do I would like to just do the whole, the whole like hour and a half animation of wreck planet? That's what I would like to do. But I was trying to get Ethan to do it. I said, Yo, man, you know, if we like do a little crowdfunding. You know, and I can get some people to come on board, man. I could probably get this done. Like, well, I know you just saw him crowdfund a NASCAR. 
Yeah, I just saw him cry. I'm like, <laughs> like hey, yeah, uh, you know, we could maybe I mean, kind of get it done, you know. So, uh, but one thing about that animation I did that nobody liked my hippity hop music, so I had to change it to uh, Guns and Roses. I said, I love, I like Guns and Roses, all right. So I play, I got my favorite Guns and Roses song to put it over, and I had no more complaints after that. You know, matter of fact, everybody say, hey, look, it looks. <laughs> It, it, it's it's great now. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, so oh, that, that's what it, I ain't do nothing to it. But you white know, people uh, suck. Yeah, so, so you do, but you know, you guys are okay. His face. I mean, we're Always. good. We're all right. But everybody <laughs> yeah, else. Just want to be noticed. That. <laughs> hey, Katie. <laughs> uh, is, Katie, is. thanks for having me on. I got to check out. Later, okay. Brother. All right. Sounds good. I appreciate you, you coming on there. Hey, uh, I'm getting your send show. Send me a link when you want to do that show. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Hey, uh, guys, it was fun talking to all of you. I have to babysit tomorrow. Uh, it's fun. I know. Grandpa is babysitting a four year old all day. Ooh. Uh, but I'm sorry. thanks, I'm Katie. Sorry. I'm sorry. Jay, well, nice wait, meeting you. Sorry. Black Keep Angus. Him away from the sugar unless you want them to crash and take it. Hey, Black nap. Angus, if you want to come back on, let me know when you're on off night shifts. Uh, ID. I on night anytime shit. one oh. gun all <laughs> these guys around my show except for jay uh thanks yeah jay, when you're going to show man hey dave real quick before you go okay yeah next time i go out to grab a bottle of whiskey what do you recommend what do you want to spend less than 60. Mm. woodford reserve double oaked got it all oh, right guys all right thank you later, later. Yeah. Okay, so I thought we I won't do this and then we're gonna kind of wrap it up for the end of the night. But I thought I have not seen this, so exactly. I, I'm sure oh. some of y'all have huh? have you seen it, Black oh, Angus? Man. <laughs> what, what, what did that happen? It was like a week ago, yeah. I only just now saw Freemason. <laughs> like he put a, he put a fucking like auto on his chest. What are we in for? <laughs> I I haven't seen this. I I haven't seen this. This slipped through past what's, me. So. What's under his hat? What are those images? Is that like uh, Street, Street Fighter? Street Fighter. Street Fighter. Street Fighter. Kyle, Ken, yeah. Uh, uh, Warlock. Yeah. His mouth is open. I think what's thing? Call me hippo or something. He's got a hippo mouth. So that's, that's what Ethan said. I y'all know, remember I when he used to say, "Y'all remember when he used to say, hey, go to the gym, work out." Yep. Like every day. Yeah. Does he look like he works out? No. Maybe you were actually, listening to him though, right? No, I, no. You go to the gym every day and work better. out. I was, I was, I was lifting weights before he was, you know, out Wait, of what just happened? Oh, yeah. I, was I got something it. better. I got okay. something better. Uh oh. Okay. That's funny you say that because there's some there's there's a few people out there that actually uh, think he's in top shape. Uh, let me go find this real quick. Uh, so really? good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> let me let me find it. I because I just subscribed to their channel the other is this, day. Is, does this person say that I don't have muscle and has a big yes. beard and sad eyes? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> he guess what? He has friends. He found friends to do streams with. I think we're real, seeing real ones grow here, guys. Ooh, yeah, ooh, like ooh, we're I you know like the see... kind where you can walk outside and see them. Like walk outside and see them in the next yard, your friend. Yeah. Okay. I got those two. I got like five. Having a woodsy the owl moment. Whoo! <laughs> i remember he said like my arms were my arms are too big or not my arms weren't big enough and i'm like sturgis my i got 18 inch arms oh man <laughs> yeah and what, you, I, i'm like do you want me to take steroids wait, 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 wait. Hey, hey listen sturgis, have, have, you, have you tweeted a workout schedule for sturgis L listen i sent him a message saying that sturgis i know you live close to me like, he, oh, like, no. he, he doxed himself and i'm like i have a theory that you live close to me i was like you get a membership to my gym i will work you out and i will give you i will turn you into a freak of nature hey um our our star just has 18 inch breasts you know to match your 18 inch arms he does yeah yeah oh well he's got I me found beat. it he's got me beat by like oh. an inch. <laughs> 
I found it. Nerdist, I love you, pal. I that and if you're watching <laughs> that oh, work, Dave, I will I will train you for free. I will turn you into a Puerto Rican mommy loving masculine male. And I will cut your beard for free. And I think I, Jay, I think you can you can do it. You can change him. You can do it. <laughs> no, no, what the weights the weights will change him, not me. <laughs> Why do I see Sturgis in that in that scene in the in in, in the Wizard of Oz where he's like yeah, on that. the table getting buffed like the Tin Man? Hey, look at that! He got oh, a rub, 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 Wait, is this on uh, Master Swag's channel? Yes, and this is guys. You oh, need to go. Man, I'll put this in the uh, hey, uh, essentially Sturgis. I'll put this, I'm going to put the link in the chat. Guys, go subscribe. Uh, we have a clipper, and it's. Sturgis. <laughs> yeah, we, got a, we have someone that clips era. Sturgis. They got a oh. token Negro too. I see. So I, right. he, I, I, I just saw this the other day, and I, I had a. Oh my god, I laughed so hard. I was like, and I even sent this to EBS, and I was like, look, he found friends. He's got you know other people <laughs> he can detract like the these detractors. He found friends. Oh, they're just a stupid idiotic retards. They're all retards. They're all retards. <laughs> retards. retards. <laughs> That's all they do. <laughs> All right, so let me go play. It's only forty-eight seconds, but this is this is good. Okay. It says uh, <coughs> Eric Eric at the gym. Okay, your sound is off. You haven't muted. Fuck. Like comics, he learned. Oh no, he said Eric pretended to be in the gym. Like comics, he learned that obtaining great physique is hard work. He got scared and quit. How do you even know Ooh. this stuff? I, I I've seen Eric in real life. And he, he definitely hasn't forgot about the gym. So he could probably he just came probably right there. Break my fucking back. <laughs> can, 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 can you rewind? Please lie. rewind this. Please, please. I didn't. I couldn't hear. I want... I've seen Eric in person. <laughs> yeah. All right. Could be all worse. Right. I've touched Eric in person. <laughs> I've seen Eric in real life, and he's got muscle. <laughs> all right. All right, Jay. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, we're gonna, play. Play. Shh. we're gonna play it. He said Eric pretended to be in the gym like comics. He learned that obtaining great physique is hard work. He got scared and quit. How do you even know this stuff? I, I I've seen Eric in real life, and he, he definitely hasn't forgot about the gym. So <clears throat> he could pro he could probably break my fucking back over his knee like Bane. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. What? You notice oh. how the narrative before, though, was, right. uh, you know, was uh, oh he he um he doesn't go to the gym. You know, he's this big dude doesn't go to the gym, nothing, right? You notice how when when he got when they seen him in MegaCon, they stopped talking about that, right? What now, 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 now they now they send those insults to me. What the hell was that? <laughs> tiny, hell? tiny, <laughs> tiny, but fierce admitted to he could probably break me over his knee. Let me up like, me anytime. Have you ever done that where you're like scanning the icons for which one has the concentric rings that you can tell that they're speaking <laughs> about being broken over somebody's knee and I'm looking he at said, the name and it says tiny he but said fierce. Eric pretended to be in the gym like comics he learned that obtaining great physique is hard work he got scared Bless and quit it's so good. how it's do you so even know this stuff I, I, I've seen Eric in real life and he, he definitely hasn't forgot about the gym so <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, uh, yeah, I see that in real life. What the hell is that? I mean, I don't go around talking about dudes like that. I'm like, dude. <laughs> I mean, what, Somebody what you know, the needs to take this. <laughs> Someone needs to take this and turn it into like a meme. This is, I don't know what I'm this is. This with this. <laughs> it sounds like, <laughs> what is his voice? His voice sounds like he's in the middle of swallowing silly putty. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> I mean, he definitely didn't forget about the gym. I go, to, I go to bodybuilding shows, okay? But yeah. I've never said anything as gay as that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, you're, you're seriously like, a, a, as an artist, when you concentrate on trying to draw the human figure, you have those thoughts in your head, like. 
I look at people differently than other people look at people because you're studying their anatomy. You're studying like, you know, like, like life yeah. drawing or something like yeah. that. And you do that all the time. <laughs> Sturgis is one of those things that makes you wish you never got into drawing the human figure. Oh, man. The melting <laughs> snowman. When I was in and, school. Uh, yeah, when I was in school, see. you know, we we had to draw. I had to draw a lot of naked men, and let me tell you, those yeah, were right. those were on... the best days in class. All right, <laughs> you, you no, know, there there are there's those times where you have to just seriously keep your composure because uh, yeah, yeah, uh, it can it can be weird, man. It like when, weird. The, when the when the female model shows up, and you see the herpes. never mind, no. you know, when the female model shows up and she has the the string. Oh yeah, and yeah, just yeah, yeah. like okay, she's trying to make a buck, she's doing her thing and whatever, and you just you leave it alone. You know what? But, yeah. it's, but it's there, yeah. and you concentrate on everything else. You I, just, right. I just want to get a good grade in this class. Yeah, my, my art teacher didn't like us. He just kept on getting fat women. <laughs> yeah, but you know the it's not the how much; it's where the how much is at. Like, what are you talking about? Like, give me a give me. Is it a Lizzo or is it a or is it a J Lo on her worst day? Mm, how can I put this? I want to uh, put, put it. I want to hear how you put it. <laughs> we talking about we talking about cottage cheese factory to like the tenth degree here, oh, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, it's like I, I hear right. this. I hear this bemoaning. And I'm like, wait, are you aren't you black one gun? Yeah, I am. No, what are hey you complaining now. about? No, hey <laughs> now. <laughs> but you see, there's fat, then there's sisters. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. So you, but yeah. So what you're saying is your your teacher he brought out a pog. <laughs> yeah. Right. You brought out a pog. Yep. Yeah, yep. and yep. you, I'm sure you had the worst time of your life. Uh, you loved it. Yeah, I yeah. woulda. I yeah, woulda. Yeah. I mean, I, like I, I said, it's not the how much; it's where the how much is at. Yeah, like, I guess so, man. He's like, it's just sometimes like we all got together. He was like, "Okay, teach. Why come you keep on bringing and bringing, bring, bring, you know? Why come you can't get like a nice, good model? Because the other class, he keeps on getting the good models, and he's like, well, the the other guy in the other class, you know, he he's got the money. I don't. <laughs> no, okay, so so you say to your art teacher, like, if you're gonna keep on bringing in them pogs, you're gonna give me a bigger piece of paper to draw on. Oh yeah, yeah. We we had to do <laughs> so nice, I can get those canvases too, big man. sweeping curves, right? Yeah, because like we do the art show, <laughs> it's like the guy from the other classes they got all these nice figures and females. So you get the art class, you know, it's art class. You get all the the fat people and all, <laughs> and yeah. all, all the scrawny gay men. Well, they like they that. did. I mean, I I'd seen some uh, like an older guy, um, but they when he came in, he was like wearing. He he basically had him himself. Like uh, kind of like an emperor, like he actually put the things around, mm -hmm. and by the time he got done uh, putting his costume on, I was like, "Holy shit!" His face and all that. I'm like, he belongs in a movie, you know? Like because you're not just at that point, you're not just doing the uh, anatomy, but you're doing like the way the fabric falls and and all that stuff. Yeah, I like and those, I like sometimes, those. man, when yeah. those guys when they really know what they're doing, they'll bring in you know bring in props and stuff and yeah. make it a real. Not an event, but you know, not boring. Yeah, you know, I had a, I had a guy who came in dressed up as a, like a train conductor, which is pretty cool. You know, yeah, and, uh, he had like all the, like he had like the hat and the textures and stuff. And uh, mm -hmm. I, only, I, I was only working in charcoals at the time. What you know? school is this? Good grief! It's like they're bringing in, they got costumes. It's like stripping. It's life drawing life drawing classes like that no matter where. Mm -hmm. Yeah, life drawing class is just it's what it is. It's so what the it guy is. was naked with like a conductor hat on. Oh, uh, <laughs> sometimes he'll come in. He'll come in with just with just a little uh, what what they call a little scarf around his neck and nothing on. Sometimes he have something on, you know. Yeah. But it, it was just like it's just like we just had to, you know, as a as a as you develop your skills in the artist. You know, you have to draw these type of things because life is not perfect, right? Not, life is not a comic book. You have to adopt and be able to observe and take your observa observations to paper and 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 illustrate what you see. You must reflect life, you know, with your art. Yeah, and, um, and a lot of those a lot of those exercises with the model in front of you is going to be a 
what what you know the the 30 second one minute yeah minute yeah. 30 five minute you know what can you get done in this right yeah right. yeah it yeah but you know it, you, you can't not reflect on because you'll never forget what those people looked like no no you won't. you'll nope. never forget the experience <laughs> uh, yeah but you know right. it was it was it was fun anyways it was a uh, you know, something to talk about yeah you know? Right. Talk about you know like uh, we'll turn it into a whole other stream right life drawing life life stream. drawing one hundred and one what the is this a for? different is this a different video Katie with Sturgis is she still here no well her mic is uh, yes, there she is I am. Oh, okay we're done sorry go ahead yeah yeah we're, we're okay. finished we're finished being <laughs> artists Hold we're on. finished talking about pogs and life drawing class <laughs> let's talk about Sturgis's nipples. <laughs> the 18 inch uh breast he had, yo. Ew, god no mm. you ever notice he's in the camera he always like tries to make himself look bigger yes like he's always puffed up i love it is he lactating yeah <laughs> much well the the camera from below is gonna do that make him look like he lactates. Well, this... no but where his camera is positioned if it was above his head would look bigger if it's from below the rest of him looks bigger it makes his beard look bigger you think his oh, Lord, is like this? Angus. I think he's hiding an <laughs> IED in that beard. <laughs> do, you, do you think it's like like when you know he goes to take a shower, he's got like a mirror image down. His you know his uh, his his balls are like got the same oh. as the beard. Uh. <laughs> Why did we go there? Oh, and there's there's just like a little like, stop, just, stop 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 in my head. Like a little oh, thumb no. like sticking out the front. Oh, no. oh my God, Black it In my head, I'm telling you to stop. In my head, I'm telling you. You want to oh, incept the spirit of mine? I'm telling you I will. Think about, folks. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Oh right. my goodness. Let me. Show or is it like Eric me. July's? <laughs> let me uh, let me show this from uh, Black Angus, and then we'll we'll go back to that one because that one still <laughs> talks about his trolls, but. What in God's name? I thought trolls have trolls. I thought, don't figure that out. You just made me think of something terrible. Oh my God! What am I looking at? No! What? What the? Oh no! Oh, stop! Yeah, that one's come. That one's come. What? <laughs> you said this well? is Sturgis. It is. Oh. <laughs> oh! What the fuck am I? <laughs> Stur uh, Black Steven? Angus Black Angus says Sturgis looks so happy and youthful here. What happened? Ran oh. out of <laughs> <laughs> come again? Oh my gosh. Are these all come? Oh my gosh. You guys know I hate drinking cum. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks, Black Angus. I'm gonna have to answer for this when I St. Peter is gonna want to know what happened. That was good. And all was this good. Time. Especially after seeing that clip where he's like, I've seen Eric. He's, he's going I to gotta, I gotta subscribe. The only to thing Black that would have made it better is if it said Eric's. Eric's. Hey, I'm Eric. gonna make you guys cringe. Do you think they were it, do you think it was warm? Oh no, that's just you mean like when you say warm, you mean fresh. Yeah, or he was drinking oh, it. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I, was, I, I don't think he really cared. <laughs> yeah, he looked. Aubrey, he looked very I, happy. I agree with. I, I agree with Aubrey and Stormtrooper Julian Caesar. Very very bad. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that and was armed so bad. ape. And armed <laughs> ape. That's, that, that was... <laughs> armed ape. Okay, time to puke. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Okay, so this one is <laughs> the one he's acting was like, you know, I hate it. Like, <laughs> oh, it was Disgusting. so good. You uh, always, you always send me the best shit, Black <laughs> Jesus, oh I love your Twitter. Sometimes it just it cracks uh, me up. Like, I, gotta, oh I gotta find your Twitter, Black Angus. This is so bad. I know I have to find out if I, I, I'm, th I'm pretty sure I'm following you, but I gotta double. Yeah, I got, yeah. I got follow, dude. I got follow you now. <laughs> I got his link right here. Yeah, put his link up there. I gotta I mean, follow this dude. I'll put it here in the chat. Y'all go give Black Angus a follow. He's putting out some good shit. Yeah, he has. He went out some good shit. Should I really? 
<laughs> All right, it's there in the chat, guys. All right, so this one is called Sturgis Talks About His Trolls. And it's only yeah. 51 seconds. Really, Sturgis? Only that's the only that's the amount of time you give us? I, I want more time. Come on. I mean, <coughs> you do it every fucking day. I'm like clip this so a... then he reacts to it. And <laughs> I always see him wearing that Ripperverse t-shirt, and the only question I have is does he watch does it? he know how to do laundry? <laughs> no, he's got Black his mom Angus. to do that for him. Black Angus, how much you want to bet? They're going to EFAP. Him and his friends will EFAP this stream. Because <laughs> they need content for their new little... <laughs> so we're giving it I don't, I don't see, uh, I don't uh... see the Yara thing back there. He's like, look at everybody. He usually has a Yara uh, on his screen saying how many books he sold. The same 1.3... Uh, million he, the books made the books ain't, ain't made oh. shit since. That's what Ripoff first should do. He should do a new Sturgis video. He's like, Hey, we'll check out uh, the IR campaign. It's uh, still at <laughs> 1. 3 million yeah, yeah. for like the last month that really has not moved, moved. <laughs> at all. Uh, but giving you updates, <laughs> <laughs> give me an update. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let him know about that. That's that's good. That's a good it's, idea it's too. Not, it's been like two uh, in, for like the since the second week of the campaign. It's just been <laughs> stuck there, <laughs> stuck at one point three. I'm like, I don't think nobody else gonna buy this shit. <laughs> Nobody's buying that shit. So, All right, let's let's play it and see what what he says here. When I was on LG stream, literally within the last fifteen to thirty minutes, mm -hmm. we had a whole bunch of trolls like 15 of them just dropped right in <laughs> 15 of my trolls just dropped right in mm -hmm. it's like you're not obsessed in gay i don't <laughs> i'd like to talk about how you're how i i hate gay people but y'all acting gay like when i call y'all gay rippers marry this on your channel a minute dudes <laughs> following everything i'm doing no matter where i'm at what podcast where i'm at I swear, it's every single one. I would not be surprised if they come in here too. I went on, um, I went on what? I think I went on Common Nerd. I went on Common Nerd. They were there. I went on Hypnotic. They were there. I went on LG. They're there. It's like, bro. <laughs> okay, so who is that dude next to him? He's Night Iron Man, Master Nightwing. Swag. Is that just what he likes to collect, or what does that no, mean? That's yeah, just swag. podcast, the Iron Man podcast. I've been on it before. Okay. It's on Rumble. Yeah, he only streams me. on Rumble. He looks like. So what Pedro. is the what what is what is the concept? What is the concept there that this is the? Okay, all right, you understand where I'm coming from with this? He, this is he the, just this talks is about the black guy works, who's like, all yeah. about the white guy defending the black guy. No, he he's just he was just he was a you know he he was a he was a fan of Ethan too. Okay, it's just it's just he he kind of like went all like as soon as like everything broke out. Yeah. He kind of got to the point where, like, his argument was, "You're dumb. Okay, you're retarded. You're talking you're about Sturgis or no, no, the other guy. Okay, the yeah, other guy. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so, all right. Sturgis does the same thing, but Sturgis yeah. tries to give an intellectual reason why you're retarded. Oh, but it, he yeah, comes, yeah, yeah. he comes across as being retarded himself. You mean like That's he comes across as that Damon Wayans character from In Living Color, where he's using big words that don't mean booked on phonics. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, see, I think that's him pretending to be Eric. Yeah, right. Eric does Eric that. Does that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like layers of a few, yeah. a few. There's there's Eric doing that, and then there's Sturgis doing that. Well, the funny thing is, is he calls me he calls me a troll of his, but I blocked him like a week ago. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like, and like, I, I've rarely talked about him, yeah. But he would always retweet me, oh. and so I, I just, got, I got to the point where, like, I was like, and he stopped like conversing with me. I'm like, well, if you're not gonna talk with me, I'm just gonna block you, and like, I haven't, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't said anything. Yeah, well, well, what's your viewership huh? like? I mean, how many, uh, what's how many subscribers you got? Like, like 2k, almost 2k. But I think somebody said that there's a lot of bots potentially there, Could which be. I don't I don't really care because it, I mean to be honest with you, his content is just hateful. Like it's just it's just full of hate. And it's rage he, bait. It's yeah, it's rage bait, and he doesn't give any points that have any. He doesn't validate his own points. He just moves on. Right. Like oh, see you're retarded, and then he just goes to the next thing. So <laughs> like, 
<laughs> most of the people watching him are watching him to see just for entertainment on how nuts he is. A low cow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he 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 kind of is a locale. Yeah, I mean, you know, like, I mean, but it's not going to last. No, and I, I I told him he needs to like Katie. She's kind of like she brings in other stuff and all that. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what you got to do with your channel. You know, you, you got to diversify your channel. You, you can't be like every video is like how much you hate Star Wars, how, how, how much you hate other people. So just can't. That, that, well, yeah, if, if all you're doing is talking, you have to diversify what you're talking right, about. Right, yeah, you know, be and be interesting. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you guys ever seen my channel, but my channel, I sit chill, you know, doing artwork. You know, I've, I've been doing this since 2015, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I got like, what, I got like 20,000 followers who come and watch me and it grows, my channel grows. I got like two different channels I stream on. But my whole my whole theme is that like when everybody was shifting over and started doing the stupid wacky like I hate you no know, movie shit and you either on this side or this side no I kept on doing my animation I kept on doing that and I saw a lot of these channels like go and die and the only ones that are left were, like the neurotics um, and uh, uh, Doomcock um, the uh, the uh, WD Pro and those guys like that because. Their show, like like Doomcock and WD Pro and or Valiant Renegade, they're they do the same type of stuff, but it's like some substance to what they do, and they actually do come on and actually tell people that just because we don't like this stuff doesn't mean we hate it. You know, we just disagree on the content they're making, but we have nothing against the artist or the actors or anything like that. We want everybody to make that clear. But you got people like Nerd Roddick, Sturgis, um, the, the whole Friday Night Tight gang that 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 fucking rage bait people to come and watch them, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm really thinking that Nerd Roddick's is ba Nerd Roddick's whole base is, is maybe mostly bots. <clears throat> I mean, I, I'm looking at it. So I, I think he, I think he, I think he's buying buying the views. You know? Man, I do not have the time to figure out how to figure all that out. In other words, like like to get, to, to get onto like social blade and really dig into like what other people are doing. But I'm glad that other people that I think I can trust uh, do do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it's like it's like uh, they do it, and you know if they're doing it, if you're going to see the way you find out you go on social blade, and yeah. you look at how many. Uh, subs that uh, subscribers that YouTube is taking away. So if you go to their channel and they're losing something, I would say something like a thousand subs. They, they got like a million subscribers and yeah. like a thousand here and a thousand there. You can actually look at the graph and the graph is going all the way down and all of a sudden it comes way back up. I mean that's 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 not organic. That that's not yeah. That's not that's not real. That's them saying, oh, I lost a thousand subscribers. Let me go ahead and pay this service. A, a couple of hundred bucks to get my to get my uh numbers up so i can get the ads the revenue then the endorsements the sponsors and shit like that you know yeah um right. and well, yeah it's it, possible but i don't i don't think so because mm -hmm. like because i i mean it, it is possible because i know some people on instagram that do the same thing you know in right. the bodybuilding world mm -hmm. but the reason I, I i don't think that's likely because you know jeremy griggs would do it mm-hmm and he, you know he he would do it in Eric July. I mean, you know, his channel hasn't grown at all. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's that's another tall tale thing. Mm. If the channel hasn't grown, right. like if the channel hasn't grown, like like he got there somehow, some way he got there, and all of a sudden he just stopped. It's because he stopped buying the subscribers and the views for the channel. The whole thing is to get a certain number to where, like I said. You get in the eye of these sponsors, these uh, people who want you to advertise their products and shit like that. That's when you get those eyes. You get the VPNs. You get the uh, uh, you get the, uh, the 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 brilliant ads and shit like that. And you know, the, and like I said, they only do that just so they got that high viewer count and so they can get sponsors, ads, and all the other type of shit for the channel. You know, and you could tell they've been doing it. Like I said, they their account is either stagnant. A stagnant and and the the number is going down you know and i see it on eric july's i see that on uh i see that on neurotics i see that it's like so your count's going down it's not going up it's going down and then you're replenishing it and it goes back up and then in a few weeks later youtube algorithm catch up with you and it's going to get rid of all the bots 
you know, you, you you could definitely tell something strange is going on with with uh with that shit. You look at social blade, something's up. Right. Hey one gun, <laughs> can you put your, your channel address in the private chat? I'm pretty sure I'm following you on YouTube, but I want to double check. That'd be pretty expensive to do that though. Because I, yeah. yeah, I, I know how much yeah, I know how much it costs on Instagram. I'm gonna kick out of seeing you troll nerdrotic. <laughs> hey, yeah. Andrade, what next? What's your next child victim? <laughs> oh, <my Wow>. God. <laughs> oh, you talking about the post I made? <laughs> that's that's the other thing I was trying to get across. I didn't, you know, land. I wanted Wait a minute. Post, does but... does that guy have like a a CRT with a VCR yes. on the screen? Cathode ray yes. tube. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know yeah, that cool. um, if he wow. has old video game systems, some of them work better on a cathode oh, yeah, ray yeah. tube. Right, right. That okay. might be he just has something that you need to point like duck hunt. You, the gun isn't going to work on your bigger TV. Well, this uh, this is reality based. Uh, Thanks, actually, he's, he just recently mm -hmm. interviewed me and BA recently. <coughs> he was good. The only thing that I would critique with his interview is, is he'll ask you the question, and then while as you're answering, he puts the chat up, but he does the, and it's it's so distracting. He does what like, now? <laughs> what, is, what does he do? I it's, was just it's on. The way, it's the way Ryan Broder does his interview. He's great interview. He's really yeah. good. The only thing that I had the issue with, and I, I need to ask BA this, is when he'll ask you a question, and then as, as you're um, giving your answer, while, he, while you're doing that, he pulls up the chat, and then he does this whole, you know, and it's like, dude, stop! You're distracting me. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't, what are you doing? Um, but he's 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 a cool, dude. But I saw this. I didn't really ever get to watch the whole interview he did with um, yeah, Sturgis. Uh, but I'm glad that this person clipped it, and I thought this would be um, a pretty good one. Because uh, I thought I'll do this one, and then we can we can slowly kind of close out the night. But uh, this is um, be an Eric July fan. <laughs> so, oh let's go into the mind of Sturgis. Psycho and then run the fuck out. <laughs> oh, I got it on mute. My bad. People hired by the. There we go. I'd say that of all the creators who have been on the <coughs> reality base, and that even includes people hired by the Riververse. I'd say you're you're most in favor of what it does, its aims, and its objectives. So here's a question. How did you first of all, how did you discover Eric July, eh, the founder and uh, current owner, hopefully forever, of the Riververse? And then after that, how did you discover the organization itself? Well, I stumbled on the air July around 2019, 2020, back when he was at about 70. <laughs> I, mean, I, kind of just, I see what you mean. I kind of just liked his comic takes. I, I was there mostly for the, his uh, social political takes, but I also mm -hmm. liked his comic takes and I liked his gaming takes to some extent. We kind of grew up in the same type of era when it came to gaming and arcades and stuff like that. So I stuck around for pretty much any type of content he would put out. And he was always talking about this whole thing where he was coming together with the you know, Riververse and all of that stuff and talking about how he wanted to create his own because he got sick of the mainstream and you know i wanted to see what it was all about so and the biggest thing was like with a lot of creators i typically don't oh my gosh so i have to pause this part because i just noticed garfield's bizarre adventure who is also a troll who is also a huge fan of eric and he hangs out on certain streams in cg uh he says for now gives us a lot of a lot of us the news on twitter I have no desire to sign up for one, so getting news about that cesspool of insanity is nice to have. It's like, uh, do you feel better about yourself now, honey? Did you get that? Did, did you get that off your chest? Did you know, like you? Uh, that's Damn. nice to know you're re you're relying on Sturgis for the news <laughs> when he the one starts the shit with everybody on Twitter. Right. And if you respond, you're guaranteed to be in his video. He does. <clears throat> I I truly believe he does it to get you to respond so he can have content. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's oh, easy man. content. He he does. Um, he does. He has on me uh, specifically. I wasn't even talking to him or engaging with him, and he has made me a part of his video. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. 
Mm, mm, mm. Well, just because you're well known, you know, I mean, you're, you're yeah. Uh, okay, what? <laughs> Big man. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I know, but he's, so, he's so trying. To, I think what is... he's doing is is he's trying to pick a fight with you, because he mm. knows that we. Well, I don't watch it at all unless mm. Tony. We have something to laugh about. That's why I'm so glad about this channel here. Is mm. a clip mm. channel, so it's like thank you. So you could clip out the best funniest mm -hmm. stupidest parts of Sturgis and I don't have to like watch his shit that's great thank you <laughs> not that I want to but you know what I'm yeah, saying thank, like, you, lady, for, thank <laughs> you for like thank you for giving us the Sturgis here. like, here's what I think about Sturgis um, Sturgis only doing what he's doing because he gets to do this he gets to become somebody you know I, I don't think he really cares that much about Eric I think he does what he does because it just oh, no, 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 man. You know, he is he is going uh, upstairs and trying to convince his mom that this is a good investment opportunity and that someday this ship is going to come in and Eric July is going to pay him for all the great work that he's done. Well, pause, pause. He still lives with his mom. That's the that's our predict. That's what we think. Yeah, I think he does. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> uh, I, I I think I think it, we got good odds on that. Yeah, just imagine. I'm not a I'm just not to, a just imagine, woman, but I'll bet on this one. <laughs> yeah, but just just imagine that either Garfield's Bizarre Adventure or Sturgis are in the jury box in a court case <laughs> that holds your life in the balance. Just think of the possibilities. Thank you, oh my god! Uh, well, let's finish this off. Yeah. yeah let's, but you off. see what I was saying? Yeah. How he does that? It's <laughs> that's, that's some weird. No, stuff. I did. I saw that. He he wants to acknowledge his chat, which is great. Yeah. But without interrupting. <laughs> All right. Now I got to get on this guy's show now. It's not hard. I mean, if he if he um if you let him he know he takes all comers. Yeah, hit, hit him up. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm hit him up. It's like, hey man, I, I want to talk and I want to do your cheerleading. You know. <laughs> I was born a farmer's boy. <laughs> Just keep, that, keep talking right. so you just like do that do that shit. <laughs> so I can, so I can get <laughs> clips made. Like uh Samurai Snowman held the generational sexual icon Sturgis. <laughs> 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 let's let's finish this. This thing was like with a lot of creators, I typically don't I don't like super chat a lot. With mm -hmm. a lot of the creators I like, but what I try to do is I try to can't afford it. More. <clears throat> Towards what the projects are with there. <laughs> so it's just kind of one of those opportunities I got to put in more, invest more into a project to see what it was all about. And I'm enjoying it so far. I mean, I, I did hmm. put do an all in for guy <laughs> of course I posted that online and you know, the usual suspects like to hmm. laugh and all this good stuff, but it's interesting when you <laughs> see your usual people that typically don't like you, they want to sit up here and laugh about the amount of support you put into something you like when they know for a fact that they don't see that type of support ever and it's interesting to watch them laugh meanwhile they don't ever see, receive that type of support and they kind of you know deep down they wish that they would get that type of support from a person like me or what support are you talking about support from you pause it like pause it what pause it katie <laughs> you do you guys not realize this is still one sentence Yes, <laughs> it's an Eric July speak. Eric July speak. That's what this is. You see, what it be is that I do. It's not just. It's not just that you can have a bingo card and listen to Eric July. It's that you can win bingo four times ooh, ooh. listening to Eric July. Oh, oh, we should he, do that. We should get some bingo cards made. He does. Hey, that's, well, that's, that's no, cool. there is. There is. I'll for have Eric, to. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to show you. Um, Let's you keep going. Big. Let's there, make some no, bingo there, cards for this shit because every there, time you says something, you know, it's me bingo. There's a bingo card. Uh, I mean, bingo. But there's a way to do bingo cards. Like you, well, uh, Katie has it in her, in your, in your messages. There's yes, a link I do. And, I need yeah, to bring yeah, that up. Can, we can create, it would be a great fun bingo night. night. Just watch a I know. bingo, watch an Eric July and, and do bingo cards. Bingo night. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bingo it, night. The, yes, the, the Ripperverse bingo or something. Yeah, we'll do it. Right. Yes. bingo night. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, I I went back a little bit and uh okay. so yeah. <laughs> Even anybody in the chat or anything like that. Oh, so I think a great a great way of bottling all that up into a single word from the pro ripper perspective is envy. Right. Do you agree with that, 
uh, assessment. Yes. I like yes. boiling things down, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> so Sturgis spoke that long in one sentence fragment. <laughs> and the guy says, he just says it in three seconds, say envy. What? Right. Like, <laughs> yes. Hey, yeah. That's the British for you. <laughs> so you mean envy. All that jargon you just said means envy. Well, that's because they were educated in Great Britain. Eric bit my yeah. finger. <laughs> yeah. hey, Katie, uh, just for, for, for one gun's benefit, share the screen real quick. I love you, Sturgis. Okay. You entertain me. Um, right. Oh, I'll this is it's 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 an oldie but a goodie just so that right. uh one gun knows that they exist okay well let me share this super chat uh right. i missed a minute ago uh k uh the blue flame for canadian two dollars thank you so much katie are you familiar with towns van zanet zanet hmm? van zant no Z what it's pronounced van zant van zant yeah. no i've never Zant. I've never heard of them. Oh, Have any of y'all chat? Have you? I'll act like your producer. <laughs> and and look I, it I up. I don't know. Well, I'm scared to look up anything without my internet fucking crashing. Uh, Towns Van Zandt was an American singer-songwriter, wrote numerous songs such as Poncho and Lefty for the sake of the song. A sneeze uh, looks like old country. Mountain Blues, Our Mother of the Mountain, Waiting Round to Die, and to live is fly. His musical style is often been described as melancholic. Features rich poetic lyrics. During his early years, Van Zant was respected for his guitar playing and finger picking ability. That's mm -hmm. one of many paragraphs about Towns Van Zant. Played a banjo. Ah, my it could have been a. Uh... Oh, does he? Yeah, actually, I'm married into I'm a bluegrass that up now. family that used to be musicians that traveled all across the state. I looked at uh, the yeah. bluegrass stuff. Let's see. Towns Van Zandt. Keep, uh, keep going. I'm just going to read some. Um, and then uh, the Ricky Silly Spoofs. I seen him uh, drink with Crazy way back. And he was a gen genius country musician. And he does on indie comics now. If I remember. Okay. No, 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 that thing. I, I learned something new every time. Thank you guys. I didn't know that. Uh, here's here's his screen. Yeah, then we we worked on this like yeah, they went over the screens ago. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't know how. I, I needed help filling in some of the squares, and then um, I think EVS brought it up, and we decided that it is should be the free space. I haven't changed it since then, but the link that I had sent you before, um, I figured this is a moot point now because you can create. Um, as long as you have the the data to fill in the cards, that there's a website that does free bingo cards, and it will just populate the squares oh, shit. on its own. Oh, well, damn. So, oh, nice. so we can populate our own bingo cards and then watch an Eric July video, probably any one of them, <coughs> and and you'll hear it like nonsense. And I think um, isn't uh, yeah, my three DS sets detractors move differently. Nonetheless, yeah, nonetheless is in there right next to free space. <laughs> yeah, he's that word a lot. Yeah, we do he all does. like uh, Hollywood Squares, uh, bingo night. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I mean, you, you guys have a much regular schedule than I do, but that's why I sent Katie the link to the website that does the bingo cards. So yeah, no, I need to, to get up and do that. Yeah, if you wanted to do that for one of your streams, I, I don't have to be there for it. You can just... I, I would listen to it for sure, you know. Okay. Like on my way to lunch, <laughs> like all right, in the super chat. <laughs> Thank so, you. Yeah, I need to do that. I need to. It would be I fun. Like to plan a show like that. That it could be because yeah, he right? always comes out with a video every week, so it's yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's a great idea. I yeah, I, this the clipping just takes time on that, and but I, oh, I yeah. do want to do something like that. I think that would be fun. I'll make that my. We have my to goal. Don't have to tell me, but I'm gonna. Um, I I gotta duck out of here. It's go uh, ahead. It's a little bit late. I want to make sure that my family still knows that I exist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's been a long day. You know how it is. You yeah. Know. No, it's good. I'm actually going to uh, uh, close out for the night. I've just about four hours, so I've done pretty good. Yeah. Um, and it's one o'clock in the morning here, so. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and hip off. Uh, before I do, I'm going to talk to the chat a little bit before I sign off. But um, okay. oh, guys, Katie, well, Katie hey, got some yeah. fan art, don't you, Katie? Got some fan art? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she got some fan art this week. Yeah, I, I need to. Um... Oh, you if you're going to show that real message. quick, and I'm just, I'm, I'll, um, I'll, I'll run off and then run back so I can see it. Okay. All right. Uh, is there a way you can send it to me again? Because that was in our. Let me look. Oh, I know you sent it to me on Twitter, but it was in our messages. Let me see if I, I could pull it up. Let me let me find it. Hey, Katie. Uh, I gotta hit. I gotta hit the road. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Because we're gonna Thanks. end up this the stream. Thanks for having me on, chat. Love nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Nice Thanks, nice Jay. Meet. Thank you for hanging out with me. I really appreciate well, you. Anytime, anytime. Just send me the link. I'll hop on. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate right. you, darling. Have a good night. Take care. You too, darling. Uh, All so right. Where Where are you at, Miss Katie? There you are. Let me see. Uh, this okay. one. Why Why are you pulling that up, uh, Black Angus? Where Where can people find you? What do you have planned on your streams? Do you have anything oh. specifically planned? Because I know you you got you're switching your hours with work and stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm on the weekend switching into the new month switching to night shift so um yeah just thursday streams me and ricky possibly guess um shooting the shit i don't know about content i need to like buckle down start doing comic stuff specifically um yeah otherwise just having fun um okay that's all i got <laughs> cool. okay good yeah definitely see i'll check them out on thursday and uh, Logan, you you got some stuff going on with your stream. Of course, you ha you do it every day, right? You do you do it every day yeah. with your um. Well, yeah, I haven't uh, I haven't been streaming. Working on Cyber Frog. Yeah, I was. Yeah, actually, I, I think I'm done with the first part. I got to work on the second part, but I've broke up. Uh, I'm back onto my project for the moment, so I can get that finished before uh, you know for the Comic Con get here. But uh, I will be uh, I will be I will be sharing some more stuff with you with my project. Uh, I don't know what Ethan wants to do because he hasn't said, you know, what else he'd like for me to do. We got a style of Android getting made at the moment. So when that gets done, I'll go back and finish off the second part. But uh, yeah, come my channel. You can just see me working on stuff. Oh, wait, Katie, there is one thing. Um, what? I don't know if you saw this on stream or not, but uh, Stray Beans did this for me. Um, I'm probably going to put this on. I sent it to you on Twitter. Oh, I put it in the group chat on accident. But yeah. Okay. Um, if you want to show this, I'm thinking about getting yeah. this uh, done on like my Teespring for different merch. If you're interested, Ooh. especially, I didn't even think about when I got it done that this is based on the Chuck Dixon's creativity. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, cool. This freaking image. <laughs> I gotta find it again. It's good. I can find it. I, I can find it. Oh yeah. my God. That is so good. It took a second, but. I'm down. I love it. That's <laughs> I, I, I wondered what would break it. first, Eric. Your You're body right. or your warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> that cross isn't oh changing God. color. <laughs> I I want like a shirt or a, no, maybe not a shirt. I could think people could think I don't know. Uh I want that oh, cock you do shirt. That's that's you know, I, I went in on a shirt. White guilt showing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, whoa, 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 black guy got this. It's okay. <laughs> you were down you know in the warehouse. I was born in it. I was born <laughs> in the shoulder here. All right, that's it. You. you got it. Okay. You got it now. Oh, my God. I love that. That, <laughs> that, that, that is so good. <clears throat> I love that. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, nice. <laughs> I, yeah, when I asked him to do it, I didn't even think about Chuck, the Chuck Dixon made, you know, that creation to make the Nightfall story. So mm. that's even, it's more layered than I even anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks good. I like that. Okay, and here's one that Wugon did. Uh, sure is Link. Which I greatly appreciate. It's so sweet. Uh, no problem. There's me. <laughs> oh, all right. 
Oh, I'm gonna I know I can't blow it up any more than that, but yeah, he did a good job. He did a good job. That's like yeah, the second bad. person that's drawn me, yeah. and uh, and uh, I, I, I like this one. This one's, I think this one's my favorite. So, well, I was, uh, you, I, had a, you had a Muppet made, so I was like, hey, you got a Muppet? Well, I might as well just draw a picture. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> great. Yeah. I like oh, the short. I like. I like that the uh, that the cape is uh, too short to get caught in a jet engine. Oh. Let me see I <laughs> okay, I know it took a second, but the the reference. Hold on. Wait a minute. Here we go. Let me. You can get a better. Let me fix it. Hold on. Mm. I was some, able I'm to get it to where some, I can uh, put some ink to zoom it. in. Yeah, I would love to see it with things. Clean it up and yeah, sharpen yeah. it up and. Well, it's, it's drawn on some crappy Xerox paper, so I'd switch it over to some. The good best stuff, paper. you know what? I, yeah. I always found a, a ballpoint pen and Xerox paper where. Uh, That's why I look all smudgy. I'm yeah. it, so. <laughs> yeah. I like. It's definitely got style. <clears throat> Hey, I, it's very juggy. It's a very. I like. I like how she's. <laughs> she's. She's. Uh, like she's, uh, she's curvy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But like you know, like uh, like curvy near, near, uh, on the bottom, muscular, more muscular on the top. Like her yeah. arms are more defined. Yeah, I just balanced her out yeah, a little but, bit. You know. But yeah. uh, I wouldn't yeah. want to get kneed in the balls by one of those thighs. <laughs> she got some horse strength. She got some horse strength right there. Katie, super kick I tell you. <laughs> yeah, I was I, I was actually thinking about drawing a comic book again. I was like, you know, I, I should draw one. It's like everybody else, like, like, but I got too much animation to do, you know. Um, yeah. But uh, but uh, the guy I work with, Little Fry, he's actually took in all my drawings, all my artwork and stuff, and he's putting together in, in a book. RMD. And uh, he's going to try to do an Indiegogo, GoFundMe, or whatever. He, I don't know what he's going to do with it, but I gave him all my artwork from when I was in school, <laughs> my storyboards for animation, all that shit. He's gonna make it into one condensed uh, book, and guess what he's gonna call it? He's gonna call it. He's, he's gonna call it the One Verse. W N V. That's what he mm -hmm. said. <laughs> I'll send you. I'll send you the PDF, uh, 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 Katie. It, 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 I will. It, it, yeah, I'll, 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 show, I'll send it to you. But that, that's what he wants to get printed. He's like, man, I'm gonna take all your artwork you've done, and we're gonna put it all in the book. And people's gonna get that book. And he told me and I'm drawing like new sketches and stuff because like uh, I always draw sketches of the characters <laughs> that I animate. So I got this superhero character that I'm gonna be working on, um, and I've already drawn sketches of them. And I'm gonna post them one day so y'all can see. But they had the best. But you know, it's it's what I use for reference when I make my superheroes. You know, so the, yeah, the, all Katie drawing did for me was just say, you know what, I can still draw a little bit. I can still draw. You got it. Yeah. You do better than me. You do better than me. <laughs> I told yeah. I, when I sent Dan my my picture, I, I was drawn from a woman's face to him because uh, I was following his videos. I was like, Dan, don't don't put this out there. <laughs> no, matter, Dan I, no matter how, yeah, Dan Lawless. Oh, I was like, geez, no matter how, if I piss you off, please don't send this out. Be a laughing stock. Uh, no, he, he is he, he is so bad. good, and he's in in he's seems to work like fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like he cranks yeah, he out stuff. Best. I know he's doing a lot. Like he he works. I know he works like mostly in digital, but there is a, a penciled portion where he does his basics in Photoshop, cleans it up in physical pencil, scans it in, and then colors it. And whatever his his process is, it's one of the things I hate about having a full time job. I can't. I there's there's no time to zero in on the stuff that I need to zero in on so that I can do that kind of work you know what i mean like there's there's mm -hmm. there's no time to improve i'm too busy doing my bit for king and country i hate it yeah. well, um, that time. whatever i'm whining i, I don't want to do that <laughs> it's okay uh hold the hot hold the hold the truth hostage bvs somebody mentioned you by the way in the chat where you've been um if they're still watching uh i know that you've uh been taking a break you've been really busy with your stuff too but I do know we're gonna we're gonna have you on stream soon. And thank you so much for the five dollars. You you didn't have to do that. And, you know I just appreciate your friendship. And uh, I know our we could go on for long talks in our in our group chat about some shit. But I appreciate it. Um, he says respect to black respect to Black Angus. White half saved us from an early grave for sleeping with the police chief's twin dollars daughters. Always have a half black friend. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> 
Dang. Man. Uh, this is. I'll do this one for you. This. This is. This is to you, BBF. Thanks, hon, for your generosity. You truly mean the world to me. Detracting with a sword, supporting comics, gay. Make this stream truly great. Thank you, Truth. I appreciate it. It's it's catchy. I don't want a good song ends too soon. I know. Just getting into it. It's just getting into it. <laughs> I, think name, I, think a, I think I'll name my superhero Detractor. Yeah. Ooh, that's Ooh. a good one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I, I think I name my yeah. I think we'll oh, make. Oh, thanks, Andrew. <laughs> Detractor. It's funny. It's nice. It's, it's, it's nice to have a a pal. What is it? Misery loves company, and Andrew is. <laughs> well, is he my says. He says, for Andrew Lone, thank you for the four ninety nine. I second that. Coming home from works makes me not want to draw for the rest of the night. Yeah. It's understandable, especially nowadays working working hard. But, um, but I appreciate you, Andrew. Thank you so much. No, uh, we we'll that would be a good one. That's the a good name for it. I'm thinking about yeah, the track door. I might, I might actually do a stream dedicating to how to make a superhero and make. The, the, the making of the tractor tomorrow, maybe. I got to do tomorrow. I just you grabbed a uh, hundred for hundred and ninety five uh, bucks. Uh, won an auction at the last the, w w on your birthday when I was at that pinstriping thing that was at that yeah. car show in Cleveland. There's a red tractor in the in the garage, not like a big one, but like a pedal car. Mm -hmm. So oh, like nice. I picked it up for one hundred ninety five bucks for the charity and then i get a whole bunch of people to pinstripe and i'm gonna put it back out on auction next year on your birthday i won't okay. in other words you're gonna stream for your birthday and i probably won't be there but i'm gonna have to show you guys this thing whenever it's whenever it's done it's just a bunch of junior I high school kids it. put this pedal car tractor together and it only just hit me it's a detractor <laughs> <laughs> you know what you should do. In there, yeah, it's in there. It's a detractor. I'm not gonna get on it and you know try it. <coughs> Junior high school kids welded it together. I'll break it, you know. But you still, know what you should do. Kind of cool. You should make a puppet like uh, Saw, like Billy the puppet yeah. from Saw. Oh, yeah. Urgis uh, riding a detractor. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pull out my seventh grade A plus home ec sewing machine skills and put a puppet together <laughs> oh yeah. we'll make it from a sock like a <laughs> lamb chop right like lamb chop what's it i gotta think oh, yeah, uh, yeah. i gotta think, I gotta think of a uh, uh, black scrawny uh hairy bearded guys they <laughs> gotta make that you know mm -hmm. Did you well, if the puppet them? was too short to get on that little kid's tractor that would even be even better <laughs> just like trying to get up oh. short little uh, Legs too short, can't get in the detractor. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some character creation uh, tomorrow. <laughs> do a whole stream on how to create a character from beginning to end. That wouldn't be bad. Go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that wouldn't be bad. Start with the name detractor. Detractor. <laughs> All right. Create a, create a character. Bet, bet. All right. Uh, that sounds like a deal. Andrew Roland, I didn't get you your clip, and uh, thank you. And you know what? Since Black Angus is here. Let's play this. I'm not a detractor. I'm not a detractor. I'm not a detractor. Don't shoot, Eric! Dude, I forgot all about that guy. <laughs> oh, father, father, uh, father hostage, hold the truth hostage, BBS, the man himself with many names. Thank you again for the five dollars. I knew I was a tractor when I slapped the doctor that pulled me out of womb because I come out of the womb when I'm ready, not when a strange man hey, pulls. Man. Oh, my <laughs> oh my god, that guy has a weed card. <laughs> he, has, he, he has a weed card and he just picked up the shit that they put on sale all the time. That's what just <laughs> happened just now. I, I gotta play it again for you for you because yeah, it's it funny because ain't, ain't black <laughs> angus made this for me in the middle of us doing a stream on doc Last so and it, i mean Hail i have Sam he's Rowe. got the clip of my reaction to it on his channel and <laughs> it's the funny, just we, showed up. we just we uh -oh. just had the biggest laugh ever uh who's here Comic 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 Drama. Drama. He's, he's in the chat 
You will expose us, Katie. <laughs> oh, no. Now we you're going to get clipped. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, st uh, stick around. Once everybody leaves, I, I might talk about something. I don't know. Stick around, yeah. comic stake drama. Uh, it's good to see you as always. And uh... <laughs> <laughs> when a so woman, every, every everybody do their do their very best impression of Eric July starting a video. All at the same time. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like, this is a clip for you, Father. <laughs> I'm not a detractor. I'm not a detractor. I'm not a detractor. Don't shoot, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know I was going to say about uh, Eric with his open mouth. It reminds me of uh, what's that Jordan Peele movie? Get Out. When he, yeah. he didn't have the cotton in his ear, so he's just like, oh. Yeah. Either that or he's <laughs> waiting for Sturgis to throw it in. He's possessed. <laughs> he's possessed by. Did I just Daddy say that? Or was I just, did I think that out loud? <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> I'm sorry, St. Peter. He's going to be up there waiting for me to answer for this shit. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go because I'm going to close out this room with the chat. I am going to share something that I kind of want to do myself. I don't want to get others involved. It's, it's yeah. um, so, but I'm going to let y'all go for the night. I appreciate each and every one of you. ID yeah. Crisis, move Thank on. You. Black Thank Angus, been Jay, too long. and Thanks for having that me. came on. No Come problem. I, Coming up next, I'll make the stream Katie's great. moments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I'm definitely going to hang out with the child a little bit. Right. So uh, I'll right. take it easy, guys. Thank you, you so too. much. See Thanks. you, guys. You have a good time. See you later. See ya. All right, guys. And now, chat is just you and me and Comicscape Drama. Um... I wanted to, before I close this, my king is just like, I'm listening. <laughs> um, uh, I want to react to the video I got of Anna um, defending me. Um, and I want to react to that. I just need to go through here and find it. Um, by, by the way, I want to say Barb Rogers, the moderator in the chat. Thank you so much for the gift. If I know you gifted me memberships and I don't know what happened. I would go to look and they weren't there, but I've seen you do it. So thank you. Thank you. Um, and everybody for their support. I, I really appreciate it. Okay. So here it is. I'm going to pause it. All right. Oh, Pastor Flash made me a clip. Okay, thank you, Pastor Flash. I appreciate you. Uh, Kind of skate drama. Anna has me blocked. Yeah, I, I'll i be honest. I blocked some people, too. Um, mainly the ones that just spam all my shit. Um, most of the time, I, I usually just... there. I'll get one or two here. You know, the emoji. And I just whatever but um if you're gonna spam my shit that's when it's kind of a problem uh <laughs> utilize the alt drama you cannot hide <laughs> oh okay so let me share it because i guess i didn't get this part uh i was watching her stream actually today after the race i was um i was working outside for a little bit and uh, while my kid was playing and uh, I was working out in the garden a little bit and getting flower bits ready for the year. Uh, and I was listening to her stream a little bit up to the point where I had to get ready for the show. Um, so we'll see. I don't know what she has said. Um, a matter of fact, while I am at it, let me see if I can pull up that clip that I took of her giving me a shout out a shout out let's see if i can find that for you guys real quick um mm -mm -mm. let's see i know i i know i have it here just one second guys bear with me chat i know i know i know um let's see this uh, 
Oh, and then we go here. Do I have it? No, I don't have it. Okay. All right, it's on my phone. I'll bring it up for another day. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Let me just double check and with all my other clips here. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. No, I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm, up, I'm looking through here. Da -da -da -da. No, I don't have it. Okay. Well, this is fine. I'm going to react to this. But she, um, to pretty much just make a long story short, I gift, I, I know I mentioned this at the beginning of the stream, <clears throat> but for those that didn't, or just now tuning in, um, I sent Anna um, gifted memberships. I didn't really know what to say, so I did some gifted memberships. I like to try to support all of them. Um, because I am a clip channel, I do want to let them know, like, hey, yes, I, I'm a clip channel, but I'm cool with you. Like, I support Comics Gate. I support you guys. Um, so, she um, said, um, oh, Katie, it's so good to see you. I'm, I'm hope you're okay. I'm sorry that all that stuff happened just because you liked an, a popular Inuyash, you know, anime show back in the day. Um, but I hope you're doing all right. And then she was showing, she talked about this um, clothing line that sells in Yasha merch. And she said, she said she actually bought like a top there and she was showing me all of it. And uh, it, it was nice. So it was very surprising, very surprising. So <clears throat> let's see what she says. All right. You ready, everybody? We're bored 100%. And I just, I don't like the whole clapping back. I really didn't like the whole stuff that they did with Katie with the whole, you know, dog fucking thing. And I'm like, I watched that anime too. That doesn't like, I, I thought that that 100% crossed the line. Did I tell Eric in Yellow Flash? No, no, because it's, it's not my place. Uh, when I saw Katie in my chat, I told her I felt bad. And then I showed her some like Inuyasha merch, uh, which I'm like, I've been on streams wearing like, a, a tube top that has it like there's a lot of people that like that but so that's something that i'm like i didn't i didn't like that i thought that that crossed the line but you know again i'm not their mom it's it's not my place and cecil airing his frustration that's one thing wow okay thank you anna for that yeah it's <clears throat> like i said i'm not gonna go too much in the detail um I will one day. I've kind of already said something about it before. Um, and I know it's frustrating because I'm sure um, a lot of you guys would like for me to just spew it all out for, for all y'all to, to hear. and Because um, I've, I've got a lot of things to say. I, I have a lot of people to expose. And unfortunately right now it's just it's not the perfect time for it. Um, I'm going to put it in God's hands. And... And leave it up to him. And when the time is right and opportunity shows itself, then yeah, I'll, I'll talk about it. Um, it's not a problem. Um, <clears throat> the only um, thing is, is I will say this is uh, I do appreciate everybody understanding. Look, I I ran a, a little YouTube channel um, called Saturn's Fan Club. <clears throat> And it's based on an anime couple that is in the Inuyasha series. Um, and uh, it's Rumi Takahashi is an amazing um, manga artist. She's created so many popular anime shows. I'm not, I don't like all of them. It's maybe uh, this was, this is the particular one that I like the most. Her other works ain't bad, just not my, my taste. But, um, <clears throat> About, gosh, it's been four years now. They uh, they came out with Yashihime. And that was um, because they, they ended the Inuyasha series about two decades ago. And fast forward to after COVID, they brought the show out. And an extension of, because Inuyasha and Kagome get married and have children. And so does Shishomaru and Ren. They, they have children. It makes become canon, so you follow... The journey of these young girls and uh, the anime was okay. 
I didn't like the character. I don't like the way they made Ren. I don't. I, I like it because we got some good shit, but I, I was the manga is so much better, and it's still ongoing right now. Um, it's one of those things I plan to buy when it's complete. Um, <clears throat> but the manga is so much better. So, but I, I did re live reactions. I did anime reactions. It was very big back then, and um, so yeah, I did that. But I also like read and review fan fiction, like Slice of Life. Yeah, there was smut. Um, you know, like new villains and situations and fights and battles and just great, really good stories. Um, Andrew Rowan, have you read or watched Spy Times Family? No, Spy and Family. No, I haven't, but there is a lot of fan fiction out there for that. I noticed that's becoming popular. So I, I just read and review fan fiction. I just got on my computer and I was like, you know, it's becoming pretty popular. So many people are writing this story because of this show coming out. So I I just read and review fan fiction. I read them all kinds. Now there's some that I I don't like, period. But there was some really there I met some women who are amazing writers, like really good writers. I mean that would put Eric to fucking shame. Let's just be real with you guys. But it, I loved it. It was great. It was around the time that um, Biden had won the election. And and that's like I mentioned earlier in the stream. I, I had to I had to cut it everything off. I, I just walked away. I got off my Facebook. I I didn't I just didn't want to talk about it, deal with it anymore. I was so fried and frustrated and angry and I was like well the world's gonna come to a fucking end because it's Biden I'm just going to enjoy my life while I, well we still can um and then I ran into fan fiction and I just it was great I got to read stories um and it helped you know get through the time past the time and so I did reviews and it was great I never made any money um doing it um i did it just because i loved it it was fun um but the channel like there was only so much i could do with it because they haven't come out with another season of yashahime um again we have events in our community that and in, that inspires like fan art and stuff like that um but it oh there's really nothing going on so i i was looking into another anime series called the apothecary diaries uh i need to finish it I was, I was in the middle of doing reactions with that, but I just, I just struggle to get back to my old channel because I feel like it got violated. You know, um, so I'm not ready to go back to that yet, but I just want to, <laughs> or says, what, what, what? Uh, let me read the chat for I, Eric and his ilk are a bunch of retards. Yeah. Um. Plain? Plan. Oh, I'm sorry. It's getting late. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Um, so yeah, I just, I love Inyasha. It's a, I, you know, Sailor Moon is like one of my, I was a huge fan of Sailor Moon. Like my mom made me the costume and I would like pretend I was set. Like it was so much fun when I was a kid. I, I grew up with Sailor Moon. Dragon Ball Z, man. Like, you gotta think, like, I was getting out, like, I think it was, like, middle school. I would come home, and, like, 4 o'clock would come on Toonami with the Cartoon Network, and it'd be Toonami, and you get your Sailor Moon, you get your Dragon... Like, I grew up on that. And then, that's when Adult Swim came around, um, late night, and that's when all the really, really good anime is... Uh, it was a great time. Toonami is awesome. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. Um... My my daughter had a huge Sailor Moon phase. Oh, I I really need to I need to I watched Sailor Moon Crystal one and two. Um, <laughs> what I'm sorry about break your boner on his ass. Did I say that? Or did it sound like I said that? I'm confused, Barb. <laughs> um. Arctic Huffles and Yasha was one of the first shows I I watched knowing it was an anime. That and Gundam Wing. Yeah, Gundam Wing was pretty big too at that time. I remember watching that. Like the classic, you know. Uh, 
yeah man okay all right yeah you see you get you feel me that was a good time man um uh, michael slum we watched sailor moon s and super s a lot yeah i got all the vhs's i remember that oh so cool and it's it's crazy now that sailor moon stars has has come to america now because i remember that um I would watch all the series, but we here in America we we couldn't get Sailor Moon stars. Like I think it was Funimation at the time. They didn't buy the rights for that series. It's like Japan was like really holding on to it. Like, no, we're not gonna. So I got a friend that actually bought the DVDs, but they're on subtitles. Oh, they're in sub, but I loved it. And so there's new Sailor Moon Crystals. I watched the first two seasons. Like I said, but I need to finish up the rest because I'm getting like um stuff like like little short clips and stuff of like what was in that series the final one uh i love sailor moon yeah god bless my mom um rest, rest in peace mom but yeah she uh she would make me sailor moon costumes and it was so much fun you're good <laughs> i just you're good <laughs> I just I just looked in the chat bar but I was like what? Uh and uh first anime I watched were Rama and Gunbus. I watched Rama one half. I mean their movies were okay. I didn't really care for the series, but their movies were good. The only character I liked was Shampoo, but I just liked her character design. Like I liked her hair and her look. And I didn't, I hate that they made her give her that squeaky third, that squeaky voice and she talks in third person. It just drove me crazy. But no, it was good. It just wasn't my cup of tea. Um, but so, yeah, I, I, you know, yes, I love it. I come from the anime community. And we have fan artists who make amazing works. And um, the only thing I will say, because I do plan to go in detail one day about it. But the only thing I will say is when it came to that particular fan art, it was the first time someone in her community drew that. She was an adult and it was her husband. And it wasn't even that like explicit. It had to be covered because of YouTube, obviously. Um, Big O, yes. No, we could, I love Big O. Big O was good too. Oh, who was that guy that did the voice acting? Oh, he does so much. Because he did the voice acting in Cowboy Bebop. And, oh, what's his name? Oh, it's so good. Big O is so good. That was a good show, man. Memory. Um, And it was, it, it took a lot of courage for her to draw that of a married adult couple in that form of situation. Um, it was very ballsy. She was very hesitant to put it out because of. But, you know, she did it anyway. And, and yeah, it's art and fan fiction stories of a husband and wife of adults of age. You know, here's my thing. Like, I love Sashomaru. I am a huge Shoshomaru fan. I love him because I love his look. I think he's so dashing. He's the best looking thing on a piece of paper I've ever seen. And um, I love his character arc. If you watch the Inuyasha series, he he's such a fucking asshole. Like a real piece of shit. But if you watch from the beginning to the end how much he grows in his character arc, like how much he develops, like starts understanding the world and overcoming, like, you know, being like second best uh, to his brother, um, feeling like he should have deserved the Tensai sword. And it, it, he's a great character to write about. He really, really is. There's so much there you can write about him. And, and, and so I love this. I love the story. So that, that's about it. Um, you know, and we, me and the ladies, we laughed and we joked and, you know, I, I, we made a couple jokes and we're just, we're laughing. You know, we were just shooting shit. And, um, you know, if I, I won't regret it. I'm not ashamed of it because I know in my mind, it's not what they think. Um, because that's not where our minds ever went. If that makes sense to you, chat, I don't, y'all let me know. Um, 
But a comic escape drama, people have their hobbies and interests, but if you are going to be in this space, people will find everything. That is true, and I have learned that. I have learned that it's it's something I, I I regret that I should have thought about coming into this, um, that this was going to be an issue. But uh, uh good point. <laughs> thank you. Um, but it's fine if you want to. I think the thing that really, I think the thing that really pissed me off is my family getting doxxed. You know, my whole shit's out there. I drew my kids and my best friend's dog is being thrown around. And yeah, it's, it's, it's shitty. Um, I can take the, I could take the heat, but just, I just wish people left my, didn't dox my family. You didn't have to do that. <laughs> you know, but, um, that's the internet. And, uh, yeah. I think the thing of it too was I didn't expect to be attacked so quickly. I mean, everything happened so fast. My channel grew so fast. And I just didn't think I was going to have to deal with it so soon. So that's my ignorance. I should probably, it's a lesson learned. It's a lesson learned. Um, but let's see. I hear you. These things pick up a lot of same. Yeah, I know. And look, I, I I'm not going to be able to change those trolls' mind. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to change those particular groups' minds. They're going to think what they think of me, and it's whatever. You know, like I can't. I'm not going to stress changing people um, who attack me their minds. You know, like it, it. Like Eric July, it is what it is. I can't change nothing now. It's a lesson learned. Um, I guess I just didn't feel like it was that big of a deal. Like, cause my mind never went there. I don't know. It's, it's like, to me, it's like, if people really think that, then maybe they're the ones fucked up. Like, that's pretty fucked up for you to think that. Like, it's, it's just weird. Like, why would you, okay. I don't know. Um, let's see, uh. Samurai Snowman, it was just crazy that absolute reach they pulled from liking Inyasha's month to Kane. Yeah, it, it's that's the thing, like, they're a married couple. <laughs> they're, they're a married couple. You know, it's not like Healer of Redo, Redo of Healer, whatever that fucking fucked up. I never heard of that in a man. Thank God I never did, because I don't know how anybody could have watched that shit. I, I, I don't even go look for. I don't even know what it's all about. Only from what people have told me. I, it's just. Oof. Um, ask with my Are you mad at me? I don't think I am. Should I be mad at you? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't think I am. I don't think I am, hun. Um. Oh my god, Marv, what is going on? Uh, let's see, uh, never did that should be arrested and put in jail. I know who it is. It's just, that's the thing. It's, uh, and the, it's, it's just not a money in the work. It's just, it's the internet. I can't change anything of it. Um, I'll never be with people like that. Never. Yeah. That's. It's, let me tell you something. I will say this. This particular sad group. They are the most. Grossest. Crazy. They're keyboard warriors. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's why when I stream. I don't talk about our creators. Well that's, that's you Andrew. Yeah. I don't blame you. Um, I didn't choose to be, I became one. I didn't really choose to be one. I Ripetards turned me into the tractor. All I did was put out a tweet about Eric privating his stream and got the hell broke loose and you know, here I am, you know. So uh none of those losers think no they they, they don't. Uh that's a flash. I just um they're trying to they're trying to use his distraction. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. 
What do you mean I can't unsee that? What are you talking about? You might be having another conversation. Um, Johnny David, uh, when have you seen anyone from the fellowship actually confront someone in person? Nobody. I don't think they've ever. Um. <laughs> yep. And I'm trying to make jokes about it too, guys. Like that's the thing. Like I'm I'm ready to crack jokes about it because I for people to think that way is so funny. Lactating teens? Pin what? Uh I get attacked from EVS and Air fans all the time. Oh yeah, I'm sure you do, comic scanter. But here's the thing though. You try to be, when you post things, you're being as neutral as possible. You're not putting your two cents in it. You're saying, I'm, it's like you're TMZ. I, I'm, you put, you, you are the writer of TMZ and I am the video recorder or the clipper. You're kind of like me. Like, yeah, I try, it's hard sometimes in my titles to not sound biased, but I do try to give a sense of like neutral, like, and that's why I never delete any of the comments on my YouTube videos and stuff. Because I like having those discussions. And I was kind of hoping maybe one day I could sit down and read the comments. Because there's there's people that really have good arguments and debates. And um, sometimes it gets a little rough. But there's some really good conversations in the mix of that. And I think with you, Comicscape Drama, when you put out a particular post and I commented on it, <clears throat> um, I explained to you about that being my best friend's dog that died from cancer two years ago. Um, he said, you, you accept it like, oh, yeah, it's okay. People just heard and it's good that you know. And and I appreciate that. I appreciate you were being neutral with me. You let me speak my mind and let me say what I wanted to say. And I thank you for that. And I'm sure it's hard. Like you're trying to stay neutral. I know you have probably obviously your own opinions, but you're just re reporting the news of the drama that goes on in Comicscape. Um, and that's the thing with people's like, oh, I hate drama. It's like, well, you're, anywhere you go, there's going to be drama. It's just, it's how you go about it. Um, move on here. This will only make you stronger and not make you lesser. Stay strong and stay detracting. Yeah, and I will check out that video sent me. Um, I will watch that. And um, I'm so sorry about your story. Yeah, it's, it's my thing. It's like, you know, I'm, I guess you can call me a troll. I mean, I am detracting. I'm clipping. I'm, I'm everything they hate for me to be. But I, I'm only pulling out hypocrisy. I'm, I'm only, they could, you know, if they want to get rid of me, then maybe they should fix what they're doing wrong. <clears throat> maybe they need to sit back and be like, okay, what are, what is she getting from us that's clipping? And just work around it. But you guys just keep giving it to me. You keep putting it out there. And you know I'm clipping you. And yet, here you guys are. Still giving me shit. Still saying shit. And I'm like. Oh, it's hard to, hard to understand. Uh, it wasn't my favorite post. Trust me. Oh, I know it wasn't. I know it wasn't. But you had to. You, you had to do what you had to do. Um, I just, I just appreciate you let me comment on it and you didn't like come attack me or try to like question me of anything. I just don't know. That's my best friend. Oh, I'm going to die from cancer two years ago. And those pictures are actually very private. Those are private pictures of, of Shelby Lou. That was the dog's name. My best friend. Um, those pictures are very private. So I knew exactly how far this particular person went. Um, there was a few that played into it, but I know this the one person that that did it. I, I know the one that started it all. I know who went in there and got my shit and gave it to them. So um, that's when I knew, like, wow, they 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 really stupid my Facebook. Like, like those are precious to me. Like, um, it's um, I even got to the point where I told my husband, I was like. I know that we put pictures up of our kids, but don't, I mean, if you put them up, don't tag me because I don't, I just, if I have to protect my kids some way. And it sucks. You know, I've had some of my customers who I cut hair. 
They're like, I, I haven't really seen pictures of your kids. How are they doing? And so I'll go through my husband's and I'll show them. Um, but I can't explain to him. <laughs> I can't just sit there and tell my customer, well, this, this is why you don't see it on my Facebook. Um, so it's my way of protecting as best as I can do. Because um, I was like, I failed in that other department. So, so yeah. Um, Blue Flame, you familiar with Spice and with Spice and Wolf? God, I love that series. No. I would look that up. Spice and Wolf. Is that like a little anime series or something? Like an old school anime series? I'll, I'll look it up, definitely. I definitely will. Is he really fat? I believe it. Uh... Just gave you a policy. There you go, CD drama. No, I look, CD drama. You, you're awesome. You're you're doing what you're supposed to do. You're reporting the news, man. And sometimes you've got to report news that you really don't want to do, even if you know in your deepest in your heart that it's not true. It's stupid. It's fake. It's bullshit. You still have to do it, and that's why I give you credit. I totally get it. Totally, totally get it. Um, the art of couples. Yes, it it has a wolf girl, but not the furry kind. She has wolf ears. Uh, is that the the wolf and spice uh, thing? Huh. I'll check it out and see what's up. My thing is, is like I love anime, but I'm very picky about my anime. I don't like this new shit that's come out. I'm very old school. Like for instance, Big O, Gundam Wing. Dragon Ball, Sailor Moon, Tenchi Muyo, um, Yoroni Kenshin. That was a that was a great series. Even the, you know, the, the story behind the writer on that fucking crazy. But I watched that. Um, gosh, there was so many other stuff on Tsunami. Uh, and yeah, I I grew up on them shows, man. I'm old school anime. I'm not for this new shit. Um, the only new thing that I've kind of liked was the Apothecary Diaries that I was reacting to. Um, that seemed like a really good story that was going into it. And I like how they set up the episodes and you get a little bit of some history of what times were like back then. Um, it's a very good series. But yeah, I'm, I'm old school. I don't really need to get into the new stuff. I, it doesn't pique my interest. I, I think it's obnoxious. One Piece. One Piece is obnoxious. Yes, I know. There's some people that love One Piece. I fucking hate it. I don't care for it. The animation's god awful. It's trash. I'm just, that's the thing. I don't like animations like that, just obnoxious. The animation's obnoxious. The voicing's obnoxious. I'm not for all that. I'm just. I'm very, very weird. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I wanted to share. And that's awesome that Anna said that. Um, you know, I, it's cool. Like, I really, Anna didn't have to, let's be, let's be real guys. Anna didn't have to make a comment about that. She didn't have to say that about me. She could have just moved on and talked about something else, but she did. And, and I appreciate that because there, there is risk coming to when you, um, when people show support, you do get flack for it. And so for her to show support and um, say those really nice things, you know, tells me, okay, she's she's not worried of the flack. She's, like I said, <clears throat> she's been through some shit too. And here's the thing, guys, like, Black Angus don't care for her. There's, there's some history there. And maybe one day Black Angus, I, actually, he's talked about it, about their scuffle. Um. I will say this, I support him fully. Um, Black Angus is a great guy, but I also like Anna, that Star Wars girl. And um, and what's great is Black Angus is okay with it. Um, he's he's actually glad that seeing me get some support like that. And so that's, that's what a real friend is. You know, it's not this whole guilty of association. It's not this tribalism. You know, it's it's so nice that, like, he doesn't care for her, but he's still my friend. 
you know, and I stand by Black Genghis through all that, and he's had his experience, you know, with internet drama, and, um, I, I don't give a fuck about I give a fuck about you, Mar. What's going on? Oh, um, oh, what about Bleach? I haven't, I've seen previews. I really haven't dug into that. It didn't, hasn't really struck my interest, but I've seen like previews and promotion of trailers and stuff throughout the years, but I never really got into it. Um, I'm skate drum. Well, she probably felt guilty for supporting Yellow Flash all the time. See, that's the thing. The clip that I have of Yellow Flash being shitty that night when all this happened. Uh, she was on the stream, but she didn't comment. I think she stepped away. Um, so I'm not sure if she really sat there and heard it happen. Or she, she ended up walking away, maybe to use the bathroom or something, and just didn't catch that part. Um, but I appreciate her for that, and it's going to be interesting. And, um, you know, some things I don't think Yellow Flash is going to see that. And and I hope he doesn't give her a hard time. I, I really don't. Because if you're going to give her a hard time for saying those nice things about me, then you're, you're a real piece of shit. I mean, you already are a piece of shit, Flash, but you're a real fucking piece of shit. Um, but Pepsi, Lord Pep, I love Pepsi. <laughs> Lord Pepsi, thank you so much for the $2. Uh, you like Vampire Hunter D, Guyver Arca Academy, Ar Arcadia of my youth. Um, Vampire Hunter, I have not, I've heard of Vampire Hunter, Vampire Hunter, uh, Guyver Arcadia. No, I have not heard of that one. But I have heard Vampire Hunter. I don't know where, but I, I, I believe I heard of it that's good too yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the thing guys like i've got recommendations and like i'm very picky if it's it takes a lot for you to convince me that an anime show is good <laughs> uh, i'm a bit of a challenge but lord pepsi thank you so much for that i appreciate it uh black angus i wasted 40 bucks to see the first vamp vamp hunter d don't get the hype oh, okay so you didn't have a you didn't care for it Retracting is hard. Oh, Lupin the Third. Yes, Lupin, Lupin the Third is a good series too. I remember watching that. Yeah, I think they recently came out with a new series too. Like um, they restored it or something, brought it back. Uh, that's a classic as well. Uh, Katie, you should watch Witch Hunter Robin and Blue Gender. Witch Hunter Robin. I feel like I've heard that. Blue gender, I don't think I have. Okay. I'll keep that in mind just a while. Thank you. Um, uh, Pastor Flash, if she was, I believe she would have spoken out. Yeah, but here's the thing, Pastor Flash. The night that that happened, that I got the clip, it was still fresh. Hot off the press, everybody. And so, I'm pretty sure she was like a lot of people at first. They were like, I don't know about this. And then once they kind of went and saw it for themselves and, and all that, they're like, oh, that's okay. Um, I don't know, but that's a good point, Pastor Flash. I, I would think, yeah. But she wasn't there for it. Um, I, I didn't know she liked Inyasha. I knew she loved Sailor Moon. Um, but yeah. Obi, Kenobi, I can never get into one punch down, me neither. I don't know. In the future, plastic will be more precious than gold, and people will kill for it. Hmm. Best thing, like, plastic's not decomposable, right? It doesn't decompose. It's actually kind of hard to get rid of plastic. I think there was a thing... I think I saw something where, like, plastic is, like, the biggest cause of littering. Well, I appreciate you, Barb. Hey, yo, what's up? All right, guys, so I'm I'm going to end it there. So, yeah, like I said, um, this is probably going to be the last time I talk about that whole situation. Um, Because I, I kind of like to stay low. You know, I just, 
Um, but there will be a time that I can fully tell you the story. Like, I, this is what I plan to do one day. I plan to make a PowerPoint kind of thing. That shows my age, right? Of From the beginning to the end. What happened in between. What led up to it. I have all that proof. Like, I have all that. Like, I literally have a folder on my computer called the shit folder. There's all that shit there. And I plan to do a PowerPoint and do a video on it. Come on a live stream. Play the video for y'all. And then be there for when you have guys have any questions. But that's going to be a while. I, I, I'm going to just hold off on it. Um, it's still early. Uh timing and you know with my kids and stuff like i have to be very careful how i do it because i know if i do it it, it, it it's going to do more than ruffle some feathers it's really going to piss some people off and yeah so um and my kids are important their safety is more important than anything so um, yeah all right, guys. Well, I appreciate. Hey, guys, thanks so much for the super chats. Holy shit, you guys have made my night. Like, thank you so much for the support. I really hope you enjoy the show, um, and everything. And we got to have some good laughs. I'm so glad that Jay Bama came on, Mint Salad come on and talked to us for a little bit. And uh, yeah, I, I know I was supposed to talk about the Cody car, but I'll say that for kind of next weekend. Like I said, I think I saved the stream of the race. I need to go back and see if it's saved. Um, or find a way to go back and start trying to, I, I know it's not going to be the best quality because you pretty much have to, like, I don't know, you have to use your phone to do it. Um, but I want to get more content out of it. But, um, yeah, congratulations, Cody. Good job. It was great watching it. Brought me nostalgia. They made me think about my daddy and his race car and and all that stuff. Uh, all right, guys. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'll try to start, finally sign off now. Y'all have a great night. It looks like Shane Davis is streaming. Let me check. Who is streaming tonight, guys? Shane Davis still streaming. He is. Let me do something here real quick while I am at it. While I'm at it. Send Miss Piggy cosplay to the next FT meetup. <gasps> Oh, that would be good. Oh, that would be good. Can you imagine if someone actually, like, <laughs> dressed up like that? And tried to shake Neurotic's hand? That would be great. So let me see. Let me see what we got streaming so I can direct y'all. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to direct y'all to... Okay. Oh, that was weird. Hold on one second. Hold on, guys. So I'm going to play a little clip here to end out the night. Let me, um, let me see here. Okay, here we go. Finally, I didn't know what was going on. Uh, Johnny David Hale, what's going on? Obi and Kenobi. Vampire Hunter D is great watch. Second one, the name slips my mind. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Dude, is YouTube being gay? Oh, Jesus. Of course you're gonna be a pain in my little ass. Oh, you like talking about anime? No, we could have good. I like talking about it too. I've been thinking about well, honestly, I was I was gonna plan to talk about Dragon Ball that weekend and well things just didn't plan out that way, unfortunately. Oh, this is so stupid. YouTube has been acting so fucking
fucking weird. That is so weird. Let's see what I can. Oh, this is me. Uh, da -da -da. <laughs> Barb YouTube is shit covered dick gay. <laughs> yeah, YouTube was acting. Uh, really weird suit. What's up? Uh, when is YouTube not gay? I think true. Okay, let's see here. It's almost like very, YouTube won't let me go into my studio. So weird. I'm so sorry, chat. This has been like weird. Okay, there we go. There we go. You God, YouTube is so retarded, dude. So damn retarded. Okay, let's see here. I'm done. And then I'm going to go down to here. Uh, um, um, all right, here we go. There we go. Okay, guys. So what is this going to do? Is the stream is going to redirect straightly to Shane Davis. He seems the only one up streaming right now. <laughs> like, I was like, hey, oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much, Chad. I really do appreciate you. I do appreciate you hanging out with me tonight. This has probably been the most views I've had in a long time. Thank you. Thank you. And um, I'm going to uh, sign you out with um, a certain song that will help close out the stream. Um, and it will directly, it will take you directly directly um to shane davis uh once again guys thank you uh keep your eyes peeled for obviously some clips coming around um gonna be lots of fun and um take it easy guys Welcome. Smile, pick a kicking up dust in the comics. There are must go by the lakeside tailgate down like no place in the world to be when I got CG. Left and right, y'all know I have that cash Open up a boarded one, share it with my boys Trading cards, posters, games, even bought some toys <laughs>